American Comics, Create the Man in Black, Start Interviewing the Three-Body Problem Author, Vice. Chapter 51 Tokyo is destroyed. In fact, Kinyan now definitely doesn't have the ability to survive in a vacuum purely with his physical body. But I can't stand Kinyan as a full money player. The force field shield I bought before can be used in practice, and there are actually many functions that can be developed. When the deflector shield is activated, it will cover the whole body and can completely isolate the whole person from the external environment. The huge negative pressure and radiation in the vacuum environment are not a problem for Kinyan. The only things to consider are temperature and oxygen. So, don't look at Kinyan who seems to be very calm now. In fact, he had already started to feel a little unbearable. Before he entered the dimension gate, he took a deep breath and held it back. The temperature is blocked by origin magic power heating. But it didn't last long. So Kinyan is actually observing the terrain quickly. The base must be put down immediately. The terrain of the moon is actually quite complicated, but the location of the dimension gate is not bad. It happens to be a plane. Kinyan felt it, and it shouldn't be a big problem. He didn't have hesitation, either, and quickly took out the purchased modular base from the system space. In the hand, the base looks like a miniature Lego toy. Everyone is curious. How did Kinyan come up with a toy all of a sudden? However, before he was curious, Kinyan threw the toy in his hand. Then, under the shocked eyes of everyone, the toy began to disintegrate in the air at a speed visible to the naked eye, turned into a piece of parts. And in this process, the parts began to get bigger and bigger. In the end, almost the entire sky was obscured. This wonder stared wide eyed, shocked. Subconsciously, what Kinyan said just now came to mind. If you are strong enough, you can even rewrite reality and make the whole world move according to your will. Is this dot 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 is Kinyan's so-called rewriting reality? The little toy soon began to automatically assemble on the ground in the eyes of everyone. It seems that every part knows where it is going. Amidst the dazzling mechanical changes, a simple moon base just stood up out of thin air. Wonder and Quicksilver were still in shock, but the others seemed not surprised at all, and walked towards the entrance of the base in an orderly manner. Kinyan even came to the airlock immediately without any intention of staying. Dot 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 he was really a little out of breath. If you hold it down, you will be hypoxic. Only Wonder and Quicksilver are behind the scenes. This dot 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 was that magic just now? Dot 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 I don't know. It's not like my magic. Wonder doesn't know how to explain this scene. Kinyan's magic and her magic are not at the same level at all. The two walked slowly towards the branch base with shock. Kinyan, on the other hand, breathed a sigh of relief. A physical sigh of relief. Fortunately, the base is packed and can be quickly deployed. I almost suffocated myself. Next time I won't pretend, at least I have to find something that can be supported. Breathing the fresh air of the base, Kinyan just felt that such an oxygen-rich environment is really wonderful. However, the earth next to it, which also has oxygen, is not beautiful. Huge amounts of monsters poured out of the wormhole. Across the ocean, it is wreaking havoc in the city. The Tokyo Coast Guard Command is almost in chaos. Quick, level 3 Kaijuman. It's in the center of Tokyo. How could it be so fast? Doesn't it take 15 minutes to land? It's a speed one, Barga. It can fly. Where's the nearest hunter? Tango Wolf is under maintenance. Dot 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 cannot be dispatched. Still taking care of a ghost. Anyone who doesn't move out of Tokyo will die. But many parts are not installed. There will definitely be problems starting up now. Then force it to start. Don't worry about it so much. Hold on first. Where is the support? When will it arrive? Storm Crimson at Hong Kong Hunter Base will arrive in 30 minutes. Dot 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 30 minutes? Question mark. The Earth in this world is even worse than the three-body world. At least, in the timeline of the Trisolaran world. The Trisolarans have not yet arrived, and the agreed aggression is still on paper, because everyone is preparing for war. However, this world, the giant beasts of the pioneers, has entered a state of non-stop fighting. The invasion never stopped. Basically every once in a while, a monster will emerge from the wormhole. From the very beginning, the planes and cannons were able to deal with them, but later on, the monsters became bigger and stronger. Only the superstar mecha hunters created by humans can do it. Now dot 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 even the mecha hunters are a little bit overwhelmed. Monsters appear more and more frequently, and every time they appear, people have to go all out. In nine minutes, by the time the Chinese mesh support is in place, one fifth of the city of Tokyo will have been destroyed. Foot basin people, die a miserable death. At the same time, an uninvited guest broke into a conference room of the United Nations. Everyone, are you in a meeting? The man is smoking a cigar and wearing a Rolex watch. Looking very comfortable. He picked up a chair and sat down consciously. Dot 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 miles from the space agency. How did you get here? We are in a meeting. We will talk about it later. At the moment, the conference room was discussing about the third level monsters that appeared in Tokyo this time. Everyone looks very busy. What else can we hold in a meeting? Isn't it just that there are monsters invading somewhere? I have something here, and I think you should be more interested. While talking, he took out a USB flash drive and put it on the table. What could be more important than a new monster invasion? Someone said impatiently. In this world, 
Facing the invasion of monsters is the main theme, and everything else must stand aside. Miles held up his USB flash drive very confidently. Every time, there will be new monsters, which is nothing unusual, anyway, sooner or later they will be killed. Besides, isn't that monster in Tokyo? It's a small place like the Foot Basin, with so many people, it doesn't matter if it's dead. Bay Gear Road. What are you talking about? Hearing this, a certain Japanese high-level executive became furious, instantly rage stood up and slapped the table hard. Miles just raised his eyebrows, and inserted the USB flash drive into the projection device beside him as if nothing had happened. Everyone, look here. Although Miles was very rude, and even a little embarrassed, the projected picture still attracted everyone's attention. They want to see, what can make Miles so rampant. However, at the beginning, everyone was shocked. Even the Japanese congressman, who was about to pick up a knife and challenge Miles, stared at the screen in disbelief. This is the picture captured by our Deep Space 2. Miles explained from the side. In the early hours of this morning, the orbit of Deep Space 2 coincided with the moon, forming a straight line. The moon is nothing to take pictures of. However, after all, it is a rare orbital angle to observe the moon. This time, the system recorded something different. In the picture, a building complex appeared on the supposedly bare ground of the moon. In the picture, some spherical and square buildings are arranged in an orderly manner on a certain plane. The lights above are brightly lit, and it seems that there are still people active inside. Near a recess next to the building complex, a large arch-like thing can be vaguely seen. When did we already establish a colony on the moon? What the hell is your space agency doing? The Japanese member of parliament asked repeatedly. For a moment, everyone looked at Miles with surprise and heartache. That's right, heartache. Because, they think, the things on the moon must have been made by the space agency. After all, in this era when the world is thinking of fighting meshts, only the space agency can have the ability to land on the moon. This is what makes them sad. Funding. It is said that a piece of shit in space is more expensive than gold. This is the basic common sense in the aerospace industry. Because the battle with the Kaiyu beast requires a lot of productivity and funds. In fact, the space agency has not allocated large amounts of funds for a long time. Before that, the space agency was actually a marginal department the kind that grandma didn't love and grandpa didn't love. How much would it cost to build such a moon base? How many hunter mechas can be built? No 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 the reason why I came here is because this is not something that our space agency created. Miles rolled his eyes. With a small budget of the space agency every year, it is already amazing to be able to launch a few satellites into the sky. Building a moon base? He can't afford that much money with his life. Didn't the space agency do it? Miles' words stunned everyone. I'll show you one more episode. Saw everyone hooked up. The corners of Miles' mouth curled up slightly. Another video started playing. Oh. God. How is this possible? What happened? This video was surprisingly recorded by Kenyan when he deployed the moon base. The Deep Space Telescope serves as a large camera capable of observing deep space. Shooting things at a distance like the moon is almost equivalent to taking a photo of your face with a mobile phone, and the picture is very clear. In the video, countless mechanical structures are flying in the air, getting bigger, and finally gradually changing into their familiar appearance. It's unscientific. It's against the law of conservation of mass. The man in the video, can be seen holding what appears to be in his hands. That's just a slap in the face file size. After throwing it out, it turned into such a huge base. The difference in size and quality must be at least tens of thousands of times, right? Foldable beds are not so foldable. How did you do that? Who are they? That guy isn't even wearing a space suit. Is it a robot? Among a group of people, Kinyan in a suit was unusually obvious. How powerful is human technology? It all happened so fast without fast-forwarding. It only took a dozen seconds to go from the empty ground to such a huge base. It is hard to imagine, who and what kind of force is this technical means. Everyone, do you still think that Kaijuman in Tokyo is important? Miles seemed very satisfied to see everyone's shocked appearance, although he was also very shocked when he first learned the news. Dot 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 don't be a fool, say it. Yeah, Tokyo doesn't matter, what the heck, I'm done dying. Many people knew of Miles' temper, and they began to appease him according to Miles' intention. As a department that can't get funds on weekdays, it's normal to coax a little at this time. Even the Japanese congressman fell silent. Even he understands how tempting this kind of thing is. Just to put it simply, add the mechanical hunter mecha, build it with this technology. Even if the people in Tokyo are dead, it is worth it. You know, a giant mecha will take several years and countless manpower and material resources. Not even as big as this moon base. Anyone can count 10 seconds and years. So, now everyone is eager to know, who has such awesome technology. Seeing that everyone's eyes were focused on him, Myers slowly got up and tidied up his clothes. Slowly said, actually, I don't know either. What he said was straightforward, but it was surprising. Everyone present wanted to press Miles to the ground and beat him to death. Question mark. What are you talking about Gooba? Don't you know you're making such a big fight? Facing the anger of the crowd, Miles held his head up. I've sent countless messages and never got a response. 
257. But, is it my fault? Is it my fault? Don't even look at how much money you allocate to the space agency. Now you want us to do something? This was said without embarrassment at all. It was like one person turned the audience over. Dot. It left a member of the House of Representatives speechless. Indeed, after the appearance of the Kayo Beast, the appropriation of the space agency has been decreasing every year, until now there is almost not much, and it is enough to pay a salary. Everyone, the people on the moon, the technological level is obviously several levels higher than ours. And, I suspect, they might not be from Earth. Hasn't some experts said before that the evolution of human beings may have become what it is now with the intervention of aliens? You said, is there a possibility to use the ball on the ball? Is it those people? Chrysanthemum beasts invade more and more frequently. We must find higher level weapons, higher level technology. The moon is our chance. So, do you understand? I, space agency Miles, pay money. I'm going to launch a spacecraft to the moon and meet them in person. Dot 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 I agree. I agree. Then let's suspend the project of the new mecca for a while. This time the money will be allocated to the space agency. Soon, members of Congress unanimously passed a plan to allocate funds to the space agency. When it's bustling on this side of the earth. Kinyan was a little helpless. Boss, they have sent at least 10,000 communication requests. Dot 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 F King. Kinyan did not expect that no one has paid attention to the moon. Sudden air deep space telescope caught them. No. The other party's communication signal almost shut down the base's equipment. Each frequency band, each method indiscriminate telephone bombing. Are we going to contact them? Let's ignore it for the time being, and deal with it here after the Trisolaran's affairs are settled. Kinyan doesn't want to establish contact with his side now. The main reason is that I don't want to expose myself to the A's of the pioneers. The reason why the men in black want to do things in a low-key manner is that everyone does not know their existence, and it is also for this reason. Many third type lives are really too strong. Only by keeping them mysterious, so that people don't know their cards, can they kill them with a single blow. At a critical moment, Kinyan first observes the behavior patterns of the pioneers, and then considers how to deal with these things. Invisible's diplomatic struggle actually started when Kinyan arrived with people. Meanwhile, Earth, Tokyo, it's over. Every mesh has a place that needs to be defended, and it is difficult to mobilize without orders. And Miles interrupted the meeting, causing the nearest mecha to receive an order to support Tokyo. It was already 40 minutes later. The Tango Wolf Hunter that was forcibly activated at the foot basin had already been turned into scrap metal by the sharp claws of the third level monster. Almost half of Tokyo was destroyed, countless people were displaced, and countless people died. Basin is very helpless today. Dot. Chapter 52 The Arrival of the Ancient One The Attention of the Creator God New daily tasks detected, adding, Pioneer Crisis, Nomadic Civilization is eyeing the Earth and human life is hanging by a thread. Establish diplomatic relations with the pioneers or declare war. Reward. Zoom in and out lamp X5. Zoom in and out lights. Special rays that can change the file size of matter, and do not obey the law of mass. When will technology develop to truly understand that file size is not a problem, but the brain is? Almost when Tokyo was completely destroyed, the system's daily task prompts also came to Kinyan. Zoom in and zoom out lights. When Kinyan saw this reward, he almost jumped up excitedly. Good guy. This is pure black technology, right? Can zoom in and out of objects without following the law of conservation of mass. Reasonably, there seems to be a person in the Marvel world who has this kind of ability. Ant-Man. It's just that Ant-Man uses something called Pime Particles to complete this operation, which seems to be not the same principle as the zoom in and zoom out lights rewarded by the system. This thing should be a technology from the world of Derriman. To be honest, Kinyan was moved. It's just that if you want to complete this task, you have to think carefully about how to do it. The system gives two options, one is to establish diplomatic relations and the other is to go to war. These are also the two most common forms of diplomacy, but both are very laborious. The pioneers are similar to the Trisolarans, they both belong to the old civilization that doesn't take human beings seriously. For the pioneers, this contempt is even more obvious. After all, the Trisolarans are a crisis civilization and need the entire civilization to immigrate to the solar system. And the pioneers are just a few people's family workshops to deal with the Earth. It seems that in most worlds, humans will be the lowest ones. Kinyan sighed. He understood why the men in black organization existed. Why is there a so-called community of shared future for mankind? After all, in most of the human world, everyone is struggling. Facing the third type of life that is much stronger than themselves, they are either being invaded or struggling to survive. If you don't report to the regiment to keep warm, it may really be extinct sooner or later. However, with the current strength of the man in black, it is a bit difficult to deal with the pioneers. Is it only possible to establish diplomatic relations? For this option, Kinyan was very dissatisfied. The other party looked at the earth, and human beings were only the aborigines of the earth, so diplomatic relations had been established. It is only possible to deal with those aboriginal residents like the discovery of the new world back then. Vulnerable groups who were enslaved, 
After thinking for a long time, Kin Yun couldn't figure out how to deal with it, so he had to let this matter go. The moon base, Kin Yun has also been installed. Anyway, you can come to this world at any time in the future, and I will take a look when the time comes. Leaving most of the Secret Service maintenance base, Kin Yun returned to the Marvel world with Wanda and Quicksilver. The two seemed to be a little excited, and they still couldn't forget what happened just now. Quicksilver is thinking, two pro promises, but Wanda is different. She still thinks Kin Yun's method of setting up the base is to use origin magic power. He is thinking about how to become as powerful as Kin Yun. However, when they return to the Marvel world, Kin Yun found out. The impact of global amnestics is far from over. Because, the base of the men in black welcomed a visitor that Kin Yun never expected. You said, there is a bald man in a robe in the video store? He said he wanted to find someone but he didn't know who to look for. The video store usually has no business at all, and most of the time it is hung with a rest sign. This time was no exception. But even so, the bald head came uninvited. Hearing the word bald head, Kin Yun subconsciously became cautious. Because no matter in any world, bald people are the most powerful and special group of people. Bald people are not to be messed with. This is one of the laws of traveling through the heavens and worlds. Call the monitor, and the result really surprised Kin Yun. Ancient one? Exclamation mark. There is no doubt that when you are picking and choosing a bald head in a video store, your attire is very obvious. It is the strongest magician on earth. Ancient One. How did this thing come here? Kin Yun never listed Ancient One among the candidates he wanted to contact. After all, the things of the men in black are all on the technological side. Unlike Wanda, a half-baked magician, Ancient One is a real veteran magician. When things involve magic, it's easy to get confused. Isn't this guy going to retire? I'm so speechless. Why are you running around? According to the normal timeline, Tang One at this node should be retiring soon. Then pass the location of Sorcerer Supreme to that doctor didn't arrange things well before retiring and went shopping, and even visited a video store. There is no such coincidence in the world, right? Boss, are we going to drive her away? 404 asked, dot 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 no, I'll go to meet her in person. Although Kin Yun really didn't want to meet Ancient One, but everyone came to him, and it would be unnatural to drive him away. Come with me, Wanda, and I'll introduce you to someone. Wanda had just changed her clothes when she heard Kin Yun asking him to meet someone together. Although Wanda was slightly socially afraid, she still nodded in agreement without hesitation. Good Tilda. Is this going to meet Kin Yun's friend? A few minutes later, when Kin Yun brought Wanda to the ground by elevator, Ancient One is looking through several old discs. The customer has a good eye. This disc is a treasure in the store. Although not many people have heard this song, it is very nice. Kin Yun took the initiative to greet him, and Wanda stood aside like a little secretary, silently looking at the bald head secretly. But my heart was overwhelmed and a little complicated, because... She found that she couldn't capture the emotions of this bald head. This is already the second person in just two days. She has never met such a person before, but now she has met two in succession. Could it be? This bald head also has origin magic power. What Wanda doesn't know is that it's normal for her not to be able to capture Ancient One's emotions. Ancient One's magician system is very complicated, and it borrows powerful power. What was borrowed was either Vizandi or Dormammu, this type of Chaos Mephista. These Chaos Mephista can also be regarded as latitude creatures, although the power is not as powerful as the source of origin magic power, it also involves high levels in essence. It is very difficult to capture the Ancient One under the blessing of these powers, he once told me that when he was a singer, no one cared about the songs he wrote, even the album was sold by himself, and not many people bought it. A total of thousands of copies were sold, and I didn't expect you to have one here. Ancient One opened his mouth but seemed to be a little nostalgic, gently stroking the old disc, as if evoking some unforgettable memories. Oh? You know him? This is already a singer of the last century, right? This vinyl disc alone has a history of 80 years, and the three Kinyan are all old together. He was my student. Ancient One wasn't hiding either. Good guy. It's amazing to live so long. Kin Yun thinks that Ancient One's bee outfit is a bit blunt. I'm sorry, when people get old, it's easy to like to recall the past. Ancient One smiled, and gently put the disc on the shelf. I understand, I understand. After all, it's been hundreds of years. Seeing people familiar to everyone leave, there must be such a feeling that things are different. Kin Yun nodded and smiled mysteriously. Okay. Upon hearing the words of a few hundred years, Ancient One's face was full of astonishment and he looked at Kin Yun in amazement. How does Kin Yun know that he has lived for so long? You know me? Sorcerer Supreme Ancient One you found it here, I know you're weird. Kin Yun was also surprised. Ancient One was able to find the video store, which means she must have discovered something, otherwise why are you here? But listening to her, it seems that she doesn't know much. The future is blurred and everything that was clear is broken. And in these fragments, I see that many people will come here, so I came here, looking for an answer. Now it seems that I have found it. Ancient One just stood there with his hands behind his back, 
staring at Kinyan intently. Kinyan immediately understood the meaning of Ancient One and why Ancient One appeared here. There is no doubt that the Ancient One holding the Time Gem is the most knowledgeable person in the world. Because others know something or learn something, they need to learn step by step and get answers from other people's mouths or materials. Ancient One is different. She opens and hangs directly. Take the time gem to flip through the timeline. Almost everything in the past, present and future can be seen. And when the man in black appeared in this world, the timeline was different. Everything that was going to happen may change because of Kinyan's appearance. The result of the change, time gem is also hard to see. Because the man in black has the power to connect the heavens and the world, but the power of the time gem is limited to this world wish. He cannot touch the world beyond the wall. Therefore, Ancient One discovered that his plug-in suddenly didn't work. Still, as a long-time time gem user, she sees something in a future that's starting to crumble. That is, some very important people in the past will often come to this video store. So, here she is. Maybe, I have the answer you want, but magician, aren't you going to retire? Do you really want this answer? Even if it makes things more complicated, there is actually no bad influence on Ancient One Kinyan. It is also good to be able to make friends with her, but according to the original plan, Ancient One may die in a few days. Moreover, her death was not a simple death. Rather it relates to the death of Creator God and what Lat Mephister. This is about the power system of Ancient One. Her magic originally came from Waishandi. Vizandi is also a Latitude Mephister, but he is more orderly. He will borrow his power to those magicians, and the magician's practice will also increase his strength. When the magicians die, Waishandi will take back all the power, plus the magician's lifelong practice. Strictly speaking, it is like lending money. But there are benefits for both parties. After all, people are dead. So what do you need the power of the flesh? However, Ancient One encountered huge amounts of crisis at some point. And it was the kind of crisis that no one but her could withstand. Seeing that her life was coming to an end, she had to resort to other methods. That is Dormammu. Dormammu was once part of the invasion of Earth, but was repulsed by Ancient One. Later, Ancient One found a way to forcibly absorb Dormammu's power to maintain life. The means are harsh, but effective. At this stage, Ancient One possesses the power of Mephister of two latitudes, which is very powerful, and relying on this power. It has guarded the earth for many, many years. She was tired, and she was under a lot of pressure. She felt that her lonely life was too painful, and she wanted to retire. However, if you come out to hang out, you have to pay it back. She has borrowed too much power. Once she dies, even her soul will be taken away. For the things she borrowed, the interest rate is actually not high. So, she thought of another way. She once met a person when she was young. No, it should be a god. His name is Eternity. Eternity is the five creator gods of the Marvel world. Eternity admired her so much that he even gave her the time gem. With this relationship, Ancient One found that she finally had a way to retire. That is, after death, the soul goes to find Eternity and becomes his younger brother. In this way, she can leave with most of her body's strength, but the debt collectors dare not come to collect it. There is no way, because it is awesome. Even if Dormammu is rampant, he dare not really trouble the Creator God. I can only collect some principle from the corpse of Ancient One. That's the whole plan of Ancient One wanting to retire. And Kinyan's scruples are these three Mephisters, Dormammu, Vizandi, and Eternity. This is also the reason why Kinyan didn't want to contact Ancient One. Once Ancient One had contact with the Man in Black, he knew the existence of the Man in Black. Those three guys will probably notice them. Dot 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 reasonable. As far as the current Man in Black and the three-body man have to play tricks. They really face the level of the Creator God like Eternal. No kidding. A sneeze can destroy several small universes, right? You even know about my retirement? Ancient One is not surprised to know that she is Sorcerer Supreme. After all, although her name is nothing in the eyes of ordinary people, many high-level people Shen do know it. But she has never told anyone, Zhao Hao, about her retirement. It's all just a plan in her head. How did Kinyan know? I still know a lot of things. Such as why you want to retire, such as where you plan to go after you die. Kinyan smiled slightly. Listening to Ancient One, I just feel my scalp tingling. What the hell? This young looking man in front of me. Who the hell is it? Even after experiencing many things, Ancient One still couldn't calm down. After all, her panties are about to be exposed. It seems that I have come to the right place. Dot 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 here dot 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 or you should be the source of all this. At this moment, Ancient One's eyes met Kinyan's. Both of them had their own thoughts. For a while, the atmosphere became silent. Neither of them spoke and both seemed to be making some sort of huge amounts of decision. Wanda saw the communication between the two of them from beginning to end. To be honest, she looked dazed. Because, it seems that the two of them talked a lot, but she could understand none of them. It's like two riddlers. Especially when they can't capture the emotional fluctuations and thinking of Kinyan and Ancient One, the hidden reason is that they are really anxious. The only thing I understand seems to be. The bald woman in front of me seems to be very old. Hundreds of years. Can people really live that long? There was a long silence, not knowing what Ancient One was thinking. Finally, she said slowly, if I must know dot 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 what price will I have to pay? Hearing this, 
Kinyan also narrowed his eyes. He was a little confused about the specific meanings of Ancient One. Is it because he blocked the timeline, so Ancient One thinks he is not a good person and wants to do it? Or did she simply want an explanation? It shouldn't be necessary to do it. After all, it still looks very harmonious until now. After thinking about it, Kinyan replied, If you must know... Then your retirement plan may have to be delayed. Chapter 53 Ancient One joins the men in black. Under normal circumstances, when someone comes to visit as a guest, at least they have to be invited in for a cup of tea. But the current situation is that Kin Yun really doesn't want Ancient One to stay here. Because if Ancient One retires, all her belongings will be divided and recovered by Vizandi and Dormammu. Even the soul has to run to mix with eternity. There's probably nothing wrong with Ancient One. But Kin Yun will have a very headache once those three things pay attention to the man in black. If Eternal has a bad intention or something, Kin Yun can't handle it now. Therefore, if you want to contact Ancient One, at least before the man in black has gained the combat power of a creator god, Ancient One cannot retire. Most importantly, for a magician of Ancient One's level, amnestics are useless to her. Her memory has been cultivated to be bound to the soul, unless it is a higher level of power, otherwise there is no way to clear her memory. How long it takes? To Kin Yun's surprise, Ancient One actually asked how long does it take to delay retirement? Didn't you die a long time ago? How can you still ask? Kin Yun felt helpless. Not sure months, years, thousands of years. How can the power of the creation god level be obtained so easily? It still depends on luck, and the development of the men in black organization. If you're lucky, the man in black might get rich overnight in a few months. If you're unlucky, it could be decades, hundreds, or even thousands of years. After all, which god of creation didn't grow up after billions of years in the past? I can see that you have no bad intentions, what are you afraid of? Ancient one suddenly changed the subject. Dot 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 you are right, I am indeed afraid. I don't want to attract the attention of the Creator God. What Kin Yun didn't expect was that Ancient One really saw through his thoughts. I wear a shield on my body, so it's definitely not mind reading or something. Perhaps, it is only felt through facial expressions and words. It can only be said that it is an old fritters for hundreds of years. There is a set. Dot 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 you really know too much. However, Ancient One gasped. Kin Yun's words about God of Creation almost made her feel numb. Kin Yun can even clearly understand the details that he will find eternity to be his backer after retirement. To be honest, she was even more curious. At this moment, she seemed to have made some kind of decision. How about dot 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 buy me a glass of water? Dot 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 dollar seven. It seems that Ancient One's curiosity is far stronger than imagined. You know, her retirement plan has been planned for many years. But Kin Yun didn't know how much influence 813 had on Ancient One because of the confusion of the timeline. The reason why Ancient One was able to retire without any scruples and give up everything on the earth was because the future was already transparent. She has been able to find a successor who can take her place and make her career very high. All of this is based on the future she can see. When the future is unclear and everything has turned into a fog. The idea of Ancient One's retirement has actually become less firm. After all, she is not sure now, after she really leaves. Will the successor really be able to do the same as before? The elevator goes down. Sitting in the elevator of the man in black, Ancient One was amazed. Interestingly, some kind of force distorts the space, so that the pressure of speed does not act on people, and protects the fragile body. Technology is indeed a magical power. Ancient One is a person who is extremely sensitive to time and space. He noticed the black technology of this elevator almost as soon as he got on the elevator. People's potential is infinite but some fragile places still need to be protected. The force field protection technology can make people have more possibilities. Kin Yun laughed. Although it's just an elevator, Kin Yun has already discovered how powerful the technology is. After all, the elevator runs extremely fast, but the perception in the elevator is very comfortable. Kin Yun also specially sent the technical catalog in the main system of the base. The force field protection technology, even among the supporting technologies presented by the system, is one of the top ones. He can make people protected by the force field in the vehicle although it may not be effective against any attack but it can allow people to withstand huge amounts of overload acceleration. After all, the speed of the vehicle machinery can be very fast, and it is normal for the acceleration of spaceships and the like to reach hundreds of Gs. People can only bear a few G with him, no matter what kind of vehicle it is, people can use it safely. As the elevator arrived, Kin Yun brought Ancient One to his office. Wanda thoughtfully went to the pantry and brought tea. I know you should prefer tea to coffee. You really understand me well? Ancient One took the cup from Kin Yun. From the corner of the eye, he looked out the window from time to time. There are many people in the base, and they are all busy with their own affairs. The moon base, preparations for the meeting intrasolaries, etc. Kin Yun's office has a good view, and you can almost see the whole lobby on the first floor at a glance. You guys. Shouldn't be some government organization? Ancient One asked. That's right. Before I explain to you why the future becomes blurred, Sorcerer Supreme, I want to ask you once again, have you really considered it? I've thought about it, 
so shall I say it? Speaking of business, Ancient One silently put down his teacup, then nodded. I do wonder what happened to the timeline. After Ancient One noticed the change in the timeline a few days ago, it has actually been investigating for many days. But still nothing, this is already a very big event for her. Let me introduce myself first, my name is Kin Yun, the head of the headquarters of the 6th Sector Headquarters of the Men in Black Organization. For Ancient One, Kin Yun gave enough respect. Moreover, at this time, he actually had a bold idea. Is it possible to make Ancient One one of our own? Honestly, it's so tempting. Therefore, Kin Yun spoke very seriously, basically explaining what Ancient One wanted to hear and what he didn't want to hear. And Ancient One, since Kin Yun uttered the first sentence, has completely fallen into silence and shock. 36 sectors, each sector has endless universes and worlds. The men in black. A community with a shared future for mankind. Original life, 3000 creation gods battle. To be reasonable, Ancient One claims to be a well informed person, and she doesn't even know how many times she has been in and out of the dimension space. But the new world that Kin Yun told her still shocked her deeply. Because, for the first time, she discovered that this world can be so big. Once, in her eyes, eternity was already strong enough, the most powerful creature she had ever seen. That's why she was going to embrace the eternal thigh after she died. In Marvel's entire multi-universe, there are only five existences like eternity. But what? According to Kin Yun, something as powerful as eternity is placed in the heavens and myriad worlds, and even many. There are more than 3,000 eternities in one battle alone. Can this thing be used as a counting unit? You mean... The multi-universe we are talking about now has always belonged to what you call dot 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 Marvel's main sequence world, and the main sequence world like this dot 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 is the still infinity. Ancient One muttered to himself, feeling as if a piece of black cloth in front of him had been ripped off by Kin Yun. The fourth wall. It really exists. The so-called fourth wall is a guess that existed in some people a long time ago. When watching a stage play, people can only see three walls, and the other side is the position of the audience. They can see the performers on the stage through this imaginary wall. Many people speculate that there may be a fourth wall in reality, but we are surrounded by three walls and cannot observe the world outside the wall. Moreover, this statement, Ancient One has actually been heard by many people, such as some Mephisters in the dimensional space. Also, when watching the timeline through time gem, there is a guy wearing a red tights and holding two knives, and he often talks to himself in the air as if he is communicating with someone outside the wall. However, all of this is just speculation. No one has ever been able to confirm it, nor has anyone heard of anyone who broke this wall and went to another world. Actually, it's not just the fourth wall. Kin Yun smiled slightly. When there are enough worlds, the fourth, fifth, sixth, and even the ten thousand and eighty-sixth wall will appear. The heavens and worlds are endless, and no one knows where they are. It is even possible that when the two of us are chatting here, we will also appear in, Agd, some movie or novel. Hearing this, Ancient One fell silent. However, these are not important. The important thing is that we have the ability to cross the wall and connect all human beings. In this way, when human beings have a common destiny, no matter what dangers they face, there will be room to fight back. But, if everything you said is true, wouldn't your war still be a failure? Ancient One suddenly looked at Kinyan with a half smile. Kinyan's expression froze. Good guy, we just made up a story. How did life attack start? Dot 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 but we left the seed instead. Kinyan pointed round. As long as people are still there. Everything can start again. Although we have lost most of our things, a single spark can start a prairie fire. What can't kill us will only make us stronger. Ancient One stood up slowly, with hands behind their backs, watching the people coming and going outside the blinds. What the man in black did seems to be similar to what she did. They are silently guarding humanity behind their backs. It's just that their battle lines and layouts seem to be bigger. Definitely. All of this is based on the fact that the fourth wall actually exists. Can I see it? See dot 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 the world outside the wall? Kinyan asked. Ancient One nodded. Kinyan did not speak. Ancient One said hastily, definitely dot 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 afterwards, I will give this to you. As he said, he wears time gem on his chest. Kinyan, good guy. This is too outrageous, right? Time gem? Kinyan never expected, because of this blockbuster movie. If you have really been in contact with the world outside the wall, it is not surprising to know so many things. So you know what it is? Kinyan nodded. It's of no use to me, but it may be of some use to you. Time gem, before this, is indeed very important, there can be no mistakes. Kind of. But now, it's useless. Because of the existence of Kinyan, the timeline has been completely blurred and invisible. The Ancient One also couldn't see the future through gems. Originally, she was going to leave the gems for the next Sorcerer Supreme to use as weapons. Now, there is no need, because if she verifies that everything is true, Tong Yi may really not want to retire, since they are all retired. The power of gemstones doesn't matter anymore. She can repel all enemies by herself. Even if it needs the power of time. To be reasonable, with her relationship with eternity, she can't borrow something from eternity. She is already in debt, and she is fully prepared to be a badass. Kin Yun was thinking rapidly in his mind. Time gem. 
although it may not be useful in other universes. But it must be worth a lot of money if sold to the system. To be honest, Kinyan was moved. But he wants more. After a fierce ideological struggle, Kinyan slowly shook his head. Although I really want to take you to see it, you are not the man in black. We have our own rules. If you are not a man in black, you cannot travel around the world at will. This is very dangerous. So, if you really want to see it, there is only one way. That is, join us. That's right. What Kinyan wants more is ancient one. The ideas of the man in black and cat I Maji do not conflict, Kin Yun thinks, there is still a good chance that Tong Yi can be tricked into working here. Gu, hearing this, he was also stunned. She never expected that she had been the sorcerer supreme for so many years, the boss for so many years. Has anyone else made such a request? No way, the rule is like this. Kin Yun waved his hand, looking very helpless. But in fact, there is no such rule at all. However, Kin Yun didn't expect that Ancient One would really agree. Just about to say the next prepared speech, Ancient One nodded and said, Okay, then I will become a man in black. Actually, we also. Huh? You agreed? This will be replaced by Kin Yun's ignorance. Happiness comes so fast that there is no time for people to react. She. How did she say yes? Okay. Then go through the entry process first. 404 you go and bring her into the job. I have other things to do. Kin Yun reacted quickly. Since Ancient One agreed. Why don't we hurry up and make a conclusion, waiting for someone to repent? However, it stands to reason that after chatting with Ancient One for so long, Kin Y should accompany her when she joined. He really has something to do. Watching Ancient One's back disappear before his eyes, Kin Yun quickly called 808. Quick, add a line to the man in black manual, no one in this universe can pass through the dimension gate except the man in black. Okay boss, how long? One minute is enough. But those who need it will take over, granted. I will give you the authority now. What Kin Yun didn't know was that when he hurriedly added new rules to the man in black, the ancient one, who had gone far away, seemed to have a perception of something, and when he was walking, he looked back at the direction where Kin Yun was, although he couldn't see it. But her eyes seemed to know everything. Kin Yun was not the only one who couldn't understand the fact that Ancient One agreed to become the man in black. Even the author was very surprised. Could it be that she wants to break the fourth wall and hack the author of a novel to death? No one knows what Ancient One thinks, only she knows. Half an hour later, when Ancient One appeared in front of Kin Yun wearing a suit, Kin Yun doesn't know why, but he always feels. The current Ancient One is more like a killer than a magician. 4. Dot 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 ahem. Welcome to the men in black. Agent G. Kin Yun stretched out his hand slowly and shook hands with Ancient One. Seeing Kin Yun's weird expression, Ancient One rolled his eyes. I know I don't look good in a suit. Don't you think I look like Killer 47? R? Magician. Oh no, Agent G. What are you talking about? Kin Yun smiled awkwardly, but confirmed his attitude. Dot. Kamar Taj's Wi-Fi. I, I often surf the internet. Cough, cough, cough. Ha ha ha. No, no, how could it be? Good guy. UTO. You can read minds without magic. Kin Yun suddenly realized that it might be a mistake to invite Ancient One in. In the future, you have to be cautious when pretending to make up stories. Chapter 54 My law surpasses all worlds. Today, something big happened in Kamar Taj. It's not that Ancient One isn't home, it's that dot 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 the internet is disconnected. What's going on? I'm still video chatting with my sister. Why is the internet suddenly disconnected? Sister and sister are sisters all the time dot 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 you might as well have more time practice magic. It's like you're practicing. You were watching a little movie just now, don't think I don't know. Disconnection, even for a magician world, is a very scary thing. Soon, they began to investigate. I asked, and the internet company said, we have never opened an account here. How is it possible? It has been used for so many years. I remember that I used Susan's new ID card when I bought a new internet package, right? Because Ancient One has been obtained for a long time, it needs to be replaced with a new certificate every time. Coincidentally, there was a discount for the package last time and there is no price increase for new users to accelerate. As one of the few locals, even Ancient One was not exempt, and used his new ID card to apply for an internet package. However, Ancient One joined the men in black a few minutes ago. Everything that can prove the identity of Ancient One will be erased. This leads to, Kamar Taj, being disconnected directly. Isn't this the devil? The network cable is still here. So there will be no account? Have you seen the technology? I understand. But I haven't heard of the situation where the login account suddenly disappeared. Was it hacked? Made. Anyone else dare to hack into our Wi-Fi? Isn't this killing me? As they said that, some people who were in a state of desperation even began to have lightning whips in their hands, wishing to rush there and beat the perpetrator to death. However, gradually, they discovered that things seemed to be somewhat beyond expectations. Something is wrong. It's not just disconnected. I'm stupid. You read my diary. As he spoke, someone took out his diary. He has the habit of keeping a diary, and since he came to Kamar Taj, he has recorded every bit of himself every day. These places are all empty. As he spoke, he pointed somewhere. Today, XXXXXX taught me a new magic. I practiced it 18 times, 
but I still couldn't use it. I finally decided to play basketball. Your diary dot 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 is really unique. The person who saw it subconsciously suppressed a smile. FK. This is what I want you to read. I originally wrote Ancient One Magician dot 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 now it's gone. As he spoke, he flipped through his diary page after page in front of people. All text about Ancient One Magician is gone. Subsequently, more and more people discovered this problem. No matter what documents, ancient books and secret books, even the chair in the courtyard with Ancient One's name engraved on it, all records about Ancient One have disappeared. Something big is up. Can anyone get in touch with Sorcerer Supreme? My phone contacts are gone. I went to the telecom company to check the call records, but I couldn't find it. Don't talk about the phone. The magic records of Sorcerer Supreme on my magic messenger are gone. When it was found that the Ancient One could not be found in the magic communication, everyone panicked. Someone asked tremblingly, Fa, what happened? How could such a thing happen? Damn isn't it? I felt, something was wrong. As if something big had happened. On the headquarters of the men in black. Ancient One in the bald suit version frowned silently. As a strong person, he will have a reaction to everything related to himself. Just like in the original timeline, after Thanos snapped his fingers, Peter Parker perceived that he would be the half that was erased. She found that with her decision to join the men in black just now, and after completing the entry, something that was my own was constantly disappearing. If you have to give this thing a definition dot 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 probably, it exists. Her sense of existence and connection with the past is disappearing. That's because dot 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 you are the man in black now. Our agents will come from all heavens and the myriad worlds, countless worlds, and they will all have their own past, their own bondage, enemies or some unspeakable things. But what we have to face is a higher level enemy. Letting these small things tie down the agents will be very detrimental to our work. So, being a man in black is not just about simply putting on a suit and doing things together. It's about putting aside your past self and only have a code name to represent your existence the whole world, or the whole universe, will not have your past. There is only your future, and the future of the man in black is beyond the timeline, or it can be said that you have disappeared from the timeline, definitely, we are still very human, and there will be people who will remember you, but all records related to you will disappear. Didn't you read the handbook you just joined? Kinyan asked back, the entry manual of the man in black is very clear, but it is very thick and reasonable, Kinyan doesn't think that ancient one will read it. Sure enough. Yu Yi did not watch it either. Even Ancient One was quite shocked when he heard this explanation. Completely erase a person's existence record from the past timeline. This is forbidden magic. Do you use it for daily use? Ancient One frowned. This kind of magic to erase some things, she has also seen in the ancient magic book of the gods. This kind of magic is a very dangerous taboo magic. Once something goes wrong, it will cause chaos in the whole world. However, this magic has great limitations and can only be used in a small area, at most the size of a planet. But the method of the man in black is even more outrageous. It is even possible that even the records of civilizations known among the civilized races in the universe will disappear. No, no, this is not magic, but a rule. Kinyan shook his head. A rule is a realization of law. A part of our rule is the original law that overrides the law of creation and is written in the original law pool. For this point, Kinyan also felt very powerful. The men in black organization given to him by the system is far more powerful than imagined. For example, the simple matter of entering a job involves the highest level of original law. For example, like Time Gem. In this universe, Time Gem can control time and have the authority of time. But it doesn't work in other universes, and it will be invalid instantly if you leave here. It's like opening a door with a key. But a certain rule of the man in black is an original rule of a higher level. It is applicable in all universes, whether it is the original universe or the God-created universe. It's like holding a master key in your hand. 1. Antiquity. At this moment, Ancient One didn't know if his decision to join the men in black was wrong or right. Just simply get a job and get rid of your past? Wait. The past is gone. Suddenly, Ancient One's eyes lighted up, subconsciously running the power in my body. Afterwards, a joy that I haven't had in many years bursts from my heart. Gone. The connection is gone. As a lone magician, many of Ancient One's powers were borrowed, or even robbed. Although he was forcibly retained by himself, he will still have a faint connection with the original owner. This is also the receipt for future debt collection. However, now, Ancient One discovered that the connection was broken. It was completely broken. Whether it's Dormammu, or even Waishandi, even the little time power left in his body for eternity, the relationship with the original owner is severed. His Ancient One gasped involuntarily. We don't need to repay our online loan. The man in black can forcibly cut off the connection with a source of power. Even she couldn't do this, otherwise she wouldn't have planned for so long to retire. After all, I borrowed too much, and it would be terrible to pay back. This is too outrageous. It's like Ancient One rented a house to live in. One day, Kinyan suddenly gave her a house book and said that the rent would not be paid, 
and the house would be yours from now on. This feeling, to be honest, it's so cool, as if some cloud that had weighed on my heart for many years was dispelled, ancient one has never felt so relaxed. Ha ha ha, not bad, right? Kinyan laughed. That's why he wanted Ancient One to join the men in black. Only after joining the job and disconnecting from the past with those big wigs, can Kinyan feel at ease. Now, I am suddenly more curious about the outside world you mentioned. The simple entry has completely shocked Ancient One to the men in black organization. If he could really go to the world outside the wall, perhaps Ancient One would have an unparalleled recognition for the man in black. Kinyan is already looking forward to a hard-working bald magician. Definitely no problem. Tomorrow morning. We're negotiating with an alien civilization that's invading other human worlds, in another human world. Maybe you'd like to come along? Kinyan's little thoughts started to spin again. It is definitely a labor-intensive task to interview a Trisolaran. After all, the intelligence of a Trisolaran will only be higher than that of a human being. If you want to let Ancient One travel through, you can take her to the moon base right now. But Kinyan thinks that it must be at least a little difficult for Ancient One to experience the work of the man in black for the first time. This interview is a good choice. Definitely willing. Ancient One readily agrees Tilda. Okay, Agent G, we will officially start working tomorrow. Then, shall I go back and deal with the family affairs first? Ancient One said. Definitely no problem. Erasing the past is just to solve some troubles, not to complicate things, not to increase troubles. So, see you tomorrow? Okay I'll be there on time. Zero dot ask for flowers. After the two agreed, a portal suddenly appeared behind Ancient One. Behind the door. There seems to be a somewhat Chinese tile room. As Ancient One enters the portal, it disappears. After holding back for a long time, Wando asked, Who is she? I can feel powerful from her. Although Ancient One was greeted with a smile all the way, the sense of oppression brought by her power is still very strong for Wanda, who has a strong perception of power. Both of them are magic systems, and Wanda can clearly feel the difference between Ancient One. She, Sorcerer Supreme, one of the guardians of the earth. Sorcerer Supreme. Just hearing the name makes me feel amazing. There's always been a group of magicians on the earth. They guard the world in the dark, from the influence of those mysterious sides. Actually they, there are quite a lot of things to do. If it weren't for the existence of magician, the earth would have been full of demons and ghosts. Wanda nodded half understanding, isn't that the same as us? It's not the same. What they are facing is the peeping of the earth from the mysterious latitude, just to protect the earth here. And what we are going to face is the people from the heavens and the myriads of heavens. More powerful threats to the world, and the prosperity of a community with a shared future for mankind. Besides, isn't she also my person now? Kinyan smiled slightly, ancient one. With such a person to work, my pressure is much lighter. Understood. Okay, we have big things to do tomorrow morning. Dot 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 we're going to bed early today. Wanda nodded subconsciously, but then found something was wrong. I checked the time. It's only five o'clock in the afternoon. Dot 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 zero. So early, early to bed and early to rise. Go, go to bed with me. What? Wonder froze. Only then did I remember that I seem to have promised to be Kinyan's pillow. What does Kinyan mean? This afternoon, is it about to start? At this moment, Wonder only felt that the blood temperature in his body began to rise rapidly. Breathing became rapid. Why are you standing there? Let's go. Pushing away the people in the office, Kinyan saw that Wonder was still in a daze and hurriedly greeted her, going to another world tomorrow. Kinyan still feels a little insecure. The best way to get back this sense of security is to become stronger. At this stage, the main system of the men in black has nothing to do, and the matter of the pioneers will not be settled for a while. You can only use the infinity evolution system to analyze Wanda's origin magic power first. Kinyan set a small goal for himself. Today, at least resolve. 0.5% plus the previous 0.3%, nearly 1% of the origin magic power. At least it can deal with some unexpected emergencies. In the bedroom, Kinyan had already changed his clothes and lay flat on the bed. After about 20 minutes, Wanda, who also changed into her pajamas, knocked on the door quietly. Standing on the edge of the bed with hands behind his back, his eyes kept looking around. To be honest, she suddenly found herself a little nervous. Come, Kinyan saw Wanda standing there for a long time without moving. He reached out and patted the place next to him. In an instant, Kai blushed up to his neck. I wanted to say something, but couldn't form a word at all looking at Kinyan with a somewhat urgent look. Wanda still gritted her teeth, threw the slippers aside, and lay obediently on the bed. However, there is a distance between Kinyan and Kinyan, with his back facing Kinyan and not daring to move. Seeing this, Kinyan was unwilling. You agreed to use it as a pillow for me? How to analyze it from such a distance? Thinking of this, Kinyan turned around, stretched out his hand, and pulled Wanda into his arms. Wanda only felt a huge force pulling herself directly to the middle of the bed. Ah, Wanda was taken aback only feeling a feeling that she had never felt before, and she was extremely nervous. What is he going to do? Will he do that to me? If I do, should I refuse? But if I refuse... Dot 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 will Kinyan be unhappy? But that's it. 
Isn't it a bit too fast? Wanda felt as if her brain was equipped with a motor, and countless thoughts kept spinning, and she was almost dizzy. I just felt like I was living in a dream. They even started to have some reactions, and the air in the room became humid. Hazel, S-H-H, don't talk. However, Kenyon interrupted what Wanda was about to say, because, the analysis of the system has already begun. During the analysis yesterday, Kenyon had already fallen asleep. But this time is different, Kenyon discovered that when analyzing, he can actually watch the process simultaneously. For Kin, this is a one-to-one -one teaching of origin magic power. At this moment, he was completely immersed in the ocean of knowledge of power, unable to extricate himself from work. Chapter 55 Formal Talks Entering the Three-Body Problem Time passed slowly. The tense atmosphere lasted for a long time. Wanda kept a stiff posture and didn't dare to move. At this time, for a girl like her who has never even experienced love, it is really too exciting. However, it is different from what she expected Kinyan to do to herself. After a long time, Kinyan actually didn't do anything. He just hugged himself, and then he was like a sculpture. There is nothing but the breath hitting the ends of my hair in my ears. Several hours passed, and the two of them maintained this posture. Wanda was confused even waiting. All the original apprehensions turned into, how could he do nothing? Exclamation mark. This is completely different from what I thought. Is. Is he really tired? Fell asleep? Wanda couldn't hold back any longer, suppressed her embarrassment and secretly turned her head to look at Kinyan. Ah, however, when she turned her head, she found that Kinyan was staring at her with wide eyes. The eyes of the two intersected in the air, and the sky turned around again in fright. Huh? What's the matter? The analysis of origin magic power made Kinyan very excited, but she still felt Wanda's movement and asked subconsciously. You dot 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 you haven't slept yet? Wanda asked quietly. It's brewing. Dot. She didn't sleep, still hugged me and didn't do other things? What do you mean? Can't you? Wanda's mood became particularly complicated, even a little unhappy. In addition to maintaining a posture for a long time, Wanda only felt a little sore, and twisted her body a few times. Originally, the two were lying sideways, but Kinyan's shoulders rested on Wanda's waist. In order to keep Wanda from moving, Kinyan reached out and hugged her tightly. 777. At this moment, Kinyan is still immersed in the world of analyzing origin magic power. Wanda's mind went blank. However, some expected things still didn't happen. Time just passed by in a strange atmosphere. In the morning, when Wanda woke up with dark circles under her eyes, Kinyan had just fallen asleep. Last night, after nearly a dozen hours of analyzing the origin magic power, even Kinyan couldn't bear it. Sitting up slowly, looking at the sleeping Kinyan's profile, Wanda's expression was very strange. Last night, she was actually just a pillow for the whole night. Kinyan didn't intend to continue at all. Apostrophe M dot 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 not attractive enough? Wanda couldn't understand what was going on. She has always thought that she looks pretty good, and she is very proud of her figure. But why doesn't Kinyan have the slightest idea of doing bad things? You know, when I went to change my pajamas yesterday, I even found time to take a quick shower. What a dot 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 disappointment. When Kinyan woke up, Wanda was gone. I looked at the time. It was getting late, and it was going to be close to noon. I'm going, it's so late. Kinyan hurriedly got up to wash up, and glanced at the system records during the process. Origin magic power resolution, 0.9%, 20.9. This surprised Kinyan very much. Calculated according to the time, excluding the previous 0.3, this night should be only 0.5 at most. 0.1 higher than expected. Because the contact surface with the past is large. The parsing speed is faster. The systematic explanation also made Kinyan suddenly realize. In other words dot 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 the hug is tighter this time? Is the resolution speed also related to the contact method? Doesn't that mean that if it is a negative distance contact, if you put it in and don't take it out overnight, wouldn't the progress explode? No, no, I'm a decent person, this kind of thing can't be done. Kinyan quickly dispelled his bad thoughts. After washing up, when he came to the first floor of the underground base, there were already many people waiting. Quicksilver was feasting on a boxed lunch, which looked delicious. I didn't realize that my sister was under the rule by the boss last night. Wanda was crossing her legs and resting her head on her hands. She didn't know what to think, and looked a little sleepy from time to time. But Ancient One was much calmer, sitting on the sofa and drinking tea leisurely. Surprisingly, Natasha Romanoff was there. At this moment, Natasha Romanoff also looked at everything around her strangely. Especially Wanda and Quicksilver. She has been able to confirm that everything that happened yesterday is true. Not because she remembered it wrong, but because everyone has forgotten it. The man in black really wiped out the memory of the entire world. Is it all here? Seeing Kinyan's arrival, Ancient One put down the teacup in his hand. It seems that our chief didn't have a good rest last night. Oh, I'm sorry, I got up late. I was really busy last night. Kinyan laughed. Last night, he really intensively analyzed the origin magic power for more than 10 hours. Up to now, his mind is full of the principles and methods of using various magics. It is true that there is no rest. Hearing this. 
Wanda at the side secretly rolled her eyes. Come on, you're still busy. You just lay there all that night and all afternoon while hugging me. Dot 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 didn't do anything. You're so busy, boss. Jang Bihai's place has already prepared it, and they even said they have prepared a gift for you. 404, who has been communicating with Dressolaris, said. Okay, what are you waiting for? Let's go. After all, he is the boss of such a big base and he should be responsible for solving the things that should be solved. It's just that this time there are Wonder and Ancient One, and he himself is no longer a rookie who is powerless. He didn't feel as insecure about the three-body trip as before. When everyone came near the dimensional gate, Ancient One was attracted by just one glance. Is this the portal that can break through the fourth wall? Yes, there is only one door in the base now, and more will be opened in the future. In the future, we may have to find a special planet and place countless dimensional gates here, where hundreds of millions of people come and go every day. For future planning. Kinyan is still very ambitious. The man in black will definitely develop and grow in the end. With the man in black as the medium, all the heavens and myriad worlds will be connected in his hands, and they can communicate with each other. In the endless world, in the future, perhaps the entire planet will be filled with dimensional gates, like a train station, where countless people come and go. That picture is exciting just thinking about it. Just when a few people were about to enter the dimension gate, three-body world, the coalition government has been looking forward to Kinyan's arrival for a long time. Are you ready for the welcome ceremony? The man in black said that he likes to keep a low profile, and everyone knows that he doesn't like to do it, so he didn't prepare such a thing as a welcome ceremony. Okay, but, after all, the person in charge of the man in black came in person, so it should be a bit of a prestige, right? Don't worry, the coalition government has approved the gift for him a few days ago. I think this gift should be very famous. Well then, I think. He'll love the present. This is our thigh, we have to hug it. The future of the Earth depends on this interview. Clear. At the same time, the leader of the Trisolarans was in the conference room. Regarding Kenyan's upcoming event, their emotions are even more complicated. The coalition government has prepared a gift for the leader of the men in black. Do we want to prepare one too? Trisolarans have also known about human culture for a long time. It was the first time to meet and give gifts to each other, which seems to be a form of human diplomacy. Gifts? They are all human beings and it's normal to give gifts to each other, but in their eyes, we are not the same kind. What's the point of giving gifts? But after all, this time we need peace talks, not war. Perhaps this can express our goodwill. Goodwill is a hammer. I said we are kind and people believe it. In any case, the Trisolerans can only be regarded as intruders even until now. Moreover, since the man in black showed his strength, he has even become a weak invader. The war, the moment the trigger is pulled, is already lost. Now pretending to be a good person, no one will believe it. Then forget it. In fact, Trisolerans are now in a very disturbed state, according to their limited understanding of the Men in Black. The Men in Black organization is a very powerful force. After all, as soon as people open their mouths, they are asked to apologize and compensate. What if they want to kill their whole family? The bold words before Jay. Maybe their boss is not a good person to get along with. I don't know what the outcome of the discussion will be. At a time when the forces of all parties are preparing for each other and each is anxious. Kinyan also came to the three-body problem. Just passing through the dimensional gate, Ancient One was the first to notice something was wrong. How is it, Agent G? How much was suppressed? At least 70% because the laws of the two worlds are different. The strength and strength of Ancient One has been suppressed in almost all directions in the three-body universe. Ancient One could feel that most of his power seemed to be deactivated. Now she can only maintain 30% of her original strength. That's normal. This is the original universe, and ours is the universe created by God. There is another way to say that the original universe is the natural universe. This shows that the high-sequence universe law gap between the two universes exceeds 70%. Law, that is, the law of the universe is actually divided into two types. One is the original law, and the other is the universal law. The original law is a unified law that can be shared in all universes. For example, this world must have matter, time and space, and other basic laws. The entry procedures for the men in black are written in the original law, so they are so powerful. The law of the universe is the surprise between each universe. It can only affect the current universe. For example, in some universes, the timeline can be seen and shuttled while others cannot. A natural universe like Three Body has a 30% coincidence with a divinely created universe like Marvel, which is already very high. Some two-dimensional universes are even only 1%. Even Kinyan can feel that his origin magic power, which has just increased a lot, has been beaten back to its original form. While the two were communicating, a high-pitched voice shouted excitedly, Boss, you are finally here. He strode up to Kinyan, who turned out to be Agent J. J, I haven't seen you for a few days. How do you feel that you have gained a lot of weight? The original figure looked a little thin, but now I feel that there is even flesh on his face. It's only been a few days. Two or three days? Isn't that an exaggeration? Damn. 
old. Don't you know, Chinese food is really delicious. Dot 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 you can see it. Kin Yun felt helpless. Let Jay act as a contact here. Boy, does he have dinner here every day? You know, this is Mars, and even a grain of rice here is a huge amount of expense for the current scientific and technological coalition government. Is this wrapping up all the delicious food in their Mars base? We and the man in black are compatriots. Detective Jay is willing to be our guest. Definitely please treat us well. Jang Bihai took cover from the side, and there were already a bunch of people standing around him, who seemed to be members of the coalition government who had come to participate in the talks. As he spoke, he stretched out his hand. Before I join the men in black, on behalf of the coalition government, thank you for coming. Kin Yun also stretched out his hand to save face. This is what I should do. Just when the two parties were meeting to proceed to the next step, Ancient One suddenly frowned. What? After saying this, Ancient One clasped his hands in an instant. In the air, it seemed that something invisible was being pulled. Afterwards, the space seemed to be torn apart, and a piece of circuit diagram loomed in the void, and then began to fold and collapse. In the end, it turned into a small dot shining brightly. This scene made everyone unable to react. What is she doing here? Wait. Look at the picture in the air just now. Does it look like a circuit diagram? This is. Tomoko! Exclamation mark. Trisolaran handed over Sofen's manufacturing technology as compensation. Most of the people present have seen Sofen's technical illustrated book. The Sofen is the product of the proton after the two-dimensional stretching and drawing of the circuit diagram. It can be regarded as a special supercomputer. And now. What happened? Ancient One dragged Sofen out of the two-dimensional space with his bare hands in full view of everyone. Question mark. What kind of operation is this JB? Exclamation mark. Everyone was dumbfounded. You must know that even now, even if the coalition government obtains Sofen's related technology, it is impossible to create it. Even with the most advanced scientific instruments, it is impossible to even observe the formed Sofens. After all, Tomoko is too delicate. But Ancient One pulled out a two-dimensional soften with bare hands. Is this something that humans can do in 4.3? Soften? What is soften? Ancient One just looked at the light spot in his hand. She, who used to be the Sorcerer Supreme, can be said to be the person who knows the latitude best on the earth, not one of them. Just now she could clearly feel that someone was spying on her at a certain latitude. To be reasonable, hiding in the latitude to spy on others, in the latitude world, it can almost be said to be a positive provocation. Now she just pulled soften out of the two-dimensionalization which is considered to be reserved. Otherwise, Sofen would have been GG long ago. Human, this is just a misunderstanding. While several people were still in shock, Tomoko suddenly spoke out. Cough cough. Kinyan pretended to cough, but didn't answer. According to the Trisolarans, the Sofens in the solar system have all been withdrawn. Only this one remained. It is said that it is a communication tool for contacting them. Trisolaran had handed over Sofen's technology before, and withdrew all Sofens, leaving only one. In fact, this attitude is already very good. But Kinyan felt that the Trisolarans might not be so kind. What is Sofen's manufacturing process? It involves latitude technology. For the current coalition government, this kind of technology can almost be said to be a Bible, that is, some basic scientific aspects in it are currently available. Moreover, making a Sofen requires an unimaginably terrifying amount of energy. To put it simply, Sofen technology, civilizations with low-end technological levels cannot afford to be built, and high-end ones are looked down upon. It seems that they have paid a lot. But in fact it is not painful. If the man in black doesn't do something, then for the Trisolarans, they can do whatever they want. Therefore, Ancient One suddenly caught Sofen, although Kinyan was a little surprised. But it felt wrong. Perhaps, this is the way to start a proper interview. Dot. Chapter 56 I will give you a planet as a gift. Chapter 56 I will give you a planet as a gift. P.S. The speed of the previous chapter was reviewed and rewritten. You need to read the previous chapter and click the upper right corner to refresh in the table of contents. Things were indeed as Kinyan guessed. Seeing this kind of operation by Ancient One, the Trisolarans far away from the Trisolaran star were completely dumbfounded. That person, that bald head ripped Sofen out of the two-dimensional space with his bare hands. Do you believe me? I believe. I have seen it too. Damn it. If we didn't believe in ghosts and gods. I would have thought it was a ghost. Ghosts are a way of saying in human civilization. I think a more appropriate description should be, I have seen electrons that are bigger than atomic nuclei. Dot 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 that's surreal indeed. Why would they do that? Exclamation mark. It looks like she means that the bald head doesn't know about Tomoko's existence. He only catches Tomoko out because he feels being watched. Humans are the most liar race. If she says she doesn't know, you will believe her? But some people expressed a different view. The existence of Sofen is almost public and they just handed over Sofen's full set of technology as compensation a few days ago. Now that the peace talks are about to start, you tell me you don't know Tomoko? Isn't that bullshit? So if she knew about Sofen's existence, 
Why would she do this? Isn't she going to talk about it? I don't think so. There is a saying among human beings called Xiamoi, which means that before making certain conversations, one should show one's means to deter others. So we're now deterred? What do you think? Can you understand how she did it? The Trisola and analyzed it for a long time, but finally came to only one conclusion. All of this is the warning given to them by the men in black. Deter them in a way they can't understand at all. The truth is, they were indeed intimidated. You know, they have also scanned that woman. She is definitely not a robot, it's just such a flesh and blood, ordinary black clothed man with a bald head who can't even see any equipment on his body. You can go deep into the two dimensional state with your bare hands and pull this often out. This is a technology that even Trisola and O2 can't imagine. When they create softens, they just use huge amounts of energy to forcibly tear protons into two dimensions, then follow their wishes. The three body people are also very helpless. They found that even if they guessed part of the other party's thoughts, they can only do things according to the meaning of the man in black. Turned into a meek little pitiful. Therefore, after Sofen was caught out of the two-dimensional state, he quickly said, Cumin, this is just a misunderstanding. We didn't do anything. Sofen is just waiting for your arrival. Looking at the expressions of the people around, Ancient One seemed to know that he had made an own mistake. But as an elderly person, a thick skin is her basic quality. She pretended to be nonchalant and let go of the power that bound Sofen. The moment he broke free from the shackles, Sofen quickly transformed himself into a two-dimensional form again. However, this time, the scope of its perception began to shrink infinitely, until a girl appeared in the air. This is a common projection for Sofens. It consciously restricted its observation range to the projected eyes, as if an ordinary person was looking at others. Peeping into the three-dimensional world in the latitude space is an act of declaring war in our place. Ancient One also explained it very intimately. Dot 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 sorry. We don't know the rules on your side. Sofen bent down appearing to be very sincere in admitting his mistakes. Trisolaran felt a burst of mother-in-law criticism in his heart. Where are your rules? I don't know what a fart. Ever since Trisolaran's mastered the two-dimensional technology, they always use it whenever they want. When did they suffer this kind of grievance? On the side of the coalition government, they heard the important information in Ancient One's words. A person who looked like a leader asked in surprise, is two-dimensionalization common in other worlds? Latitude technology is still an unattainable super-black technology for the current Earth. But according to what Ancient One said dot 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 two-dimensional peeping is equivalent to declaring war, which is more like a customary rule. Being able to form this kind of rule at least means that there are a lot of people using this technology. Ancient One glanced at Kinyun, and Kinyun said that it doesn't matter if you say whatever you want. After getting approval, Ancient One paused and explained, in our world, in addition to the main universe, there are many latitude worlds from two-dimensional to almost endless latitudes. Most of the beings living in the latitude world have a strong desire for the main world, so preventing the latitude world from eroding the main world is also my job. Endless latitude? Is there life in the latitude space? Such a world view, even the Trisolarans would be shocked after hearing it. You must know that they have been involved in latitude technology for so many years, and it is not that they have not conducted research on higher latitudes but have never seen any life forms in latitudes. For the coalition government, the amount of information is even more difficult to digest. Because what the coalition government now knows about latitude is some kind of super strength theory for scientists. And so far it has only been calculated to 10 latitudes. As for the argument of infinity, it is reasonable that this is beyond the imagination of existing technology. Ha ha ha, let me introduce to you, this is Agent G of our men in black. Before becoming an agent, she was a sorcerer supreme, guarding a side of the earth. There are 800 high latitude creatures who have been killed in her hands. Just relying on her name alone. She has deterred countless latitude worlds from invading the earth, and brought peace to one world for hundreds of years. Dot. At this time, Kinyan felt that it was necessary to introduce the new employee whom he managed to cheat. Ancient One's personality is not low, and he has a lot of face when he blows it out. Supreme. Magician. Is it the one we understand, magician? For a moment, everyone looked at Ancient One in surprise. Even Natasha Romanoff is a little confused. Magician, protecting the earth for hundreds of years. Where did this person come from? She has never heard of it in S-H-I-E-L-D. Natasha Romanoff found that since she came to the Men in Black, her agent career for so many years, as well as her experience in S-H-I-E-L-D, seemed to have begun to fall behind. It does not matter. Ancient One shook her head. She is not a person who likes to express herself. Kinyan saw his thoughts, stood up and said, Okay, you will know a lot of things later. Now, Kinyan elongated his tone and set his sights on the woman floating in the air. Tomoko looked at it and said quickly, Three Body World has been preparing for this meeting for a long time, we can start talking anytime. I will fully represent the three bodies and convey the wishes of the leaders. The Three Body World does not have a parliamentary system, but a leader system. As the leader, the high-level Trisolarans control almost everything in the civilization, including the lives of other Trisolarans. 
The pyramids of their society are far sharper than those of humans. Then we have prepared the venue. As he spoke, Jiang Bihai led the way and led everyone to a large meeting room. The room looked hastily furnished, with some connectors for original equipment on the walls and such. It seems that this place should have been a warehouse or an equipment room before. After all, the Mars base is very expensive and there is no place specially designed to face this kind of scene before I think about it. But it seems that they also put their heart into it. A red banner with huge amounts of words read in Chinese, warmly welcome the people in black. As for the trisolar and dot 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 not even mentioning it, everyone is seated. Jiang Bihai took the initiative to say, Director Kin, before we start, I will represent the coalition government and send a gift to the man in black. Oh? And presents. Kin Yun laughed and didn't care. What good things can the coalition government come up with? At most, it is something with a sense of ritual. Now Kin Yun's vision is very high. His elementary level smart factory can make things that can be made by modern technology, and he can make things that can't be made by modern technology. Our gift is dot 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 here. As he spoke, Jiang Bihai pointed to the ground. Good guys, are you planning to give me this base? What Kin Yun didn't expect was that the coalition government's move was quite generous. After all, this base on Mars, with their existing technology, would have to spend a lot of money to build it to this scale. It can only be said that this gift is the best that the coalition government can offer now. However, Jiang Bihai shook his head, it's not a Mars base, it's all under our feet, the whole Mars, including the Mars base. As soon as these words came out, even Kin Yun was subconsciously stunned. Wait. What do you mean? This is to gift the whole Mars to yourself. After discussion, the coalition government passed this decision unanimously. We have written the fact that Mars belongs to Director Kin in the Constitution. From now on, this planet will be recognized by all of us and it only belongs to you. Give Mars to Kin Yun as a personal gift, only for him? Is it written in the constitution? Kin Yun only thinks that the idea of the coalition government is simply too far ahead. You guys are really willing. Kin Yun smiled. As the planet closest to Earth in the solar system and most suitable for colonization, Mars is a human civilization that is about to enter the starry sky. Undoubtedly very important. Such a move by the coalition government is full of sincerity. Perhaps they probably guessed that there are basically no gifts that can impress Kin Yun. Then just get a big one. The Earth can't send it, let's send it to Mars. Send you a planet as a gift. Is this gift enough? From the perspective of the coalition government, even if the man in black may have a high level of technology, he would not look down on a planet that can be directly used after a modification, right? However, Kin Yun thought of something else. To be honest, this gift of yours really surprised me. However, the calculations here are quite shrewd. Kin Yun looked at Jiang Bihai with a half smile. The action of the coalition government is actually very easy to understand. I gave you a planet, you have to use it, right? You have to build it? What a waste to leave it alone. Once the men in black invest in Mars, it is equivalent to having their own industry in this world, and it is not easy for them to throw away things. Before, although the diplomacy between the coalition government and the men in black seemed harmonious, but the two sides don't really have any fetters. If something big is about to happen, the man in black will leave as soon as he says he wants to. If he can't beat the gate of the dimension, the coalition government can't do anything about it. But if Kin Yan accepts Mars, after that, it was different. The relationship between the man in black and this world will become even closer. It can only be said that the people in the coalition government are really not just for nothing. It seems that he has suffered a lot and gave him a big gift. But everything is for the purpose of hugging his thigh. Um. Director Kin, in fact, the coalition government also. As soon as he talked about the abacus, Jiang Bihai knew that Kin Yun had seen the coalition government's calculations, and wanted to explain a little embarrassedly, but was interrupted by Kin Yun. Actually, you don't have to think about it so much. I'm already here. People in black won't let go of this world. Maintaining the common prosperity of mankind's destiny is the responsibility of us people in black, and it is also my job. Even if we do not belong to the same world, we are all human beings. Kin Yun said very seriously, helping the coalition government to completely solve the three-body crisis is what Kin Yun has decided must do. If it was before, he might really have thought of running away, but now, the power in his hands has allowed him to face the three-body problem head-on. Not to mention anything else, just closing the door and placing Ancient One is enough for them to eat a pot. Is Soften enough black technology? Didn't he be captured by the Ancient 697 from two-dimensional to three-dimensional state? The water drop is very powerful. Learn about the mirror space. How can you hit the strong material even if you can't touch it? Add a small pistol with a big killer. Kin Yun thinks that Trisolarans are no longer a problem. Most importantly, Kin Yun is bound to win the reward for solving the three-body crisis. Things that can be resurrected, even if you work hard, you have to get it. After all, if you fight for one life, you can get countless lives, so it's not too cost-effective. We understand. Jiang Bihai nodded. That's good. As for Mars, there's no need for it. Kin Yun is not so enthusiastic about Mars. How much will it cost to build it? With the current scale of the organization, there is no need to set up such a large place as a branch base. In the future, when needed, there will be better planets, such as 
build an artificial planet by yourself, compared with natural planets, the men in black organization is more suitable for the development of artificial planets, dot 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 that would be such a shame, seeing that Kin Yan was not prepared to accept the gift carefully prepared by the coalition government, Jiang Bihai was a little disappointed. The Trisolaran looked overjoyed. He didn't want Mars. This is a planet that can be colonized with just a few modifications. Water, all kinds of resources are available. Why not? Trisolarans want to yell that you don't want me. But Kinyan refused. There are only two possibilities. The first is that the men in black don't actually want to stay here permanently. They don't want to invest resources in building a planet. It's unlikely. After all, the few shots they fired at us didn't know how many Martians they could transform. That's true. Then there is only the second possibility, that is, for them, a planet is not important and it doesn't matter. Having said this, the Trisolarans were silent. Suddenly there is a feeling that Kinyan is in Versailles. In order to find a planet suitable for immigration, they worked hard, and even got into trouble with a man in black, making the destruction of their home planet fall into a countdown. The other party didn't care. What you cherish is just what others don't want and throw away. This feeling is really bad. When the Trisolarans were collectively silent, Mars base, Kinyan also expressed his thoughts. Although I don't want Mars, we will still treat this world as an important place. After this meeting is over, I will send someone to live permanently in this world. Hearing this, Jiang Bihai's eyes lit up. That would be great. Even if there is no three-body crisis, the people in black can still pay attention to this side and maintain diplomatic contact. This is a very important thing. After all, human beings have also seen the darkness of the universe, and finally have a thigh. How can they give up? Next, it's another matter. Chapter 57 the despair of Trisolarans. Three body people, do you have anything to say about what you did? Kinyan brought the matter to the point with almost no hesitation. The Trisolarans didn't seem to expect that Kinyan would directly question them forcefully. We dot 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 we have already apologized for our previous actions and paid compensation. Reasonably speaking, Trisolarans blocked the Earth's technology before, and looked like they were going to invade. In this matter, the Earth has not suffered with softened technology alone. Even if the Earth is blocked for a hundred years, it may not be able to develop to this level. Isn't your previous compensation due to the reason you declared war? Dot 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 sorry, that was a mistake of our decision makers. The Trisolarans once made a strong and high-profile declaration of war after coming into contact with the man in black for the first time. This led to what happened next. Kinyan didn't think that just a copy of Sofen's technology could counteract this behavior. So, you want me to talk all the way across the universe, isn't it just to say sorry? Kinyan felt that he had a certain chance of winning and he had completely let go of himself. Dot 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 we want the men in black to withdraw their attacks on our home planet, for which we are willing to pay other prices. The reason why the Trisolarans have been desperately wanting to communicate with Kinyan, and accepting it, seems to have a good temper. All for one reason. The clock of death has begun to count down. The small pistol attack is already on its way. The ultimate goal of the Trisolarans is to prevent the mother planet from perishing. Ancient One saw that the tropic changed so quickly, everyone was friendly at first. But Kinyan suddenly became strict and he was also a little curious, secretly asked the detective next to him. What happened? Before the boss asked me to take a gun and shoot a few rounds at their parent star, the bullets were already on the way, according to what they said, their galaxy would be wiped out in four years. That's why they were so anxious. Everyone knows the so-called Seamazal's heart, and everyone knows the current situation of the Trisolarans. Destroy a galaxy? With a pistol? Ancient One also looked at Kinyan in surprise. Are the weapons of the man in black so perverted? Even in star civilization? She has only heard of things that can cause damage to a galaxy, but those are great weapons, artifacts and the like, didn't expect the men in black to have such a weapon. Originally, Ancient One thought that this meeting was a negotiation between two parties. Now it seems, it is Kinyan who wants to find fault. No wonder it feels a bit weird to talk. Good guy, Ancient One finds the way the man in black behaves too appetizing, because once she faced those latitude beings who wanted to spy on the earth, she also did the same. Withdrawing the attack, it's not impossible but you have to know that destruction is far easier than salvation. The attack we sent out is probably worth a dozen material planets, or three or four life planets similar to the Earth. If you can pay this price, I will immediately take back the things as a reward for your apology. Kinyan seemed to be very talkative, but he didn't give Trisolaran a chance at all. Withdrawing the attack, in fact, Kinyan can't do it at all, but for the price he gave, Kinyan believes that the Trisolarans can't do it either. Sure enough, when Trisolaran heard this condition, he almost fainted. A dozen material planets? Or three or four living planets? To be honest, isn't this a few tricks? How barren is the Trisolaran galaxy? It is so barren that even those who have already involved latitude technology can't survive. Forcibly gathering together a few material planets can be made, but the living planet, reasonable, even if they are willing to call out the parent planet, Kinyan is not necessary, right? If it is also a living planet, if the Earth is heaven, Trisolaran is not even considered hell, at most it is a magma pool. If they could have a planet similar to the Earth, they would have emigrated the long ago, 
so why would they come to the solar system? We can't do this kind of request. Soften shook his head, saying that this was too outrageous. But, do you know how much energy we consumed in that half hour? How much resources did we consume to transform these energies into a tax tilde? Are these resources enough to pay for these planets? So do you think I've said too much? As soon as these words came out, the Trisolaran fell silent for an instant. The attack method of the small pistol really makes one's scalp tingle. The terrifying energy of the blue giant star has been compressed to the thickness of a finger. What kind of technical means is required for this? It is difficult even for a Trisolaran to analyze it. The most important thing is that the attack was originally a pure flow of energy particles. According to this statement, maybe the price Kenyan paid for attacking them was really worth that much. But dot 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 the price you mentioned, we can't afford it. How can this thing be said to exist? If human beings are okay, the solar system is still relatively rich and we can make it together. How could it be possible to take out so many usable planets in the impoverished place of Trisolaran? What do you mean? Don't tell me, I spent so much money to hit you, and you don't pay a dime, and you're going to make me spend several times more to take back the attack? Kenyan's eyes widened, with an expression of disbelief. It was as if no one had expected someone to be so empty-handed. The superb acting skills seemed to have suffered a great loss, and even the people in the coalition government nodded in agreement. In their view, an attack that can destroy galaxies must be expensive and it is normal that it will cost more to recover it. Moreover, seeing where his thighs made things difficult for the Trisolarans, people in the coalition government felt an indescribable pleasure. This is so cool. Trisolarans had never encountered Kenyan's communication method before, and they were at a loss for a while. Do you even feel that your request is too much? Then since you have nothing, there's nothing to talk about with this attitude. What else are we talking about? I packed up and went back. I'm very busy, and I have a lot of things to do. After saying that, Kenyan got up as if about to leave. I don't know why Wanda blushed subconsciously when she heard Kin Yun say that she was very busy. He said the same thing yesterday. He said he was busy but hugged himself all night. Sometimes, in war, the losing side has no say at all. Although the Trisolarans and the man in black have not engaged in any formal war contact, they have already lost. However, Kin Yun was so strong that the Trisolarans couldn't agree to the request. Wait, leader of the men in black, we still have something to say. Seeing that Kin Yun was about to leave, Trisolaran couldn't sit still. Timoko quickly stopped him. Okay, tell me, what else is there? When Kinyan said he was leaving, he was just pretending. He knew that it was impossible for a Trisolaran to wait to die like this. Although we are at a disadvantage in the confrontation with you, we have not completely failed. Please don't push us. Question mark. Upon hearing this, Kinyan was not happy. What do you mean? Not convinced? How long will it take for your fleet to reach the Earth? How long will it be before your home planet will be destroyed? Don't you have any points in your mind? Or, do you think that the detectors and fleets relying on strong interaction materials can really wrestle with us? Kinyan never expected that the attitude of the Trisolarans would become stronger. Without any hesitation, it revealed the technology with the greatest combat effectiveness in the hands of the Trisolarans. You. How do you know that? As soon as these words came out, Trisolaran was immediately dumbfounded. The strong interaction force material is the most powerful material in the hands of Trisolarans. They have many small detectors made of strong interaction materials, and several warships covered with strong interaction materials that broke their fortunes. This is indeed one of their trump cards. But they never disclosed this matter. It was said so directly and casually by Kin Yun. Don't overestimate yourself. You can use softens to monitor the Earth. Have you ever thought that there are other things monitoring you? Kin Yun snorted coldly, but it almost scared the Trisolaran to the point of peeing. What do you mean? Exclamation mark. Could it be that the men in black are also monitoring them by some means? Exclamation mark. FK. At this moment, some Trisolarans even began to learn the swearing of Earthlings. For a while, everyone began to observe around. But, can't see anything. Dot. Everyone, are we really being monitored? Just think that we use to monitor every move of the people on Earth, and our every move is also under their monitoring? I don't know. Dot 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 but it could be true because of strong interaction materials technology which we have never revealed to Earth before. The men in black really have a higher level of civilization. It's normal for us to be unaware of being monitored. This, for a while, the Trisolarans only felt numbness in the back, although they did not have a spine. But I can still feel some kind of coolness spreading to my brain. This feeling, they seemed to empathize with the former Earthlings. What they didn't know was that Kin Yun was not using any objects or techniques to observe the Trisolarans. Instead, Utilize the fourth wall. The reason why breaking the fourth wall is so difficult is because the world outside the wall will make everyone fear. However, our ultimate trump card is not the strengthening interaction force technology. It's that. But, if the men in black are really monitoring everything about us, can that matter really threaten them? I don't know, but it's necessary to try. This is our last chance. It is good. After the leaders of the Trisolarans reached an agreement, Sofan also started talking. We don't want to continue fighting with you. We just want to say that if we die, we still have the means to die with you. 
saving us is also saving human beings. After the words of the three-body man ended, the people in the coalition government instantly became nervous. There is also the same death. Could it be some kind of star-killing weapon? The coalition government does not doubt that the Trisolarans have this kind of technology. After all, according to the speculation of the coalition government, if human beings are a first-level civilization, Trisolaris has already reached the stage of a second-level civilization. Every level of civilization is an unimaginable existence of low-level civilizations. It is not impossible to destroy the galaxy. At this time, even if you interrupt, you must stop this result from happening. After all, they will die together, and the ones who will die together must be the human beings in this world, they are the ones. The men in black aren't here again. They walk through the door. The coalition government was in a hurry, and they all looked at Kinyan, wanting to see how he would deal with it. I was praying in my heart. Big Brother wants to give strength. I still want to live a few more years. Upon hearing this, Kin Yun's expression became strange. The means of killing each other? You don't mean the experiment you did before, do you, Trisolaran? You know this as well? Exclamation mark. At this moment, the Trisolarans have no doubt that the man in black is really monitoring them, and the means are far more sophisticated than Sofen. Because, that experiment was done a long time ago. Thousands of years ago. At that time human beings were still drinking blood, and the man in black was even more vulnerable. In other words, the men in black even monitored what happened in the past? This is too outrageous. It's not impossible. Our scientific theories have always had a guess that everything that happens in the universe is just the movement of particles. If the computing power is sufficient, you only need to calculate the trajectory and state of each particle, and you can calculate everything that happened in the past, and everything that will happen in the future. Dot 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 is there such a thing as impossible? How much energy does it consume? How many particles are there in the universe? It's hard to imagine. If the man in black really had this kind of means, it would be terrifying. Maybe it's just our galaxy? It's not impossible. You must know that the energy consumed by their pistol bullets is all counted by fixed star. No wonder the Trisolarans thought the man in black more and more outrageous. In fact, the performance of the man in black from the very beginning was too rich and powerful. The magazines in the pistol are all blue giant stars. I have never seen such a luxurious one. Yes, it is indeed the experiment tens of thousands of years ago. 11. Trisolaran did not deny it either. We have also had a certain stage, imagining that the universe is so big, why haven't we seen other civilizations? Our civilization even had a stage where it was the center of the universe. However, with the development of science and technology and the advancement of civilization, we have discovered that although the birth of life is harsh, it should not be a special phenomenon at the level of the universe, but a common phenomenon. Phenomenon. Well done. The environment of the Trisolaran star is bad enough, right? Every once in a while, Magma will wash the surface of the planet and destroy everything. Even so, life is still born in a long time. Life. The Trisolaran was born. Therefore, from the perspective of Trisolarans, the birth of life may really be a common phenomenon. But since it is a common phenomenon, why have we never seen traces of other civilizations? The universe is so cold and silent, as if there really is no other civilization except himself. There is only one answer. All civilizations may be hiding themselves from other civilizations to discover. To this end, they even conducted an experiment. The coordinates of a certain galaxy in the distance are transmitted through broadcasting. Soon, that unknown galaxy, disappeared. That's right, it disappeared directly, as if there had never been anything there. It was like being completely wiped out by some powerful presence. In order to confirm that this is not an accidental phenomenon, we also carried out a second time. The result was no surprise. The new lucky one is also eliminated. This method is frightening. Finally. They came to a conclusion. When one civilization meets another, you can't be sure whether it's good or bad, so you can only prepare with the greatest malice and speculate. This universe is a dark jungle. Every civilization is a hunter in the jungle. You don't know whether it is the prey or the hunter. So, in order to protect yourself, you must try to hide as much as possible. Once you find other things exist, you can only shoot first. Otherwise, facing unknown civilization and unknown technology, you may not even have a chance to shoot. The Trisolaran slowly revealed a tingling and spiritual reality of the universe. Is this why people cannot discover other civilizations? Ha ha ha. Kinyan laughed out loud. So, your whole card is actually to broadcast the existence of the solar system to the universe? Then let the unknown higher civilization erase us and die together? Chapter 58 We choose to surrender unconditionally. P.S. I wish you all a happy new year tilde. Kinyan has long known about the so-called dark jungle law. In the original timeline, Liu Oji, one of the Earth's wall facers, also discovered this law and finally used the Dark Jungle Law to deter the Trisolarans, allowing humans to survive even though they were completely defeated in the frontal battlefield. However, what makes people want to laugh is that the law of the Dark Jungle was originally supposed to be a means for the people on Earth to deal with the Trisolarans, but now it has become the trump card for the Trisolarans to deal with them. But this is actually one of the reasons why Kinyan has always been scruples about this world. After all, the civilizations of the three-body world are too bizarre. One by one hid themselves very deeply, 
and occasionally a guy who popped up might be the kind of guy who can restart the universe. What zero is or something, compared with most of the universe, the high-level civilizations in the Trisolaran world are all dogs, and none of them have fuel-efficient lamps. But if Trisolaran wants to use this thing to threaten himself, to be honest, he really thinks too much. Sitting on the dimensional gate, Kinyan can leave at any time. Even if a civilization like the Return to Zero that can restart the universe is staring at him, he can't beat me or run away. Moreover, even if it is targeted, the time is very long. In the eyes of advanced civilizations, hundreds or thousands of years are just a meal. Even if Trisolaran broadcasts the matter, Kinyan will have a lot of time to deal with it. At least, it is not impossible to take away everyone in this world. Kinyan even felt that it was possible for him to develop the man in black to have the level of the creator god and the original level of combat power before the enemy's attack came. So, if you just talk about it now, Kinyan is right. After the negotiation, run directly through the dimension gate, and leave the rest to your subordinates. As long as others don't die, they won't lose Tilda. The Trisolarans were stunned when they saw Kinyan's look of confidence and complete indifference. He isn't afraid? How is it possible? This is a blow from a higher civilization. The most terrifying thing in the world is the unknown, and the higher civilizations of the Trisolaran world are all unknown existences to the lower civilizations. In the eyes of the Trisolarans, no matter how strong the men in black organization is, there should be an upper limit. According to their methods, at most the third level civilization is top notch, and the unknown higher civilization may even be level 4, level 5, level 6. No one knows how many powerful hunters exist in this world. But Kinyan, why are you not afraid? 887 is not afraid that they really provoke a civilization that is far more powerful than the men in black. I understand. Suddenly, a Trisolaran leader said, they are not from this universe at all. Even if they meet someone they can't fight against, they can leave. We haven't perfected the theory related to other universes, but our scientists can also speculate that traveling through the universe is definitely not a simple technology and it may even be a higher level, 8th level and 9th level civilization technology. They can also travel through the universe, so they don't care if there is a blow from a higher civilization in the universe. The Trisolarans feel that they are roughly close to the truth. Although I don't know why the technological level of the man in black is so strange, the attack method is to fly bricks vigorously, using powerful energy to forcibly attack such a method that seems to be no more than a 3rd level civilization, but he can have something supernormal like the dimensional gate. But the Trisolarans really have nothing to do with the man in black. fighting. The men in black know their trump cards very well, even if they are materials with a strong interaction force. They don't know anything about the man in black. I can't fight, but I can run. Dot dot dot. Where else can I go? The mother planet will be destroyed. The Trisolarans suddenly discovered that their situation had almost reached a desperate situation before they knew it. We accept unconditional surrender. Finally, Tomoko spoke slowly, said a very difficult decision. Unconditional surrender is the last decision a Trisolaran can make. This means that they have almost given up all the resistance and rights. He can accept all the requests made by the other party, and put his own life and death in the hands of the man in black. At the level of war, this is almost a complete failure of one party's negotiations for the two warring parties. But the Trisolaran still said this sentence. Upon hearing this, the coalition government, the high-level officials who are watching the negotiation, the expert group, all stood up at the same time. Cheers! Exclamation mark. Oh, just a short sentence, but it made countless people cry. I can't believe this is what a Trisolaran can say. After all these years dot 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 we finally won. There is no doubt that when the conversation has reached this level, it means that the human side can completely declare victory. No one knows how much pressure they will feel when the Earth knows the existence of Trisolarans. This is related to the survival of the race and the continuation of human civilization on the big issue of right, ach, and big wrong. During this period, countless people stepped forward, sacrificed, rebelled, and despaired. Moving forward normally is a true portrayal of most people. In the war with the Trisolarans, there is almost no hope of winning. Under the pressure of this despair, they even fell into self-doubt. Can we really win? Can human beings really survive? Does everything I do now make sense? No one knows the answer, maybe someone is full of firm determination to win. But the reality is that the technological gap is enough to eliminate the efforts of all ants. It's all in vain. However, now, when Hei Anran was born, and when Trisolarant said we accept unconditional surrender, everyone's eye sockets turned red. Everything we do, makes sense. Some people even started crying. They even want to tell the world loudly that they are not wasting their efforts, they are not struggling in vain, and everything they do is meaningful. For so many years, in order to deal with the Trisolarans, they have carried out many plans. The Wall Faces, the Space Force, and later the Mars Base. After knowing the existence of the Men in Black, in order not to give up a glimmer of hope, they mobilized the power of the entire Earth and built this Mars Base. We must know that traditional rockets are still being used in space on the Earth and building such a space space consumes a huge amount of resources. On Earth, the matching of related industries involves tens of millions of people. Every year, 
countless GDP is invested in it. Every single person here spends millions or more every day. After all, Mars is still too far away, and they are almost forcibly using everyone's productivity to supply here. Just the meals for entertaining and eating, if you really want to calculate the cost, you don't know how many billions. After all, even if it is a shipment to Mars, it is an astronomical figure. However, the man in black really stood up and used a strong posture to make the subject bow his head and surrender at this moment. They know that everything they do is worth it. They, one, unconditional surrender. Kenyan also sat down again. Is the attitude of the three-body people right tilde? You guys are pretty smart, surrendering unconditionally. The leaders of the Trisolarans are indeed not easy to use. The meaning of this unconditional surrender is far more than the literal meaning. It is said to be unconditional. But if the other party surrenders, you can't just end the negotiation and finish the job, right? Trisolaran captures the heart of this talk. That is, they still have use value. That's right. The reason why they said unconditional surrender is also because of this. Kinyan actually appeared here in person and held this meeting. It just shows that the Trisolaran is valuable to the man in black. Otherwise, Kinyan can wait until four years later, until the home planet of the Trisolarans is completely destroyed. The man in black didn't have to do anything and he didn't have to say anything. The civilization of the Trisolarans collapsed by itself. The destruction of a three-star orbiting galaxy will involve all the planets in the entire fixed star system, and it is useless for them to move even at zero hour. The so-called unconditional is based on the fact that we are only useful when we are alive. The Trisolarans knew that if the men in black really wanted to let them perish, there was no need to talk at all. Therefore, now that they have said unconditional surrender, they have also made clear their attitude. We don't want anything now, we can give up everything as long as our civilization continues. This is also the underlying condition under the unconditional. Kinyan knew that he was almost done, so he couldn't push the Trisolarant too hard. It is enough to reach this level, otherwise it would be a tricky thing for them to start cosmic broadcasting of the Earth's position. Since this is the case, then I will say a few things. First, from today onwards, the three-body civilization will be the loser, and can have autonomy and political power, but it needs to establish a parliament. All affairs and civilization development must be participated by human beings and occupy more than half of the right to speak. Kinyan just said the first condition, which immediately caused an uproar. Exclamation mark. Trisolarans originally did not have a parliamentary system. What Kinyan means is to completely change the power ladder of the Trisolarans. Do humans have more than half of the right to speak in the Trisolaran Civilization Council? This is the feeling of completely turning the Trisolarans into a colony. This kind of condition, even in the previous wars of human civilization, has never been seen that anyone can agree to it. Isn't it equivalent to packing your own civilization directly and giving it to others? Can Trisolarans agree to such an outrageous request? We agree. However, Sofan answered much faster than expected. He agreed almost without any hesitation. This was within Kinyan's expectation, because no one understands the Trisolarant civilization better than him. This is a race that has experienced crises thousands of times more than humans. From the beginning of their evolutionary path, survival and survival is something engraved in the deepest genes of all the main people. In order to survive, even their bodies have evolved the ability to be completely dehydrated, just to survive the high temperature of the planet. Therefore, Kinyan very much believes that as long as the Trisolarant civilization can continue, this condition is only a small problem. Second, all the science and technology, documents, and materials of the three-body civilization must be packaged and handed over to us. There must be no omissions. We will share this information with the coalition government. Dot 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 our promise. If the first point is to deal with the loser, then the second point is almost the fruit of the winner. Everyone in the coalition government is boiling, and they can't believe their ears. All the scientific data of Trisolarant civilization, and, share it with the coalition government. This is his meow. It is a step up to the sky. Exclamation mark no matter how humble the Trisolarans are now, in the eyes of the coalition government, the Trisolarans are still a powerful advanced civilization that is hard to beat. To have a high-level civilization and complete scientific data, is this of great significance to human beings? This dot 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 isn't very good, we may dot 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 not be suitable for such a gift. Jiang Bihai wanted to express some opinions on behalf of the coalition government. Although the scientific information on the Trisolarans moved their hearts, the coalition government also understood one thing. No merit but no reward. The Trisolarans were subdued by men in black. They didn't do anything just accepted a big gift. Is it really appropriate? You know, for them, the previous softened technology is already a big mouth for them. If it didn't involve the issue of the Earth's technology being locked up, they wouldn't have mentioned it at that time. Don't worry, the coalition government definitely can't take this technology for nothing. Kinyan smiled slightly. The third thing, Trisolarans want to abandon the Trisolaran galaxy and move the entire civilization to the solar system. The coalition government is responsible for finding a planet for the main civilization to reside, Saturn. Venus, even some moons, Titan or something. Hearing the third clause, both the Trisolarans and the coalition government were stunned. Find a place for Trisolarans to live? This is too simple. The solar system is so big, you can find any planet or satellite at will.
Beatrice Oran's technology is far more advanced than humans, and planets like Earth and Mars may be more suitable, but if you just want to survive, you can stay anywhere. This is hardly a problem for the coalition government, is it? The Trisolarans did not expect that Kinyan would propose such a condition... because such a condition is also a joy to them. The environment of the Trisolaran galaxy is too harsh, and there is no planet at all that allows them to continue to develop. It's not just about resources, but also about perihelion and aphelion. The three fixed stars are staggered far and near. Today it may be singing birds and flowers, but tomorrow it will be turned into lava and the day after tomorrow the lava will be frozen and turned into a nice field. How can we survive and develop civilization in this kind of galaxy environment? The solar system is different. Even if it is not Earth and Mars, their life is far more comfortable than when they were in the Trisolarant system. As the loser, Kinyan is willing to let them come to the solar system. Is this too grand? We do. Sofan's answer this time was even more joyful. There is simply no hesitation. This is their dream solution. Hearing that the Trisolaran agreed, Kinyan smiled. In fact, the first two conditions are just appetizers. The most important thing is the third one. Kinyan is really so kind to find a home for Trisolaran. No, it's just to keep them all under my nose. Set up a parliament for them to take the right to speak and move over collectively. This is actually an above board conspiracy. Everything about the Trisolarans will be brought under Kinyan's control. And he will completely solve the crisis of the Trisolarans. Slowly, the Trisolaran civilization may be assimilated by humans and cannot pose a threat to humans. If it is other conditions, they may still struggle a bit such as using the existing warships to go out as a wandering civilization. There may be other crises in the future. However, if there is really a place to stay, will they have this choice? Won't. For an environment that can survive and will not face instant extinction, for Trisolarans, it is extremely attractive. Even if they know that from now on, they will not be free and will become existences similar to vassal civilizations, they still won't give up. This is the obsession of the Trisolarans. It is also the reason why they must agree. Give me liberty or give me death? No. In the culture and thinking of Trisolarans, even if they become dogs or mushrooms, they are unwilling to die. Therefore, although the Trisolarans may have seen Kinyan's malicious intentions, they would still choose to agree without hesitation. It's just. One of the key points is. Chapter 59, Erxiang Foil is here. How can I be sure that the Trisolarans will not rebel? After all, the other party can agree to all conditions now. But it doesn't mean that you can believe it just by talking about it. Humans are a very liar race. Although Trisolarans can't lie, they can still push back what they promised before. For example, if the leader of the current wave of Trisolarans is dead, will the leaders of the next batch of Trisolarans have other ideas? All in all, people who are not of my race must have different hearts. However, since Kinyan can raise this condition, there must be a solution already. Then since everyone has reached an agreement, let's sign the contract. As he said that, Kinyan swiped his hand casually, and something similar to a pen notebook appeared in his empty hand. The black cover looks very thick. On the cover of the notebook, only two words were written. Contract. The origin of this book makes Kinyan very reluctant to mention it. This is still the mysterious gift that the system gave him when he made up the story in Stark Building. However, although the origin is a headache for Kinyan, the thing is indeed a good thing. As the name suggests, this is a contract book. Moreover, it is still the kind of contract written in the original law. Once the terms are written on this contract, it will be recognized by the original law. No one can violate and the end of violation is only one. Signing this contract means that everything we have agreed will take effect, and if we violate it, it will be completely erased. Erase? Everyone looked at the notebook in Kinyan's hand and felt that it looked like an ordinary notebook. Erase? What do you mean? That is to say, those who violate the contract will be wiped out of their own existence. In the whole world, you will never exist. Anything you do, places you have been to, traces you left... etc. etc. In this world, you seem to have never been here and no one nor anything will remember you. All your matter, the quantum signal, never appeared. The power of the original law is far beyond everyone's imagination. This kind of erasure is different from that of the man in black when he joined the job. The original law engraved in the notebook is stronger, more vague, and more lethal. When the man in black entered the job, he just erased the fetters of the past, and there are records and the like. The notebook will erase everything, as if this person has never existed in this world. If the signing object is a civilization, once the Trisolarans violated the contract, the Trisolaran civilization would disappear completely, not even a single particle would remain. Hearing such outrageous things, even Ancient One couldn't sit still, and couldn't help asking, including the world outside the wall, including all universes, inside and outside the wall, even if you escape to the hundredth wall, it's the same. Hiss. For a moment, everyone gasped. The Trisolarans were also shocked. Is this a weapon of cause and effect, or a weapon of law? It feels like it's all. They actually have this kind of thing. The strength of the man in black once again made the Trisolarans feel terrified. Isn't this something similar to the law of causality? According to the understanding of Trisolarans, if this kind of weapon is involved, it must be at least a ninth level civilization, right? 
The man in black is simply terrifying. Had we known that you had this thing, we would have surrendered long ago. Under the gaze of everyone, Kin Young took a pen from nowhere, opened the notebook, and wrote down everything he said before. I, on behalf of the man in black, signed a contract with a three-body civilization. The above is the content of the contract. Does the Japanese civilization recognize it? Kin Young was holding a notebook, as if holding a Bible, and said very seriously, three-body civilization dot 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 identified. Things have come to this point, even if the Trisolarans disagree. Soften slowly conveyed the answers of the Trisolaran executives, with a voice of agreement came. Under a few lines of clauses, the words three-body civilization gradually emerged. This means that the Book of Contract has fully described the agreement reached by the two parties. The original law sanctioned their contract. Moreover, this is a unilateral contract. What they have to do is to find a place for the Trisolarans to live in the solar system. Others are requirements for Trisolarans. Once the Trisolaran violated it, no one would remember the existence of the Trisolaran except the man in black, except those who appeared in the contract. They will also be completely obliterated by the original law. Almost at the moment the contract was completed. The system prompt also sounded. Congratulations to the host. Complete the daily task. Help the Earth solve the oneness crisis. Reward. A full set of quantum state life backup instruments. Full set of quantum state life backup instrument, including a quantum master brain, used to record quantum data, quantum disintegration watch technology, used to disintegrate oneself at a critical moment turn it into a quantum state and send it to the reconstruction instrument, manufactured with elementary level machine can be manufactured, a quantum reconstruction instrument, reconstruct the quantum signal, restore the body, the resurrection pool that Kenyan has been longing for, finally got it, and this thing seems to be far more useful than imagined, there are three parts in total, mastermind, watch, and reconstruction instrument, two resurrection modes are formed, the first is refactoring before death, as the name suggests, when the watch detects that you are going to die, or uses it actively, it can decompose the body and transform it into a quantum state and return it to the reconstructed instrument. Equivalent to a quick death resurrection point. The second state is to use the main brain to back up itself. Once the watch is not detected in time, or the watch is broken or other powerful attacks, such as attacks that can destroy the quantum state, it will restart the backup and restore the previous self, pulled out from the prince's time and resurrected. 0126025022 fellow 133,183,441. However, Kenyan always felt that this way of resurrection was a bit scary. I have already died. Is the former self resurrected again? Is it still me? This is undoubtedly a philosophical question. Maybe there will be an answer in a higher civilization, but now Kenyan can't figure it out. I can only hope that I will never use the second summer lifestyle in my life. The first type, Kenyan, is acceptable and it's actually equivalent to teleportation. Daily task has been updated, concern of higher civilization. Advanced civilization's concern, a certain advanced civilization has observed a strange particle flow between the Earth and the Proxima Centauri. According to the analysis, there may be 12% possible civilizations. They will use the normal cleaning weapon two-way foil to clean up the solar system in the Proxima Centauri. The star is cleaned up, and the expected arrival time is one year. Please find a way to deal with it or continue the survival of this civilization before the arrival of Erxiang Foil. Mission Reward Small Pendant Kin Yun When Kin Yun was still feeling happy about receiving the resurrection equipment, the next daily task of the system almost didn't make Kin Yun scold him. What the hell? Two-way foil? According to the original timeline, isn't this the plot hundreds of years later? Why did it appear at this time? Higher civilizations detected strange particle streams. Could it be the ones fired from the small pistol to the Proxima Centauri? This is F. King. Didn't you see the hell? Looking carefully at the system tasks, Kinyan found that this incident was even caused by himself. There is a 12% chance that civilization exists, so we need to clean it up. This probability is so low. Is it necessary? Kinyan was speechless. Are these advanced civilizations really rich? Even the dark jungle doesn't need to be so active. At least 50% of it is hands-on. Two-way foil blow. Is this something he can handle now? Although Ancient One seems to know so much about latitude, even Trisolarans can use two-dimensional technology to create supercomputers like Sofans. The key lies in the energy level. Trisolarans only need one proton and a huge amount of energy to produce a soften, and most of the energy is consumed in the process of making the proton two-dimensional. And this is just two-dimensionalization of a small particle that is so tiny that it cannot be seen at all. What is two-way foil? The entire solar system can be two-dimensionalized and pressed into a piece of paper. How many protons are there in the solar system? It is completely impossible to describe with normal numbers. This kind of massive attack is very similar to the feeling of a small pistol attacking the Trisolaran galaxy with a particle stream of the blue giant star. Overwhelm opponents with massive power levels. This is perhaps the most common method for advanced civilizations. Even if there is some black technology, it is insignificant in front of this energy level. It's like bombing the sun with a nuclear bomb. No matter how powerful your nuclear bomb is, 
Such a big sun can't be blown away for tens of thousands of years. Qin Yun was silent for a long time, and finally said speechlessly, Your world is really full of disasters. Although Qin Yun had expected the matter of Erxiang foil, according to the original timeline, it was a matter of hundreds of years later. Qin Yun could have had a lot of time to deal with it. After all, it may not be a matter of hundreds of years later. Sun. Unexpectedly, it was ahead of time. Although there are reasons of his own, Qin Yun still wants to say that the human beings in this world are too miserable. Luck is really bad. Huh? What happened? Come on, everyone is still celebrating happily. The Trisolarans found a way to survive, the coalition government blocked the invasion, and obtained high-level technology. Everyone was happy. Why did Qin Yun suddenly become serious? Just now, I detected a weapon of a certain advanced civilization, and the two-wave oil is about to arrive in the solar system and Proxima Centauri. It will destroy both galaxies. Qin Yun's words are concise and to the point. But it woke up all the people who were originally happy. It was as if a basin of cold water had been poured from head to toe. An attack from a higher civilization? What is a two-way foil? Zhang Bihai subconsciously asked. What? Two-way foil? When the Trisolarans heard this, they were also taken aback. They seemed to know the existence of such a thing. Zhang Bihai subconsciously looked at Sofen. Sofen also quickly explained, We once did an experiment, broadcasting the position of a certain fixed star system and that fixed star system disappeared. That's why we know that there are high-level civilizations that have been cleaning up the civilizations of this universe, and came up with the law of the dark jungle. In this experiment, we analyzed some data and unlocked a part of the technology of latitude science. Zero dot 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 asking for flowers. Sofen's two-dimensional technology was inspired by this. Latitude technology was inspired by the destruction of fixed star. In other words, it is the latitude weapon that destroys those fixed star systems. That's right. We call it dimensional strike and in our theory, this weapon is called a two-way foil, something similar to paper. It can expand at the speed of light, and make everything in the range two-dimensional, and press it into a two-dimensional plane with a thickness of only one particle. His tilde, Trisolaran's explanation made everyone present gasp. Squeeze an entire galaxy down to the thickness of a particle? Exclamation mark. Doesn't that mean that all objects and all people must die? This kind of attack is too terrifying. Mr. Kin Yun. Are you really sure that we have encountered this kind of attack? Trisolaran suddenly asked Qin Yun respectfully. The moment they signed the contract, they knew that the Trisolaran civilization had already been tied to human civilization, became a domesticated dog. However, they don't care about their status, they only care about their own survival. Dimensionality reduction strikes against things like two-way foils, which have once again threatened their survival at a deeper level. I can confirm that Uxiang foil is already on the way, and it will be there in one year. The system prompts will not be wrong. The battleship that launched the two-way foil may already be on its way, and when the sweeper passes by, they will face this terrifying weapon head-on. However, what Qin Yun is worried about is not the two-way foil. Oh, oh, in a year's time, I may be able to find a way to deal with it. The key is the owner of the two-way foil. Is it the singer civilization that appeared in the original timeline? Or some other civilization? Ah, what can I do? Just resolved the three-body crisis. The people of the coalition government have not recovered yet. Suddenly, a higher level of civilization strikes. This is simply outrageous. Moreover, the enemies that appeared this time are obviously stronger. How do they cope? The Trisolaran was also a little panicked. The reason why they can take the law of the dark jungle so seriously is because they have seen the power of those sneaky advanced civilizations. In an instant, the scene of an entire galaxy disappearing from the eyes and being two-dimensional is still vivid in my mind. In front of those civilizations, even their three-body civilization is just a bug, not much bigger than an ant. For a moment, the eyes of both sides looked at Qin Yun at the same time. Now, maybe they can only rely on others. This feeling is really bad. Make entire galaxies dot 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 two-dimensional, flatten them. Even Ancient One felt bad when he heard the effect of the two-way foil. Knowing about latitude made her understand how difficult it is to do this kind of thing. Is this their most powerful weapon? Ancient One asked. If the top weapon is like this, it can be accepted. After all, some enemies she faces can also achieve a similar level and a full strength explosion. Qin Yun shook his head silently. How should I put it? Dot 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 the two-wave oil is just their normal weapon. No, it can't be called a weapon, it should be said to be their broom. Two-wave oil is the most widely used thing in advanced civilizations. Generally speaking, it is used by cleaners. I, upon hearing this, they were stunned. What cleaner? Is that what I thought it was? That's right, it's just like the cleaners who sweep the floor by the side of the road. But what cleans is civilization, perhaps for them. It's just that they found a dirty thing on the side of the road, and then they just destroyed the broom at will, and just cleaned it up. Treat two fixed star systems as rubbish on the side of the road. Randomly sweep? Exclamation mark. This kind of adjective makes people's scalp tingle. Trisolarans are almost soul astral, because, in their interpretation of dark jungle lore, the thought is that the hunter hits the prey and fires a full shot. Good guy, Cawther, not full strength at all, just sweeping trash. From this point of view, 
The horror of those advanced civilizations is far more exaggerated than imagined. However, don't worry, the man in black will participate in this matter. Kin Yun was silent for a moment, and finally opened his mouth. No matter how to deal with it in the future, after all, it has something to do with me, even if I run away, I have to bear it. There's no way, he won't pretend he didn't see the mistakes he made. As soon as I heard that Kin Yun wanted to participate, even Trisolaran's eyes lit up. Now, they have a big brother. That's really great. Jiang Bihai only felt that the happiness came too suddenly. The man in black is even willing to face such a terrifying enemy. Is this a community of shared future for mankind? For a moment, he suddenly felt that the men in black were really a great organization. Do you want to work for this kind of organization in the future? Chapter 60 Get Rich 200,000 system coins Facing such a powerful enemy, and still not knowing the way out, people in the coalition government all became frowning. Although Kin Yun said that he would intervene dot 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 but this level of civilizational conflict, the group of people who have not completely left their home planet is really painful. There is no sense of security at all. In case the conflict between the two parties is accidentally sidelined by something, the Earth must not just disappear. After all, they have seen the weapons of the men in black organization before, and adding this to a foil dot 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 it will kill them. Trisolarans are even more uncomfortable. It took a huge amount of effort to alleviate the hostility of the men in black, but now a cleaner of some kind suddenly appeared, and came up to destroy the two galaxies again? They just want to live. What's wrong? However, although everyone pretended to be uneasy, they didn't show it. Things always have to be dealt with one by one. The first thing to be dealt with at present is the issue of how to implement the signed contract. We are 4.2 light years away from the solar system, no matter before the arrival of the two-way foil or the arrival of the particle flow, we will definitely not be able to transport everyone in such a short time. Sofen set his sights on Kin Yun. Although Trisolarans have the ability and technology of deep space voyage, they are limited by the basic rules of this world. It is difficult for an object to travel faster than the speed of light. Even the spaceship technology of Trisolaran is only driven by antimatter. Although powerful, the antimatter will interfere with the space near the battleship, so that their spaceship can only reach 10% of the speed of light at most. However, their battleships are all built very large, and the process of accelerating and decelerating takes a lot of time. It would take at least 400 years to reach the solar system on their own. How many people do you have? Kin Yun asked. About 100 million or so. The number of Trisolarans is far less than expected in 297. Kin Yun thought they had billions or tens of billions of people. But it's normal to think about it. The environment of the Trisolaran galaxy is extremely harsh, and it is a miracle for every Trisolaran to survive. It is simply impossible to develop too many people. The small population is also the reason why Trisolar and Sent softens ahead of time to block the Earth's technology. Their technology has reached the upper limit of their existing resources and population. But humans are just getting started. Earth's technology is not limited by population and resources, and will climb thousands of times faster than them. If the softens don't lock the technology of the Earth, it is possible that by the time their warships arrive on the Earth, the technological level of human beings will have been equal to or even surpassed. That's pretty simple too. Dot dot dot. Have you thought about a planet for the Trisolarans from the coalition government? Kin Yun asked. Think about it. Jiang Bihai also got the coalition government's decision through the headset. We are going dot 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 to give Trisolarans a home on this Mars. Mars? Trisolarans were stunned when they heard that the coalition government wanted to tell Mars to themselves. Even Kin Yun looked at Jiang Bihai in surprise. Mars is not at the same level as other planets in the solar system. This is the only place that can serve as the second home of mankind in the future. After all, human beings are much weaker than Trisolarans, and the environment they can adapt to is limited. Kin Yun thought that the coalition government would hand over Jin Crossing, although they had said before that they would give Mars to themselves. The reason was that the man in black was now considered the big brother of the coalition government and supported them. It is beneficial to send it out, and the same human beings will not lose money. It's a little bit for the Trisolarans. You know they were still enemies before? It's decided. It's Mars. In the future. Mars will be the residence of the Trisolaran civilization and will be recognized by our coalition government, Jiang Bihai said again with certainty. In fact, the decision made by the coalition government is also the result of multiple considerations. Although Mars is a good thing, if it is handed over to the Trisolarans like this, even they feel a little distressed. But, for some things, we can't really just look at the gains and losses on the surface, we have to look at the future. After this incident, the people of the coalition government discovered this universe is far darker than imagined, and there are countless powerful civilizations. Originally, as the loser, under the oppression of the man in black, the Trisolaran can completely become an animal kept in a cage by humans. But the coalition government doesn't want to really turn them into something that can only be seen in the zoo. After all, the way of thinking of Trisolarans is actually higher than that of human beings, and their intelligence is far from that of supermans. This is all helpful. It will be a long process for the coalition government to completely digest the technology of the Trisolarans, and this process requires the help of the Trisolarans. After thinking about it, 
I also thought about their thoughts, nodded. Indeed, the coalition government also needs to develop. Unlike themselves, they have smart factories, and as long as the technical materials are in place, they can convert technology into items. Their idea is that after the Trisolarans move here, they don't have to think about eating and drinking every day, but work as wage earners. This idea is still very good. So, how do we move? Can we move within a year? Trisolarans don't have much requirements on which planet to go to, and it is definitely best to go to Mars. As for whether you are a monkey or a wage earner when you come here, it doesn't matter. They just want to move here quickly. Didn't you hear what Qin Yun said? Xiang Fu will arrive in one year's time. The two two-way foils launched attacks on the Trisolaran star and the two galaxies of the solar system. They are absolutely unstoppable. Only when you come to the solar system and get closer to the man in black can you feel a sense of security. After all, the people in Trisolarans don't think that the men in black will waste their resources going all the way to the Trisolarans galaxy to save them. The only hope is to move here quickly before the attack comes. Otherwise, the Trisolaran civilization might just turn into a wandering civilization with some fleets facing the unknown and deep space. As for moving, you can move now if you want to. Now? Trisolaran was still in a hurry, but he was stunned when he heard this. Tomoko looked around. Has your battleship arrived yet? How fast is it sailing? Is it faster than the speed of light? From the perspective of the Trisolarans, the man in black is a civilization higher than himself after all. Perhaps he has already mastered the way of sailing beyond the speed of light? But, didn't you see their boat? Who said you need spaceships? Kin Yun shook his head. He does have a few ships in his hand, but they are all sea level, and the level should be similar to that of the Trisolarans. As for those few small spaceships for the Trisolarans to move, it is better to let them drive their own spaceships for paddling. Come over, it's time for you. Agent G. Kin Yun turned his attention to Ancient One. From the very beginning, he proposed that Trisolarans should come to the solar system to be monkeys. Bah, when they were wage earners, he had already planned to let Ancient One take the shot. I, Ancient One pointed at himself, not knowing why he suddenly mentioned her. The portal open a bigger one, let the Trisolarans move over. Five, good guy. Kin Yun really dared to say that. Isn't he afraid that he won't be able to get out? It is very difficult for this universe to go beyond the speed of light but the rules about space are not much different from those of the main universe. Kin Yun is very familiar with Ancient One's ability, even though this guy is usually not obvious. He has never made a serious move. If Kin Yun remembers correctly, when he was still outside the fourth wall, he once saw the Ancient One teleport the entire Earth away in a parallel world. After all, it is the Sorcerer Supreme that can withstand the Latitude Mephista, not some embroidered pillow. And, most importantly, Kamataj's portal magic has a high ceiling. After cultivating to a deep level, you can go to any place you want to go, even different parallel worlds under the same sequence system, even if you don't need to use a medium to move your mind. Although it can't break the wall, it is still very awesome. Now it's just opening a portal 4.2 light years away, open it wider and longer. Even if it suppresses the Ancient One's strength by 70%, it will be absolutely fine. What does the place I need to open the door look like? Ancient One didn't refuse either and seemed to want to try whether his ability would work in other universes. I have got. Sofan quickly volunteered to simultaneously project the image of the Trisolaran galaxy into the air. After Ancient One he glanced dot 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 slowly closed his eyes. Then, she began to draw circles in the air. Kin Yun can clearly see that she is not carrying the thing called sling ring in her hand. Sure enough, there is no sling ring, no space magic, and it is only performed by Ancient One for people to see. With her knowledge of space magic, she can cast spells successfully even with her feet right? Wow, look outside. Ancient One drew circles in the air for more than 10 seconds, but nothing happened. Just when everyone was a little confused, they didn't know what kind of riddle Kin Yun and Ancient One were playing. Agent J who was sitting by the window suddenly yelled. Only then did everyone turn their gazes out of the window. The scene in front of them stunned everyone. I saw that above the sky of Mars, an unknown number of meters seemed to have touched space. A golden circle is constantly expanding. The speed of expansion is very fast. It is almost visible to the naked eye. There seems to be nothing wrong with the outside of the circle, just a normal skyscape. But inside, a few unusually dazzling rays of light can be seen. That apostrophe s dot 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 three fixed stars crisscrossing. There's a hole in the sky. Wouldn't it be the three body star on the opposite side? Exclamation mark. The scene in front of him was really too shocking. It was as if a big hole had been dug out in the sky, revealing another world. At the same time, the Trisolarans far away in the Trisolaran galaxy also detected this portal. Unknown space fluctuations detected near the parent star. The space has been torn apart. A hole has leaked. On the opposite side is dot 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 the solar system, above Mars. At this moment, Trisolaran and Mars, as if across time and space, kissed under the golden light, 4.2 light years away, two planets that should never be able to see each other in their lifetime. For the first time, face-to-face -face contact was made. This. What kind of technology? The Trisolarans were completely shocked, 
and couldn't figure out what kind of technology could directly tear apart the space and maintain a stable connection to the other end. You must know that even the so-called technology of traveling through space, such as wormholes, only uses gravity to forcibly distort the space to make the distance look shorter. It's not as intuitive as this portal. Why so small? Until a minute later, Ancient One stopped. As soon as he moved, the big hole in the sky was already very big, at least hundreds of kilometers in diameter. This is the first time that Ancient One has attempted to open such a large door. But even so, Kinyun actually felt a little small. Ancient One colon dot 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 is it going to be bigger? She didn't know that Kinyun knew the limit of her ability, but he directly teleported the planet and wrapped the planet in with the portal. Compared to a planet, this door is indeed a bit small. Enough is enough, our largest warship is only 10 kilometers away. This is far enough. Trisolaran, however, seemed very content, almost bursting out laughing seeing this portal. Originally thought that the men in black would send warships to help them transport them, but they didn't expect it to be this kind of operation, directly tearing apart the space. Open the door to the house. Isn't this more convenient than taking a spaceship? It's just two steps away with this thing let alone a year, give them a month to pack and take away the useful things of the entire Trisolerant civilization. Natasha Romanoff was also dumbfounded looking at the big hole in the sky. Is this the world the men in black face? That's what the Kiritus did when they invaded Earth, but with the help of the space gem, and the file size of that hole was less than 1% of this one. And now, tell me, this thing was rubbed out with bare hands by the new bald man in black? Do you want to be so outrageous? How long can you last? Kin looked at Ancient One. Ancient One thought for a while and said, it won't last long, maybe two or three years. When Kinyun heard this, he was instantly speechless, only two or three years. Is this what people say? For the first time he discovered that the Ancient One was like that of Vesai. Kinyun colon dot 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 that's really not long. In two or three years, we only need one month to pack all the necessities. Sofan didn't recognize the Vesai in Ancient One's words, but gave their data very seriously. Half a month, a month is too long. Kinyun shook his head forcefully not planning to give Trisolerant such a long time. Why do you bring so many things? Just bring the valuable ones, apart from their technology. The most valuable thing about the three-body civilization is its people. In one year's time, Erxiang Foil is coming, and maybe he has to face the civilization behind Erxiang Foil. Ancient One 5.9 is the strongest combat power in his hands now. It is impossible to stay here for more than a month as the God of Door. After finally recruiting a competent general, there are still many places to be used. Kinyan also pointed to a year to raise the combat power level of the man in black. Dot 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 it is good. Trisolaran felt a little helpless, but he could only agree. After all, the right to speak was now completely in Kinyan's hands. Already starting to think about what to throw away. While a few people were communicating, they saw a small boat flying out of the portal, heading straight for the Mars base. It contains almost all scientific and technical documents in the history of our Trisolaran civilization. Soon. The spacecraft stopped at the gate of the Mars base. After getting permission, a small robot that looked like an octopus slowly floated in. Then, he handed out something that looked like a USB flash drive. Almost at the same time, the system's notification sound began to sound crazily. Congratulations to the host, you have obtained the theory of strong interaction force technology, and related material manufacturing technology, and received a reward. 20,000 points. Congratulations to the host. You have obtained the theory of antimatter technology and related technologies, and you will be rewarded with 3,000 points. Congratulations to the host. You have obtained gravitational waves, and received a reward of 1,500 points. As an old technological civilization that has been stuck in the second level civilization for many years, how much technology does the Trisolaran have? Covers almost every aspect, from materials, to energy, to force fields, waves, countless technical documents almost a quarter of which are rewarded by the system. As small as one or two dots, as many as tens of thousands of dots. In just a few seconds, the dense system prompts almost exploded Kinyun's head. Stop. Don't remind me, just tell me how much it is. Congratulations to the host, for obtaining the complete second level civilization technology information. A total of 223,000 reward points. Current balance, 226,000 points. Chapter 61 Ancient One is gone. Then I'll play Thanos. 220,000. Kinyan smiled when he saw the system's final arrival number. Get rich. 220,000 points. What can you do? A C-class small battleship costs 30,000 points. One can easily deal with the entire current coalition government. Even in front of Trisolaran's fleet, it is the top-notch ship, the kind that can fight with their frigates several kilometers away, even with a ship of a few hundred meters. According to the division of the system, level C corresponds to elementary level civilization, level B corresponds to medium level civilization, and level A corresponds to high level civilization. As for the top level S level, it corresponds to the god level, or detachment level civilization. Elementary level civilization is divided into many worlds, 
and it is probably level 1 to level 3 civilization, medium level 4 6, high level 7 9. The three body civilization is the civilization at the end of the second level, in other words, 30,000 yuan is enough to buy the top combat power of a second level civilization, with some extra money, 100,000 system points, you can buy a C-class large warship, large battleships, because of their large size, are equipped with completely different equipment, class C large battleship, 2,200 meters long and 500 meters wide, C-type large deflector shield, power 500 megabytes, latitude blur shield, Power 300 megabytes. C-type antimatter reactor. Power 2000 megabytes. Weapon system. Main cannon. Annihilating cannon. J-star. Space fighters. 120. Curvature engine. 30 times the speed of light normalized. Can be overclocked. Plasma cannon. 30. Phase cannon. 12. Photon antimatter torpedoes. 300 pieces. Takeoff mass. 190,000 tons. Compared with the small C-class spacecraft, this is simply something from two worlds and it can already be said to be something from a third level civilization. Main cannon annihilation cannon is somewhat similar to antimatter cannon, but the principle is different. He uses the quantum properties of particles once the target is concentrated. It will directly explode the quantum properties of the other party, causing its deconstruction and collapse in the physical world, and its self-destruction and collapse. The most outrageous thing is that the star destroyer he mentioned is not a planet like Earth, but fixed star. That is to say, even something as big as the sun is a one-shot O2 thing and it will be annihilated directly, leaving at most some radiation residues bursting out due to the annihilation of matter. Not only that, even the power of the ordinary deflector shield of this ship has reached a terrifying 500 megabytes, and it can even drive into the fixed star for two laps before coming out. There is also a new type of technology. The latitude blur shield. This kind of defense technology can cut itself into a virtual state, similar to existing in the interlayer of space. All attacks cannot damage it. If it is said that the spaceship that represented the second level civilization before, if the ants kill the elephant, as long as it attacks enough, it can also destroy its shield. With it, it is almost impossible to be hurt by one's own low-level civilization technology. It's like the water droplet detector of the Trisolarant civilization in the original timeline. Even the coalition government with thousands of warships can only be put into firework one by one in front of the small water drop detector. This is the horror of a generation gap of civilization. Although the firepower of this ship was fierce, its speed did not hold back. It can sail with curvature at 30 times the speed of light, and it is difficult for ordinary third-level civilizations to reach this level. Only ships close to fourth-level civilizations may have such speeds. With 220,000 yuan in hand, Kinyan can even directly buy two such warships now. With him, almost no one can compete against any civilization below the third level. If Kinyan had this thing in hand a few days ago, Kinyan wouldn't have to fight with the Trisolarans at all, and he would have just sailed there and wiped out the Trisolarans in no time. However, Kinyan thought about it and held back, because he is not sure what level of civilization the civilization that launched the two-way foil is. Now that I bought this boat, I won't be able to use it for the time being. Maybe I can keep it and use it at critical times. Very good, I accepted the item, there is no problem, I am very satisfied. Kinyan is indeed very satisfied with the reality of Trisolaran. They said compensation, that is real compensation. This small storage body is basically the most valuable thing in the entire Trisolarant civilization. It can only be said that this trip was really rewarding. You found us a place to live, and you are willing to protect us. The three-body civilization should thank you. Tomoko bent down, appearing to be extremely sincere. Then, let's start moving first, and I'll come again when you finish moving. Kinyan is satisfied with the results of today's talks. Not only did he get the long-awaited resurrection equipment reward, he also got more than 200,000 system coins. For Kinyan, who used to spend only a few dollars, it can almost be regarded as an overnight fortune. Although there is still the problem of the two-way foils attack to be solved, it will be a year later. Kinyan brought a group of people back to the Marvel world. Worth mentioning, and Ancient One are staying. Ancient One stayed because she wanted to maintain the portal, and she was also very interested in the new world and wanted to learn more about it. It's different, boss. Isn't this world going to keep some people working? I want to apply to stay. To keep in touch with the world, and to deal with some daily affairs, people are indeed needed. Jay decided to be the guy. There are two reasons. First, he found that he actually fell in love with this world a little bit. As he grew up in the United States, the atmosphere in this world is obviously completely different from that controlled by the capital world. The coalition government has united the whole world, and everyone is working hard for a common goal. There is no black man discrimination just from the people he has come into contact with. This is undoubtedly a very idealized world, and he likes this feeling. In particular, the chefs at the Mars base are really delicious. The second point is that he found that when the man in black opened the door to a whole new world for him, he didn't know how to face it. 
multiple worlds, aliens, all kinds of terrifying and unimaginable weapons. All of these are not related to his former policeman's ability. Especially, after watching Ancient One's ability, I felt inferior compared to other colleagues. He found himself to be nothing. He doesn't have a smart brain, nor does he have powerful magic. So, he felt that he might as well stay in this world and be a liaison officer. Anyway, it's not impossible to go back, just change jobs. Okay, then you will be in charge of the diplomatic work with Trisolaran from now on. Kinyan can understand Jay's thoughts and attitudes. Indeed, this is also a problem that the organization will inevitably encounter when it develops slowly. From the lack of people at the beginning to the increasing number of agents, Kinyan must develop the man in black as quickly as possible. Some of these people can't keep up with the rhythm and sooner or later they will be marginalized. Maybe even Ancient One will face such a problem in the future. Kinyan didn't know, and didn't bother to think about it. After arranging everyone's work and waiting for the Trisolarans to move, Kinyan began to study another civilization. Pioneer. It's time to solve this giant beast nomadic civilization. Don't panic if you have money in your pocket. With 220,000 system points, Kinyan feels that Pioneer may already be a guy who can face it. Just as Kinyan was browsing the system store, studying how to deal with the Pioneers in the universe, Above holy place number one, it seems a bit messy. No. No trace of being invaded can be found. The database security system didn't respond at all. It doesn't look like it was done by a hacker. Is it magic? What kind of magic can interfere with electronic databases? Thanos sat on his throne, watching the little technicians under his hands in a mess, with a gloomy expression on his face. Can't find the problem? Sorry, master. We. The technician being questioned was in a cold sweat, and before he had time to beg for mercy. Thanos pinched his neck tightly. Then use your thumbs slightly, crackling. There was a crisp sound, and the whole person lost the breath of life without struggling. My holy place number one, someone deleted the data in the database, but you told me that I can't find the reason, and you can't find who deleted it. Seeing that a person died, all the younger brothers present were trembling, and hurriedly clicked on the control panel, not knowing what they were pressing. They just knew that if they didn't satisfy Thanos, they might be the next one to die. It turned out that one day ago, Thanos checked the information of infinite gems as usual, but suddenly found that the data about the person in Time Gem disappeared. Time Gem is in the hands of Sorcerer Supreme, which is actually something that many people know. Thanos is no exception. But the power of Ancient One is also well known, so even knowing that the Time Gem is on Earth, on Ancient One's body, Thanos never thought of grabbing it directly. Maybe he will wait until he has collected several other gems, and then he will use the power of the gems before he starts. However, this well-known record about Ancient One, which existed in the Holy Place Number One database, has disappeared. Thanos almost subconsciously thought that someone had hacked into his battleship system. How can this be? You know, this Holy Place Number One is not only the strongest battleship in his hands, but also one of his strongholds. A place where he can feel safe. Where is the couch for others to sleep? My master, I feel that maybe the system is not really hacked. On the side, an ugly-looking alien said in a very graceful manner. This person is none other than Ebony Moore. One of Thanos' five obsidians, proficient in magic and superior intellect. Also one of Thanos' advisors and the most trusted people. Not an invasion? Thanos also frowned, and began to think. What could be the reason if it wasn't an intrusion? Let the database information that only he was qualified to view just disappear out of thin air? I once heard a rumor that Sorcerer Supreme borrowed the power of the Dark Dimension Dormammu. Ebony Moore began to analyze. As a magician, he paid a lot of attention to Ancient One. In fact, it felt like an industry expert met an academician. Everyone who played magic was looking at Sorcerer Supreme. After all, the Supreme Magician didn't come up with the name himself, but it was recognized by everyone. Even no matter what, as long as it involves Ancient One, he will inquire about it. Dormammu, is that Latitude Mephista? Both are villains, but Thanos and Dormammu don't have much contact. As a wanderer in the main world, he has nothing to cooperate with each other in depth. Yes. Dot, 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 I suspect that the Ancient One may have disappeared. There's Latitude Power involved and there's time power. I suspect that Ancient One used some kind of forbidden magic to fail, so she made herself disappear. She is probably dead. No one dare any more thinks so, because there are not many magics that can cause this phenomenon, and they are all taboo magics. The name of Ancient One, as long as it exists, can shock many people. There is no need for her to hide herself at all, to make her name disappear from the world. It must be because of the use of some taboo magic that failed, and disappeared. This will happen. After all, in magic, Gong Mu who is a professional. Hearing this statement, Thanos' originally bad mood suddenly became better. Ancient One. Is dead? How sure are you? 90%. I used magic to explore the Earth, and the prestige of power that originally shrouded Ancient One has completely disappeared. Ebony Moore said affirmatively. What he didn't know was that Ancient One's prestige of power disappeared only because... She traveled to another world and was working as a doorman. 
This is indeed good news, if everything is true as Eponymore says. Dot 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 then, Thanos subconsciously glanced at the corpse that had just died and hadn't had time to be carried away. Then he died a bit unjustly. If Ancient One is dead, Time Gem is likely to still be on Earth. It is the god of a magician holy place. Ebonymore said again. Speaking of this, Thanos was moved. I have collected infinite gems for so many years, and now I only have power gems in my hands. Most of the other gems only know the approximate location but I can't get it. Originally, Mind Gem was also obtained, but was thrown to the earth by that silly roe dear Loki. Now it looks like the Time Gem could be on the list. Then, let's go to Earth. Ancient One is gone, there are three gems on Earth now. Time, Mind, and Space. The rest, that is, the Soul and the Reality Gem, are added with the Power Gem in his hand. From this point of view, if this trip to the Earth goes smoothly, doesn't it mean that they will have four gems in their hands immediately? Such a temptation is hard to resist. However, Earth has been under the watchful eye of Osgood. Odin is not easy to deal with. Ebony Moore talked about another person. Strictly speaking, there is not only the Ancient One on the Earth, Odin is also one of the protectors of the Earth. Ragnarok has been rumored for so many years. Dot 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 it's time for it to come true. Thanos did sneer. Odin has reached his twilight years, if it is the prime of life, Thanos may have to think about it. But five thousand years have passed, and even a powerful god will become fragile. There's always been a legend of Ragnarok in the plus starry sky. It's fine if Odin doesn't show up. Dot 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 if he does. I don't mind, becoming a practitioner of starry sky legend. Go. Target, Earth. No one can stop him from fulfilling his goals. Holy place number one, with huge amounts of propellers, burst out a powerful thrust. Chapter 62 Time Machine. On Earth, Thanos has already experienced one defeat. The last time Thanos had bad intentions for the Earth. He sent the Kirita army over through the portal constructed by the Space Gem. It's just that the result is very unsatisfactory. However, this process is indeed a huge scene. It is Thanos who let most people on Earth know the existence of aliens. Even though there was such a big commotion, Ancient One still didn't make a move in person. So, is it possible that something happened to Zania at that time? The Earth is out of control. Fortunately, at that time, he was still scruples about Ancient One and did not dare to make a move in person. Otherwise, the Space Gem would have already arrived. So, going to Earth this time, there are only two possibilities for him to fail. First, Ancient One is actually still there. If it really wants to be like this, then wait. Second, that old man Odin went crazy, and he wanted to save the Earth even if he was close to death at an old age. That's okay, according to Odin's age, he will get GG in one or two shots at most. The gods of Asgard, although the older they get, the stronger their divine power is, but they are only stronger. The body that drives the power is close to decay, and they can't suppress the ability in the body at all. Odin made a move, almost sending himself to death, even if he knocked himself back temporarily, after he hanged on the wall. Thanos' revenge is unknown. Willows could be able to resist without Odin. Therefore, Thanos concluded that Odin would definitely not make a move. Master, we will be able to reach Earth in about a month. Although the spaceship is surprisingly large, its speed is not slow. It can enter the warp space and advance at a hundred times, a thousand times and a thousand times the speed of light. Definitely. The space navigation systems in the Marvel world and the Trisolaran world are different. Marvel is a creation universe, and many creation universes will have some convenience laws, like warp space. That is an independent space, connected to the whole universe like a honeycomb. It's like the world's highway. Break the honeycomb, drill in, drill out and it will appear where you want to go. The warp speed of the original universe uses powerful power and technology to forcibly distort the space to accelerate, and the basic technological conditions that the two need to meet are simply vastly different. To enter the highway, the required technology is not high, and even a first-level civilization can do it if it finds a way. Advanced civilization is nothing more than walking faster in warp space. It is said that in the hands of Collector, there is the fastest shuttle in the universe, which can sail in warp space at a billion times the speed of light. Therefore, with a file size of tens of kilometers on Holy Place 1, it takes one month to reach the Earth, which is already very fast. No, this ship is not called Holy Place Number 1, but Holy Place Number 2, because, Holy Place 1... was blown up by Tony during the Battle of New York. This is why Thanos can't wait to do it immediately when he mentions the Earth. It was also one of the reasons why he was so angry when he saw the loss of system data. Having destroyed his hometown once, he obviously cherishes Holy Place Number 2 even more. Even he only has two ships of this level. At this moment, Kinyan didn't know that Thanos was ready to set off towards the Earth. He's really busy right now. The result of the interview with the Trisolarans, generally speaking, is nothing more than the merger of the Trisolaran civilization into the coalition government. Becoming a vassal race of human beings is actually not as simple as it seems on the surface. There are countless details that need to be dealt with, especially when the Trisolarans are moving. Fortunately, Jang Bihai has officially joined the Men in Black. As a person who is very smart, has a strong learning ability, 
and his ability is not bad, he has no pressure at all to deal with the establishment of diplomatic relations and always involving different civilizations. In addition, Agent J has also been stationed in three-body world. In fact, Kinyan didn't need to spend too much energy on the matter of the three-body problem. Now, the main focus of Kinyan's work has been placed on the pioneer Xiuan. Pacific Rim. In this world full of giant beasts and large meshts, Kinyan both attaches great importance to and fears it. Once, when I was still outside the fourth wall, I also read the stories of this world. It's just that in that story, there are almost very few introductions to the pioneer race. Even the only time they met and got to know each other was just a flash and ended in a sentence. Therefore, the first thing Kinyan has to do now is to increase his understanding of the civilization of the pioneers. The moon base, Kinyan has brought a C-class transport ship. Docked near the base. It is also a C-class spaceship, and the transport ship has an advantage that the battleship does not have. That is, it has a stealth function, optical and radar double stealth. This trip to Earth, our purpose is very simple. Dot 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 to find Newton Go Itzel and Herman Gottlieb. Both of them should be in Hong Kong now. Dot 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 the Hong Kong sub-base of the Joint Pacific Rim Defense Force. Machine Curry, Kinyan controls the T-1000, and Wanda stood together. This time he still did not choose to go in real body. After all, in case the base has something to deal with, he still needs to be able to go back as soon as possible. So here I choose to control the T-1000 as my duplication. These two people, are they important? Wanda asked curiously. If the two of them are not wrong, they should communicate with those giant beasts in the next two days. Kinyan recalled the timeline, and then continued, Synesthesia is a relatively special technology in this world. Although the technical content is not high, it can connect the minds of two people, and get all the memories and pasts of each other. If the two of them communicate with the monster, we may be able to know the situation on the other side of the wormhole. This is the first step in our understanding of the pioneers. If you want to understand the civilization of the pioneers, you must have a method. Can't you just drive a small spaceship and rush towards the wormhole? Therefore, using the synesthesia technology of this world to communicate with the memory of monsters is also the key to the first step in understanding the pioneers. I will control the T-1000 and go together. This mission, as an old man, will be the first mission for you newcomers. In the future, except for the more important ones, you will have to come by yourself. After all, it was the first mission for Wanda and Quicksilver. The two were not deeply involved in the world, and they still had super abilities. It was a bit uneasy to throw them directly on the ground like this. So Kinyan decided to control the T-1000 duplication to go with them. Okay, the two seemed a little restless. This is different from the three-body problem. This is a brand new world. The man in black has never been in contact with anyone in this world. In other words, they came to open up Wasteland. It's almost like Columbus discovering the new world. It's very exciting and exciting. By the way, before you go, put on this watch. With that said, Kinyan handed them two watches. We have the communication form. Seeing the communication watch that was exactly the same style as her own, Wanda stretched out her hand subconsciously. This is a modified version. The old one can be taken off. Revision. The standard watch of the agent in black has a very simple function. It can only be used to contact the base. However, the world needs to have the signal receiver of the man in black. It is equivalent to a very strong smart watch with a long battery life used as a mobile phone. As for the modified version, the moment the two put on the new wristwatch, a beam of light shot out from the wristwatch, enveloping both of them. Then, a projected font prompted. The quantum data has been backed up and stored in the brain. Quantum data backup. Both of them looked at the interface on the watch with some confusion. Not sure what that means. Kinyan just smiled. There is no doubt that this is a new watch modified by using the life backup technology rewarded by the Trisolaran. Quantum data means your whole person, your mind, soul, memory, and body, will be backed up and recorded. If you encounter any force measure, death or serious injury, the watch will automatically activate and bring you back to life with full blood. Hearing Kinyan's explanation, Quicksilver nodded subconsciously. I see, it's the archive resurrection in the game. However, after he finished speaking, he opened his mouth belatedly. Wait dot 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 resurrection! Exclamation mark. Wanda also stared blankly at the watch on her hand. This thing, can it be resurrected after death? She had never heard of such a thing. In almost everyone's cognition, death is death. Death is already one of the most common phenomena in human beings. However, Kinyan now told them that the man in black could actually bring dead men back to life. This simply collapsed their three views. We can resurrect dead man. So, then, can you resurrect my parents? Quicksilver heard that the man in black had such outrageous skills, so could his parents who died innocently back then be resurrected? No. Only those with backup data can be revived. Kinyan shook his head. Their parents have been dead for so many years, how could they still be alive? Hearing this, both of them felt a little disappointed. However, although you can't be resurrected, it's actually not difficult to see your parents. Just travel through time and you can go to the past to see them. Kinyan laughed. Life and death, time, space, in the face of a real advanced civilization, 
it has long been something that can be manipulated and used at will. Sooner or later, the men in black will involve these forces. Travel through time? Exclamation mark. Are you talking about a time machine? That thing really exists, even though the two of them haven't gone to much school. They still know the things like time machines are fantasies in science fiction stories. After all, what kind of grandfather-grandmother paradox? It is obviously impossible to have a time machine. Although we don't have a time machine yet, this thing does exist. When the organization develops and grows in the future, I will find a way to get one for you. Kinyan started to draw big cakes. I didn't feel like I was bragging at all. After all, the timeline, space line, multi-universe, etc. of the Marvel world are much softer than other worlds. It's not that strict at all. If you can't beat it, it's okay to travel through the parallel world and let your subordinates meet their parents. Hearing that there is an opportunity to travel through time and to make up for the regrets of the past, both of them breathed a little short. For them, their parents are pains that need a lifetime to heal. But now it seems. The men in black have this ability. After all, even if they are already members of the men in black, they still don't know much about this mysterious organization. From time to time, there will be a thing that destroys the three views. This thing will be something that every agent of ours will be equipped with in the future. Kinyan pointed to the watch and introduced the usage and function of the watch to them. Every day at 12 o'clock in the morning, it will automatically back up the date again. Definitely, active backup is also possible, but if you are not doing something particularly dangerous and important, active backup is not necessary. The backup resurrection is just the worst result and the good resurrection should be resurrection with the current quantum information. So the backup function Kinyan doesn't really care much about it. Secondly, if you are trapped in a certain place and cannot leave, or you have suffered huge amounts of trauma, you can also use the active resurrection function. This is equivalent to teleportation. It will disintegrate your body and let you return to the main base. This function is equivalent to the scroll to return to the city. Kinyan thinks it is still very useful. Another point, which is very important, is that you have to protect the watch well. Don't let it get damaged. Because once the watch is broken, you will be forcibly disassembled and sent back before it breaks. The quantum speed is the fastest speed no matter where the universe is. Therefore, even if the mechanical structure is broken, the watch can also achieve the effect of resurrection and transmission immediately before it breaks. Therefore, this quantum backup resurrection device is still very complete and easy to use. The most important thing is that the current watch, after being transferred by the quantum mastermind of the life backup instrument, there is no signal problem anymore. Even in different universes, the watch will not be disconnected and can always be connected to the base. This will be a great convenience for the agents who will work in the heavens and worlds in the future. Okay we understand. After everything was ready, three people boarded the transport ship. This is one of the five C-class small transport ships presented by the system. It is said to be small but the interior space is actually very large. It looks like it can hold a dozen cars. After detecting someone boarding the ship, a hole opened on the originally empty ground, and several seats stretched out. The function of the transport ship, Liao Nuo, is very complete. In addition to being able to load cargo, when needed, it also has an internal structure that can carry people and act as a passenger ship. Agents are on board, starting main engine. In the cockpit, after seeing the three people seated, the pilot also started the spaceship. Stealth mode activated. While speaking, the surface of the transport plane gradually became transparent. Then, it slowly disappeared, as if it had never been there. However, the stealth function of the C-class transport ship still has some shortcomings. If you observe it in the air, you can vaguely see some jelly-like feelings, but this is enough to deal with most scenes. Subsequently, the transport ship slowly lifted off. In a few seconds, it soared into the sky and headed towards the direction. Current destination, Hong Kong. Estimated time of arrival, 12 minutes. It only takes 12 minutes to go from the moon to the earth which is a terrifying speed, much faster than the underground high-speed rail. But the price is there too. A set as huge as the high-speed rail is only 1,500 yuan. Although this C-class transport ship is not as expensive as a combat ship, it also costs 5,001. However, if you really want to buy it, the price, performance ratio is not high, and Kinyan will most likely not buy a new one. Eight minutes later, they entered the atmosphere. Started to slow down from the high altitude, you can vaguely see the vast land and many urban buildings. The most interesting thing is that Kinyan even saw a monster with huge amounts of fighting young with a mesh on the coast. This is the latest monster that is preparing to attack Hong Kong, and he is fighting against China's Storm Crimson Mesh Hunter. Soon, the logistics agents of the Lunar Base passed on the information collected from the internet. Is it such a coincidence? Kinyan frowned. How could it be so hard to come to Earth just in time for a monster attack? Didn't the monster attack it a few days ago? According to common sense. It should be stable for a few days. Chapter 63 2 Level 4 Monsters The Ampass of Mankind These monsters are called Kaiyo Beasts by people in this world. Their attacks are actually spaced apart. Generally speaking, 
It only occurs once every few months, and most of the attacks are in coastal areas. It stands to reason that a monster attacked Tokyo just a few days ago, so there shouldn't be any monsters appearing during this time. Kanyan didn't even think about the presence of monsters during this trip. How do you say, boss? Do you want to withdraw the agent? Kanyan thought for a while, but still shook his head. No, continue with the task. The appearance of the monster was just an accident, and my own affairs were more important. However, a monster happened to appear. Let's take some fresh monster body tissue and analyze it. Living monsters are rare, and this is a good time to take this opportunity to form some monster organizations. Analysis Analysis can also enhance understanding of pioneer civilizations. Our ship won't be seen by radar. Don't worry, boss. With the existing radar technology on the Earth, it is completely impossible to detect our existence. The driver appears very confident. Then get closer and see if they can get a little bit of tissue, or blood while they're beating. Although there are many remaining monster bodies in other places, but the living, fresh ones are completely different. This also starts with the role of a giant beast like Kayo Beast. Strictly speaking, this kind of behemoth is just a consumable used by the pioneer civilization to pollute the Earth's atmospheric environment. Huge amounts of body size, can allow him to decompose quickly after death, and produce a large amount of gas components that are harmful to humans, but the pioneers are very fond of, Therefore, if you have to put a function word on Kayo Beast, it is probably just a bottle of dye in the eyes of the pioneers. Cheap, not worth the money, but works. Therefore, the organization of these behemoths is a substance that changes extremely fast. Completely change the nature almost in a few days. Therefore, living and fresh monster organizations are actually the most meaningful for research and analysis. Those that have changed in quality cannot be analyzed. As the transport plane slowly arrived at the battlefield, the battle between the two giants is almost clearly visible. This monster looks a bit like a lizard with underdeveloped wings, and it can't be said that it looks like any creature on Earth. But I can still feel that its appearance is a bit similar to the evolution of the Earth. Storm Crimson is constantly attacking it at this moment. The two are similar in size, but the monster is pressed and beaten by the mecha. He ha he. It can be seen that Storm Crimson's pilot skills and combat skills are still good. Tossing and moving, it kept avoiding the opponent's attack and from time to time it left huge amounts of wounds on its body. The strange color of blood almost changed the color of this sea area. So big. Wanda watched the battle outside the window. Her eyes widened. The enemies they usually face are nothing more than the same human beings. But when you watch the battle between such giants at close range, you can feel the shock. Every attack and block can set off huge waves. The sound of the collision exploded in the air, and that kind of vibration seemed to be able to penetrate the hull, shocking their hearts. How about it, Wanda? Can you beat this thing? Kinyan looked at Wanda and laughed. Ah, this is too big, don't be kidding me. When Wanda heard that, she quickly waved her hands. How could you beat such a big thing? Don't let your size cloud your confidence. Kinyan squinted his eyes, looking at the giant beast outside the window. If your strength is fully developed, it will be far stronger than this monster. Although it will take time, but before you are not so powerful, he is still not your opponent. Kinyan has a lot of confidence in Wanda. But, I can control dozens of tons at most now, and with all my strength. Hundreds of tons is the limit. This monster must be several thousand tons at least. I can't even lift it. Wanda compared the power levels of the two sides, and found that she couldn't deal with such a big thing at all. Why do you have to be able to lift it up to kill the opponent? Kinyan asked back. You have fallen into a misunderstanding. When an elementary school student faces a strong adult, he also cannot lift him up. But it's actually very easy for an elementary school student to kill a strong man. All you need is a knife, a gun, and even a pen. Wanda listened to Kinyan's words seriously and seemed to understand something. You just need to find the opponent's weakness, and then concentrate your strength to attack the weakness. The strength of dozens of tons or hundreds of tons is even far more than that. As he spoke, Kinyan waved his hand, and a scan of a monster appeared in front of his eyes. This is the date to obtained by the transport ship's scanner just now. You see, most living things, even robots, have their own control centers. This monster also has a brain and nerve signals. To deal with him is not much more difficult than dealing with an ordinary person. Wanda nodded. Then what exactly should I do? Kinyan. I said it all for the sake of meowing, and you still ask me how to do it? Kinyan discovered for the first time that Wanda is really silly. Could this be the reason for the lack of reading? Understand it yourself. After this mission is over, I will find a university for you to study. Kinyan felt that it was necessary for Wanda to learn basic scientific knowledge. No matter what power it is, it's all about understanding and exploring the world, and finding the power that can be used. Even the magic in your body is the same. Only with more knowledge can you know how to use, discover and control more power. Ah. Go to school. When Wanda heard this, she almost didn't react. Why are you chatting so much that you suddenly want me to go to school? Are we school material? However, seeing that Kinyan seemed to be very determined, and what he said made sense, Wanda could only nod reluctantly. B. Seeing his sister deflated, Quicksilver secretly smiled. Usually, 
No one can treat Wanda, even when they were at the Hydra base, they were more like a cooperative relationship. Wanda always thought of what to do. No one can force her to do what she doesn't want to do. This is the first time he has seen Wanda deflated and suppressed. And he still needs to let Wanda study hard. For some reason, Quicksilver suddenly felt a sense of home. Maybe if the parents were still alive, they would let Wanda study hard. Where are you snickering? It's you, Agent K later. You and Agent W will go to school together. Quicksilver, isn't this the hell? Why did it involve me? I didn't say a word from the beginning to the end. While the few people were still chatting, the situation of the battle changed. Pacific Rim Defense Force, Hong Kong Branch. In the command center, a black man stood on the big screen, watching the battle between Storm Crimson and this monster. It's bad. There's one more. Question mark. However, Looking at the storm red is about to win. I saw another bright spot suddenly appeared in the radar signal. The second chrysanthemum beast. No. How is it possible? How could two Kaiyu beasts appear at the same time? This unscientific. The expressions of all the people present changed drastically. There has never been a precedent for two Kaiyu beasts appearing at the same time. Not good. Tell Storm Scarlet. Storm Crimson. This is the Hong Kong base. Warning. A second Kaiyu beast is coming towards you. Soon. It will arrive in five minutes. He can fly. It's a level 4 flight Kaiyu beast. Code name, Tailed Rat. What? Level 4. The classification of Kaiyu beasts is a very rigorous mathematical problem. Starting from the first level, without raising a level, the body size doubles, and the combat power also doubles. Starting from the first opening beast, the second level was the most they faced, and the third level only appeared recently. As for the fourth level, don't even think about it, almost never seen it. An answer appeared in almost everyone's mind at the same time. Storm Crimson. A seer, not its match. The bigger the behemoth, the stronger it is. This is why sports are also divided into heavyweights. Against the third level behemoths, Storm Scarlet may have the upper hand, but against the fourth level monsters, it is hardly against the people at all. What's more, you have to deal with two at the same time. How many movable meshs do we have? Four more. Dot 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 send them all. The black man looked at the time and felt that it was not enough. The mecha is expected to arrive in 15 minutes and the tail mouse will arrive in five minutes. Dot 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 Storm Chihon will definitely not be able to handle it. Let Storm Crimson withdraw. Pull with that monster and change the battlefield. However, when Storm Crimson's pilot heard the order to retreat, they were a little anxious. I'm going to win right now. Give me a little more time. However, the most lacking thing right now is time. It's too late. Withdraw quickly. Wait until the other meshs are in place. You lead it away to our expected meeting point. Seeing the monster covered in wounds that had already been beaten by herself, Bofeng Chihong felt that her mouth was full of shit and didn't know what to say. Obviously give him another 10 minutes and he will be able to destroy the other party. The movement ability, reaction ability and strength of this behemoth have all started to go downhill. Just hold on for a while. However, an order is always an order, even if Bofeng Scarlet is unwilling, she can only obey the order. Afterwards, after blocking the opponent's attack again, he began to take steps, preparing to distance himself from it. However, he found that the other party seemed to realize that he was about to evacuate and ran towards the coast without looking back. What's the situation? The monster left itself and ran away? Exclamation mark. Not good. Can't pull it. He wants to go. Seeing that she didn't draw any hatred at all, Bofeng Chihong hurried forward and pursued. The people in the command hall were also stunned when they saw this scene. The monster seems to be ignoring the existence of Storm Crimson. It has no intention of continuing to fight at all. His target is the city. Seeing this scene, the man in black slapped the table hard. He couldn't help cursing. FK. Originally, according to their plan, let the storm red lead the monster to the meeting point, and then concentrate on destroying this small one first, and finally the four mesh hunters will fight the tail standing mouse. This way the battle situation is completely in your own hands. No matter how strong the fourth level monster is, you can't beat four in one fight, right? However, the tail standing mouse didn't catch it. Then we can only let the storm crimson and this third level one go head to head first, and let the other three fight with the fourth level one. Storm Crimson dot 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 destroy this monster as soon as possible. Then rush to the rendezvous point. Hearing the new order, the Storm Red pilots glanced at each other, and they could all see the excitement in each other's eyes. Then FK at Nima. Before I had time to cheer myself up, I saw another monster appeared in the radar. Not good. There is a third one. It's still level 4. Code name, Ridgeback Turtle. When the third level 4 monster appeared, everyone was dumbfounded. Some even sat on the ground paralyzed in fright. God, are you giving up on us? exclamation mark god how could there be a third monster three monsters appeared at the same time their target seems to be hong kong at this moment people's expressions became complicated there were even a few survivors who had just encountered the invasion of tokyo and collapsed directly tokyo had just been destroyed and they felt extremely insecure and lost their homes so they could only come to hong kong to live under others because the hong kong base is the largest mecha hunter base in asia with a total of four mechas stationed there i thought this was supposed to be the safest place on earth 
Right? How could there be so many popping up all at once? Not good. Storm Crimson is injured. When Bofeng Chihong heard that another level 4 monster had appeared, she instantly became impatient. Their home is also here. Once those monsters raid and break into the city, it will undoubtedly be a catastrophe. They will not allow their homeland to suffer such a threat. Three mecha hunters fighting against two level 4 monsters, from the perspective of heavyweight, it is definitely not enough. In order to solve the guy in hand as soon as possible, go to support your teammates. Storm Crimson's operations became sharper. However, sometimes, the more impatient you are, the worse things you can do. Just like now, when he opened and closed to destroy the third level monster, the opponent also found an opportunity at the same time. At the moment when Storm Crimson attacked, Huge amounts of sharp claws ruthlessly penetrated Storm Crimson's chest. In an instant, Bofeng Chihong's movements became stiff. 12% of the body is damaged. The movement ability is reduced by 23%, and the body is penetrated. Not good. Storm Scarlet is about to lose. At this moment, Bofeng Chihong's eagerness to save his homeland made the situation worse. Come on, Storm Crimson. Everyone was staring at the screen. At this time, they could only watch the driver's performance. Because of the two new level 4 monsters, it was impossible for other mecha hunters to support Storm Crimson. The only thing that can be done now is to silently shout for support. And Storm Crimson must win. Because once it fails, the consequences will be extremely tragic. The other meshs are fighting against the level 4 monster, and Storm Crimson is currently the only hunter who can stop this level 3 monster. Unable to stop it, the third level monsters rushed into the city of Hong Kong. The damage done is absolutely staggering. The battle over there couldn't be over for a while, even if the battle of the three stations was won, when looking back dot 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 it would be too late. Hong Kong may become the second Tokyo. However, Storm Crimson did not create miracles, because, the grab just now penetrated the cab, and stabbed a driver, and the strong airflow and sea water instantly filled the cab. In the eyes of everyone, the speed and movement of Bofeng Chihong also began to slow down. It's over. Hong Kong is over. Chapter 64 Combination of Origin Magic Power and T1000. Pilot's vital signs are low. Only 60% of the synesthesia connection remains. The driver is seriously injured. After parrying the monster's attack again, everyone found that the storm was a little bit powerless. Originally, it was just a simple confrontation between the two sides, but the entire body of Bofeng Scarlet began to tremble. Tilda. Afterwards, it even flew upside down went out. Storm Crimson's power began to decline seriously, get up, after falling to the ground. He struggled tremblingly for a long time, but he was still unable to stand up. The driver's physical condition has almost reached its limit, even if the body can hold it. Without the driver, Storm Crimson is just a pile of steel. And after seeing the Storm Crimson lying on the ground, it seemed that she couldn't pose a threat to herself. The monster didn't kill it cleanly, and continued to attack, but directly ignored the mesh hunter who had been fighting with him for a long time and continued to rush out towards the coastline. As if in that huge amounts of city, something is attracting his attention. For a while, the entire Pacific Rim command fell silent. People's faces were full of anxiety and despair. Something happened. Something big happened. This is the first time in so many years that a monster has broken through their blockade. It's fine if it's in other countries and regions, but here is Hong Kong, where there are three mecha hunters stationed there. Even in the era when monsters cause the most destructive power, Hong Kong has always been synonymous with safety and strength. But today, under the accidents again and again, for the first time, Hong Kong has broken through the defense line that they think will never go wrong. It's all our fault. The driver's consciousness of the Storm Red is a little confused, but he can still see the back of the monster that is fading away. If they hadn't made a mistake just now, the regiment would never have become like this. I don't blame you. No one thought that there would be so many monsters today. The chief of the base still comforted the pilot of Storm Crimson. In any case, Storm Crimson's mistakes also had to do with the unfavorable command of their headquarters. What should we do now? How is the evacuation of the people going? Every time a monster invades, the air defense siren will start to bang. The Pacific Rim Defense Force dispatched mecha hunters, while ordinary people would all be arranged in underground shelters. It is said to be a refuge, but in fact, countless air raid shelters have been built in various parts of the city. After all, both sides in the war are guys with amazing physiques and the aftermath of any random toss will be fatal to ordinary people. 70%, when it crosses the coastline and sets foot on Hong Kong, the evacuation rate should reach 95%. Dot 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 this is the only good news. The officer sighed. Although the air raid shelter is not 100% safe, it can still save most of the population. At least, when the monsters start to destroy after logging in, people can lose less. Just when the entire Pacific Rim base was in chaos, Kin Yun and them, he got what he wanted. In stealth mode, their transport ship easily received the blood and body tissue residue spilled from the monster after being attacked in the air. It is said that it is residue, but it seems that there are as many wash basins as there are. Boss, looking at the current situation, 
Their big robot seems to be failing. Why didn't this monster make up the knife? Just ran away. As the closest spectators of the battle between the two sides, they have a panoramic view of everything. Quicksilver felt that they were watching a blockbuster movie, which was very exciting. It's the result of the battle. As expected of a monster, it has no brains and doesn't make up the knife. They should have some kind of purpose. Wonder, can you feel their emotions? Or read their memories directly? Doesn't Wanda have the ability to read minds? If you can directly read the minds of monsters, maybe you can know what they want to do. I can only feel that he seems to be very anxious to go to a place. As for the specific thinking, I may not know until I get in touch with him. Kinyan was a little disappointed when he heard it. He thought that the monster's brain is not as closed as that of a human being, and the structure is relatively simple. Wanda may be able to read thoughts without touching. Now it seems that Kinyan just thought too much. As for contact, the heavyweight of that thing is basically difficult to subdue. It can only be killed, it is indeed a bit difficult to contact. Anyone who doesn't pay attention will be GG. Go, follow and have a look. In the current situation, most of the people in Hong Kong must have been placed in refugee camps. They may not be able to find someone now. Might as well look at this monster ready to FK. The spaceship moved steadily above the monster and followed the monster. Soon, we reach the edge of the city. Hong Kong. Hong Kong in this world even seems to be more prosperous than other worlds. Hong Kong was originally a treasure land with a very good location and high economic development. It is a relatively prosperous city in any world. However, it was also for this reason that the Pacific Rim Defense Forces Asian Mesh Hunter Base was chosen in this city. To supply the supporting equipment for mecha hunters requires a very large logistics system, which has caused Hong Kong, which was originally prosperous and developed, to become the absolute economic center of Asia in this world. This is why everyone was so anxious after the sickle head broke through the coastline. If Hong Kong is destroyed, or if there are too many losses, the maintenance work of these mecha hunters will become more difficult, and the combat power will inevitably plummet. It doesn't seem to want to destroy the city. What is it looking for? After Sight Ahead logged in, it didn't look like those monsters that saw man-made things, and her eyes buildings began to wreak havoc. Instead, he raised his neck and held his head high, as if he was constantly searching for some kind of information around him. Moreover, in order to reach the destination faster, he even chose to bypass the building in front of him. He took the road. Such an operation stunned everyone's jaws. Behemoth, can also walk the road. Soon, it found a place, and then, without any hesitation, it pointed at the ground and started waving its sharp claws. What is it attacking? Where is that place? It's a public shelter. Question mark. There are so many buildings on the ground that it doesn't attack. Why attack an underground refuge? At a time when the defense forces were a little confused as to why Sicklehead was behaving so strangely. In the shelter that was attacked, a man with spectacles and somewhat dull eyes was looking at the ceiling. Then, a violent shock came and the powerful force penetrated the reinforced concrete ground, causing a group of people to sway left and right. What? What happened? Exclamation mark. The monster is right on top of us? God bless me. Feeling this vibration and the roar of a certain big guy, the crowd began to panic. Don't be afraid. This is a refuge, specially prepared to deal with these big guys. We are absolutely safe underground. Suddenly, a policeman shouted loudly to appease everyone's emotions. Dot 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 yeah. Isn't this an underground shelter? The monster might just pass by dot 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 it must be fine. However, before everyone succeeded in comforting themselves, there was another loud bang. Boom. This time, it was far more intense than last time. The ceiling of the shelter was cracked. Thorn tilde the crack spread to the entire building almost instantly. Even masonry and light fixtures have started to fall, hitting people. None of this is the scariest. The most frightening thing is that with this attack, the shelter, was breached. In the middle of the crack in the ceiling, it is almost shape-shifting and distorted, so you can sneak through the gap and see the ground directly. The man with glasses stood up in a panic, and before he had time to find a place to hide, he raised his head subconsciously. Through the gap, he seemed to see the figure of a giant beast. Those eyes, which were bigger than others, were staring at his direction. The moment they looked at each other, he seemed to understand something. They are here to find me. Yes, they must have come to look for me. He grabbed a man frantically and kept repeating this sentence. The man with glasses is Kin Yun who is looking for the job of the island. Hearing Newton's nonsense, the lucky audience he picked at random was not happy. Are you crazy? Who do you think you are? A monster is coming for you. Really dot 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 what I said is true. Seeing Newton's crazy look, the people around him subconsciously took two steps back, and no one believed his words. Threats overhead and a madman beside me. What crime did you do today? Didn't you read the almanac when you went out? When everyone was desperate, the sickle head on the head also found the person he was looking for stretched out his claws without hesitation, and stuffed it into the crack. Afterwards, slightly exerted force, the concrete ceiling several meters thick was torn apart by him. Countless rubble rolled down, and it is unknown how many people were killed, and the shelter was completely exposed under the eyes of the monsters. Everyone is upside down. For a moment, moans of pain, howls of despair, and the grief after relatives and friends were crushed to death, hovered continuously in this refuge. 
Newton, on the other hand, stood in the center with weak legs, looking up into the eyes of the giant beast. He even got angry and yelled loudly, FK, you are coming to find me. My mother is right here. Come on, Zero Dot asked for flowers. He stretched out his hands, looking a little crazy. Seeing his appearance, the giant beast stretched out its claws without hesitation, just ready to grab it down. And everything that happened in front of them was seen by the people in the spaceship. Isn't that man the Dr. Newton you're looking for? Boss? Wanda's sharp eyes were the first to spot Newton's existence. It's true. If that's the case, it can be explained. As soon as Kenyan saw Dr. Newton, he understood why what happened today became so weird. Because, the reason why Kenyan sought him was also because of this. Newton and the monster had a synesthesia. That said, Newton gained a lot of information about the pioneers. Originally, according to the original timeline, Newton should not have done this during this period. Now it seems that what may have caused the butterfly effect? Kenyan didn't know exactly what happened. He only knew dot 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 if he didn't do something, this walking intelligent agent would be Jeed soon. There are very few people in this world who can bear synesthesia, not to mention being able to survive the synesthete with monsters. It can only be said that Newton should have a special ability. There are not many people in this world who can have this kind of ability. So, Kenyan knew that if he didn't take action again, maybe there would be no future. Open the hatch. The driver heard the order and even opened the hatch. Kenyan stood by the hatch, looking at the giant beast on the ground. Compared to himself, he seemed like an ant. But there are actually many ways to solve it. Kenyan chose the most direct one. Wonder. Take care, this is also how to use origin magic power. Upon hearing this, Wanda immediately watched Kenyan's operation seriously. Kenyan instantly turned into a pool of silver liquid, reorganized in the air, and turned into a small fighter plane. It looks like a remote control airplane model. As a liquid metal robot, T-1000 can shape shift into almost any form as long as its brain is big enough. However, it's just a shape. There are shapes, but it's hard to have a corresponding function. However, it is different now. It was supposed to be just a small plane but a red energy flow suddenly spewed out from the propeller port at the tail. This power, Wanda is simply too familiar. Isn't it her origin magic power? Can it still be used like this? Kenyan's body is not here, strictly speaking, it's just a lump of metal. However, Kenyan attached the origin magic power accumulated for several days to the T-1000 before. This makes T-1000 have infinite possibilities, because, origin magic power originally has the ability to write reality. Although neither Kenyan nor Wanda has reached this level of rewriting reality, borrowing props can make a part of this feature of origin magic power play out. For example, now, the airplane transformed into T-1000, driven by the magic energy at the tail, soars into the sky. Almost in the blink of an eye, it reached near the ground above the head of the monster. Seeing that it reached the eyes of the monster, the fighter plane began to change another form in the air. The silver-white liquid flowed, forming a huge amount of longsword. The surface of the longsword is surrounded by red energy. It is the acceleration of the carrier just now in the form of a fighter plane. It stabbed fiercely into the eyeball of the sickle head. On the ground, the people in the refuge saw that the sharp claws of the sickle head were getting closer and closer, just as everyone was desperately waiting to die. A sonic boom was heard from above. Afterwards, the sickle head subconsciously withdrew its hand as if it had received some stimulation. Two paws began to cover his head. What happened? Did some weapon attack it just now? Pacificrim Command Center everyone who was paying attention to the movement of the sickle head also discovered what happened just now. They thought it was a weapon fired by their own people. No, no. What was that glowing red light just now? Why did the sickle head become like this? In the picture, the sickle head, whose original purpose was very clear, to log in even if he was seriously injured, was lying on the ground and rolling continuously. Painful growls came out of his mouth. The most important thing is that within a few seconds, people discovered that the slighter its movements, almost less than 20 seconds, it didn't let it struggle for long. Sight ahead, this third-tier behemoth that was severely damaged by the storm, broke into the most heavily guarded coastline in Asia. It completely lost its movement. The vital signs of the monster are dropping rapidly. It's dead. The results read by the detector made everyone dumbfounded. Sicklerid, is he dead like this? Exclamation mark. What the hell? What happened? Perish. Chapter 65 Our memories have also been tampered with. Wonder. Do you understand? Quicksilver was also surprised to see the sickle head fall, although he could see the details clearly. He didn't know how Kenyan did it. There is such a big gap between the warning of human beings and the giant beast. Kenyan actually killed it in just 10 seconds? I understand a little. Wonder has a perception of origin magic power, so I probably understand Kenyan's operation. At the beginning, he used the airplane form to accelerate himself. It quickly reached a terrifying speed. Afterwards, the form was quickly transformed into a sword form, and then the surface of the sword was wrapped with origin magic power. This is the energy of the artifact, coupled with the original characteristics and extremely fast speed of the T-1000. At that moment just now, the strength of that sword can be said to be almost indestructible. In an instant, it pierced through the monster's eye socket, penetrated the head, and entered the monster's brain. Afterwards, 
It even changed into the form of a drill bit, destroying everything recklessly inside the fragile brain. This series of operations are completed in one go, accelerating, penetrating, destroying and stirring. Liquid metal was originally just soft metal. Even if it had a certain hardness, it was far from reaching the level of penetrating monster bones. After all, for such a huge monster, if he wants to maintain his body shape, all his organs and bones are extremely dense. However, under the blessing of origin magic power, the originally soft liquid metal has become an existence that can almost possess many material properties. This is the ability to rewrite reality with the origin magic power of the threshold. Strong. Too strong. Wanda was shocked. Not only Wanda, but the entire Pacific Rim Defense Command was shocked by the scene before them. Look. When the sickle head completely loses its ability to move, strips of silver white silk threads began to emerge from the sickle head's body. April 17th came together even faster. Formed a human form. Color at last transformed into Kenyan in a suit. At this moment, anyone with a bit of brain knows that it is definitely this human who wiped out the sickle head. They all looked at Kenyan in awe. Kenyan leisurely walked down the sickle-headed corpse. Then, he slowly came to Dr. Newton, where he said, everyone gave way. Even some of the hemiplegics who were smashed were struggling to squeeze to the side. Are you Dr. Newton? Kenyan smiled and asked the embarrassed Dr. Newton. I, I, I am. Dr. Newton swallowed subconsciously. He looked at Kenyon helplessly. This one in front of him is a ruthless person who killed a third-level giant beast within ten seconds. You must know that even the most advanced mesh hunters are 50-50 against level 3 giant beasts. If you don't pay attention, you will lose. I'm the man in black in the sixth sector, Agent Q. I want to consult with you about something. I don't know if it's convenient for you to come with me. The man in black, the sixth sector, Agent. A series of self-introductions seem to say a lot. But Dr. Newton didn't understand a single word, it was as if he didn't say anything. What department are these? How has he never heard of it? I. If it's not convenient for me. To be honest, Newton was a little scared even though the other party killed a third level behemoth just now. Who knows what department and organization Kenyon is in. However, before he finished expressing his opinion, the smile on Kenyon's mouth seemed to disappear, and he looked at him with a serious look. At this moment, Newton had an epiphany. If I'm inconvenient dot 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 that's impossible, I'm too convenient. Newton laughed awkwardly. Kenyon nodded in satisfaction. Just about to take Newton away, find a place with few people and no surveillance to board the boat. Not far away, a group of soldiers with live ammunition came running. The words of the Pacific Rim Guard Army are clearly written on the clothes they are wearing. This is the arrival of someone from the command center, etc. The leader among them seemed to have heard their conversation through on-site surveillance, and said hastily, This sir, because I don't know what Kinyan is, after all, his kaleidoscopic shapeshift appearance is still vivid in my memory, I could only call Mr. We belong to the Pacific Rim Defense Force, and Dr. Newton is also a scientist of the Mesh Hunter, if there is anything you can actually go to our base to talk about, Kinyan's mystery and strength made them dare not say some serious words, but at the same time they were reluctant to leave Kinyan just like that, he appeared so suddenly, who knows if he will disappear so suddenly, this is an existence that can single-handedly challenge a third-level behemoth, and it is the kind that can solve the battle in 10 seconds. To be honest, the three views are already broken. If it weren't for the video surveillance, they would all wonder if today is April Fool's Day. We actually have nothing to say, I have more important things to deal with. Pacific Rim Defense Force, Kinyan actually has nothing to chat with them. Facing the pioneer civilization, the humans on this earth can't help Kinyan at all. Although sooner or later he will have to contact these humans, but that is something that Kinyan will entrust others to do in the future. Diplomacy is too tiring especially with these world leaders who have experienced many battles. Kinyan has already thought about the person who will contact the pioneer world and establish diplomatic relations. Jiang Bihai. Therefore, according to Kinyan's plan, there is no need to contact them now. No 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 sir. We see everything you do. You saved Hong Kong and everyone present. Now the situation is more complicated. If it wasn't for you, more people might die. Hundreds of thousands, millions. Although what he said is exaggerated, it is also well founded. Tokyo before is an example. So, you must accept our thanks. His attitude was very sincere. But Kinyan knew that maybe they cared more about their own strength, right? Kinyan smiled. I come from the men in black, and my job is contact of the third kind. Dot 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 establishing diplomatic relations or war with alien civilizations. And you defense forces also have your own job. Nothing more than resisting the Kaiyu beast. Dot 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 you do yours, and we do ours is enough. Hearing Kinyan's words, the leader of the defense force was stunned. What the hell? Diplomacy with aliens? And war? exclamation mark. When did this happen? On Earth. There is such a department? This. Mr. Man in Black. You mean, you are also from a special department? It's just the scope of work, dealing with aliens? It's about the same. I just had a battle with an alien civilization called the Three-Body Civilization two days ago. It didn't just happen that I encountered this incident and solved it smoothly. As he spoke, 
Qin Yun pointed to the sickle head's body. Happen to this? Solved it easily? How do you say this? Dot dot dot. It's as outrageous as dot dot dot. Going home from get off work to buy a dish and saving the world by the way. Wait, if your job is to deal with aliens, then these monsters are also aliens? The leader looked at Qin Yun expectantly. Now outside the coastline, there are two level 4 Kaiyu beasts. Before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by Qin Yun. Undoubtedly, he saw Qin Yun's strength and wanted Qin Yun to help deal with those two big four level guys just like dealing with a sickle head. Don't think about it, I won't make a move, and, I believe you have a solution. Although the man in black advocates a community with a shared future for mankind, he is not a nanny. Two fourth level behemoths, with the strength of the Pacific Rim Defense Force, they should be able to stop them. This is also the reason why Kin Yun didn't want to get in touch with the official power of this world too early. Kin Yun is very clear about his goal, which is to hide first. He didn't want these so-called behemoths who didn't appear on the stage to involve his energy. But, these monsters are also aliens. According to what you said, isn't this your job? The leader was a little anxious. Near the coastline, the first behemoth has appeared, and three mechas have already been engaged. Without foreign aid, the three hunter meshs might have to be scrapped if they really won. The fourth level giant beast is really too fierce. They dot 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 are not aliens at all, at most, a few dogs, or clone dogs. Dr. Newton, who was in a strange mood, interrupted suddenly. He looked at Kin Yan excitedly. Unexpectedly, someone really knows about them. The world is saved. Since he communicated with the monster, he got a lot of information about the pioneers. However, the more he knew, the more desperate he became. He once felt that there was almost no possibility for human beings to win. But Kin Yun's debut made him find hope again. Perhaps, behind human beings, there is also a power that can fight against the pioneers. The men in black dot 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 according to what Kin Yun said, they are really different from the defense force. Soldiers against soldiers, generals against generals. Miscellaneous fish versus shrimp. Kin Yun is so awesome, he should deal with the pioneers. Newton simply raised his hands and feet to support Kin Yun and ignore these beasts. You guys, what are you talking about? The guards were dumbfounded. Newton was excited at the moment. His mouth seemed to be open, and he began to output grazily. Kaiyu beast. That's what it is. He pointed to the sickle head corpse not far away. Although he is from an alien. It is not an alien at all. It is not even an alien life form. It's a civilization called the Pioneer. A monster created by using some biological genes of the Earth. And this kind of monster, what we call level 3, level 4, level 5, even level 6, level 7, level 8, are all rubbish wherever they are. Consumables. Not even a dog. Hearing Newton's words, everyone's eyes widened in disbelief. The Kaiyu beast is on an alien planet, not even as good as a dog? Exclamation mark. These enemies that make them exhausted and resist with their lives are just rubbish. Impossible. What is this talking about? If it was really that powerful, wouldn't human beings have been extinct long ago? Nothing is impossible. I see it. I see it all. I have synesthesia with the monster. I can see everything there. Chrysanthemum beasts are just sent here to die. The chemical composition in the corpse will slowly transform the atmosphere of the earth. This is just the first wave, and it's not even a combat unit. The second wave is the real sweepers, fighting, or... They're going to wipe out all the bugs on the planet. Dot, 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 that's us. Newton obsessively recounted the pictures he had seen after the monster's brain had synesthesia. The mind is full of the power of the pioneers, especially those terrifying monsters that can't be seen at a glance. It's hard to imagine how this kind of thing can fight against the enemy. The conversation at the scene was also transmitted to the command center through the leading soldiers of the defense forces. Everyone was stunned. What Newton said dot, 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 was true. Newton is a member of the science department of the defense forces and almost everyone present knows him. Compared with what Kin Yun said, Newton's words are more credible. No way. Kaiyu Beast is only the lowest. Outrageous. Humans, is there any hope? For a moment, everyone present was a little desperate. Suddenly someone said, you say, is what that mysterious man said true? There has always been a mysterious organization behind human beings silently protecting human beings, still fighting aliens. This is even more outrageous. That's right. How is it possible? Our defense force almost occupies most of the funds in this world. How can there be a department organization stronger than us? Or, face the aliens? That's right. I don't believe it. Don't tell me. We spent so much money just to beat alien dogs. Isn't this a laughing stock? Yes. If there is such an organization that cannot be hidden, how can no one know? However, just when everyone is unbelieving, Kin Yun seemed a little impatient with being pestered by the defense forces. With a wave of his hand, a pair of glasses appeared out of thin air in his hand, said it and handed it to Newton. Put it on. Newton subconsciously took the glasses and put them on the eye sockets. Then, a black pen appeared in his hand. The moment the button is pressed, a bright light flashes. Everyone present was stunned for an instant. This sickle head, he didn't read the almanac when he went out today, fell to his death while walking, and nothing else happened. After saying this, Kin Yun took Dr. Newton and left. Only hundreds of people were left staring at each other, and it wasn't until tens of seconds later that people 1.2 came back to their senses. 
Looking at the huge mouths or sickle head corpse, he started to say with surprise and laughter, ha ha ha, this is too relieved, he is dead. It's the first time I've been so close to a monster. Isn't this thing so scary? It's the first time I've heard of the Caillou beast that fell to its death. I laughed so hard. I can brag about it for a year. Even people from the defense force joined in the discussion. Seeing this weird and funny scene in the video, everyone in the command center was dumbfounded. What's the situation? Captain of Team 7. What are you doing? Why did you let them go? At this moment, the captain of Team 7, the soldier who spoke to Kenyan just now, said with a puzzled face, R, didn't I come to patrol? Who left? Patrol? He obviously received an order from the headquarters to contact relatives and friends. How could you forget it all at once? A. Seem to have collective amnesia. Someone has figured it out. Amnesia? Exclamation mark. With just a flash, the memories of hundreds or thousands of people have been erased, and new ones have been injected. At this moment, the people in the command center were a little dumbfounded. What is this operation? I suddenly believed the man in black and Dr. Newton a little. Tell me, the reason why we don't know about this department, is it possible that the so-called man in black is? Yes. Dot 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 our memories have also been altered. As soon as such a guess came out, everyone gasped. I just feel tingling in my back. If this is the case, it can be why Kenyan was able to single out the third level Caillou beast, and no one knew what department he was from the men in black. This kind of method that only needs to be flashed to delete the memory is simply impossible to guard against. Everyone. Chapter 66 Illegal Invasion of Earth, Formal Detention. Meanwhile, the space agency, Miles, who had just received a large sum of money from Parliament, also received news about what happened in Hong Kong, especially when he learned that Kenyan had appeared, and single-handedly eliminated a third-level Caillou beast and erased the memory of those present before disappearing. Almost immediately he connected this incident with a memory that suddenly appeared on the moon. Men in black, specialized in dealing with aliens? Miles muttered to himself. Does this make sense? If there is really a mysterious organization in this world, it is silently protecting the world without everyone knowing. Maybe only those mysterious people on the moon. Men in black. Have you heard of this organization? Miles communicated with colleagues around him. However, almost no one has heard anything related to the man in black. I can't find it on the internet but there are some informal private forums dot 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 that is, where UFO enthusiasts gather, and there are some discussions about the man in black. The so-called UFO gathering places are people who say that they have encountered aliens every day. They have all kinds of fantasies about the starry sky, and no one believes it. Everyone is just watching for fun. According to some people, after meeting aliens, there will be mysterious special departments in suits who will come to inquire and ask them never to mention it. These people have advanced black technology in their hands and high-tech equipment that normal people do not have. Some outrageous people even said that they were taken away by aliens for experiments, and after they came back, they were taken away by mysterious people for physical examination. To be honest, these rhetoric are more like the fantasies of a group of UFO lunatics. No one ever took it seriously. The men in black really exist. Miles was also excited. No one knew that even though he was the director of the space agency, he held a high position and was considered an upper-class person. But in private, he is also an avid UFO lover. He really turned his hobby into a career. But even if he became the director of the space agency, after so many years of work, he still has not discovered aliens. There are only Caillou beasts that occasionally come out of the wormhole, and that thing doesn't look like people's definition of aliens, but more like O2 beast. The appearance of the man in black almost ignited his inner curiosity about those mysterious things. It can erase memories. There is a base on the moon and a single person seems to have a super ability. Isn't this series of information connected together? When is our flight spacecraft going to the moon? Miles said eagerly. It will take three days at the earliest. Since they got the funding a few days ago, their lunar module is already on the way. The space agency is incredibly fast. It can only be said that the productivity of this world is still very high, because of the mesh hunters. The industry is extremely developed. As long as the funds are in place, it will take less than two or three days to build a lunar landing ship. However, the hastily launched lunar landing ship will definitely have many technical hidden dangers. Miles can't control that much anymore. He's going to verify something very important. When all parties were in chaos because of Kin Yun's appearance, Kin Yun has already boarded the transport ship with Dr. Newton. Seeing the technological atmosphere in the transport ship, Newton seemed a little excited. Is this a spaceship? The transport ship is extremely quiet, and you can't even feel the movement of sailing. But through the constantly moving clouds outside the window, Newton could see that the ship was moving towards the sky at a terrifying speed. Well, Dr. Newton, you should be able to guess what we are looking for you for. Dot 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 is it because I have synesthesia with a monster? Newton nodded. Then can you tell us what you found in synesthesia? Especially the thing about the pioneers. Kinyan sat across from Newton, while Tandy A and Quicksilver looked at Kinyan calmly and asked questions. Newton seemed a little nervous, and said, while recalling, what I feel synesthetically is part of the brain tissue of a dead monster. So the synesthesia is not complete and I can only see some intermittent pictures and a few thoughts. As he spoke, 
Newton's breathing became short and his tone became high, Caillou Beast. Caillou Beast is not an intruder at all. They're just pioneer mass-produced cleaners. The pioneers are a powerful nomadic civilization. They found a living planet, colonized it, cleaned everything up, and then destroyed the entire planet's resources. Then move on to the next one. They came here during the time of the dinosaurs. It's just that the Earth at that time didn't seem to be suitable for them. So they waited until now. Newton spoke in a trance, as if he was still reminiscing about the memories he saw in his words. There was a wave of fear. Anything else? The details about the Harbingers originally. Their technology, their weapons, etc. Relatives and friends don't care at all about Caillou Beast and the pioneers coming to the Earth a few times. He just wanted to know what level of civilization the pioneers were. I saw this in a very short period of synesthesia, and there was more information before the synesthesia was interrupted. Newton shook his head. He can know most of these people who are beyond this world. As for more things to do with the pioneers, maybe I can only know after a synesthesia, and I must have a living monster brain. With that said, Newton began to explain. Although the Caillou Beast is the lowest level monster, all the monsters under the pioneer are actually under some kind of hive effect. That is to say, as long as there is a living monster brain that allows me to communicate, I can link to the hive thinking system of the pioneers. Honeycomb system? If this is the case, it is not surprising. After all, it is a civilization dominated by biotechnology. Cloning and copying various creatures is their daily life. It must be very difficult for these creatures to have their own self-awareness and self-management. Therefore, biotechnology with honeycomb system is indeed the most ideal choice. From this point of view, no wonder the pioneers dispatched three Kaiyu beasts to invade Hong Kong to capture Newton. The pioneers' hive system must be a very large system, but someone has linked it. The main consciousness of the hive must have discovered something is wrong, so it wants to clean up this uninvited person, right? However, the synesthesia technology in this world does have its own unique place. Technologies that can involve thinking and memory, especially in the case of modern civilization technology, are relatively advanced black technologies. Strictly speaking, Synesthesia technology has almost touched the threshold of quantum life. If it goes a step further, the soul is uploaded, and the memory is immortal. Now this thing is used in the driving modules of several hunters, which is actually a big waste. That is to say, if, I can find you a living Kaiyu beast dot 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 you can get more information about the pioneers by communicating with it, right? Kinyan asked. That's right dot 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 it's just a living Kaijuman. Newton couldn't imagine that scene for a while. The close contact with the sickle head just now was almost the scariest thing he had ever experienced in his life. Is there really a chance for those who are alive to be able to reject the synesthesia? After all, it is far easier to kill than to capture. Up to now, no one has ever heard of Kaijulu being able to fall into the hands of humans alive. Outside, Aren't there two more now? Kinyan smiled slightly and looked out the window. It was only then that several people discovered that the transport ship had already reached the sky above the endless ocean. Directly below the spaceship, three mesh hunters have started the battle with Kaiyu Beast. The situation is very bad. The three meshes were almost crushed by two giant beasts. Pacific Rim Command Center. Commander Scott's eyes were nearly on fire. After Kinyan erased the memories of those hundreds of people and left, they didn't have time to think about it, so they immediately threw themselves into other jobs. Two level 4 behemoths have arrived, facing the unprecedented high level behemoth, their existing mesh hunters can only resist with difficulty. Dangerous homeless injury 7%. Still in operation, the effect of the chainsaw blade on the opponent's armor is negligible. The dangerous wanderer is equipped with a powerful chainsaw blade. As a star mecha, Every time he uses this knife to chop off the head of a giant beast, he will win the cheers of countless people. However, when facing the fourth level Kaiyu beast, they discovered that the original sharp weapons had become useless. The opponent's body surface is covered with a thick layer of armor. Sparks splashed everywhere when the knife was cut down, although it left a deep groove. It couldn't hurt its vital organs at all. The defense of the leatherback turtle is too strong. Unless you use the iron cannon, you can't break the defense at all. The iron cannon is the newest weapon on the dangerous wanderer and one of the most powerful. Although the technology is not mature enough, its power cannot be underestimated. High temperature irons can melt almost everything. It is definitely effective against giant beasts with extremely strong defenses like the leatherback turtle. Chino Alpha and Eureka Raiders go first, let the dangerous wanderers charge the iron cannon. Scott quickly issued operational orders. Although the iron cannon is powerful, it requires energy storage to use it, and it can only be launched once in a short period of time. Just as the dangerous wanderer was accumulating energy, Another chrysanthemum animal-tailed standing mouse noticed something was wrong. Want to step forward to interrupt the operation of the dangerous homeless. But it was quickly stopped by the Eureka Raiders on the side. Chino Alpha and Eureka Raider frantically displayed their abilities, stopping one respectively. It even completely ignored its own defense. As long as the iron cannon of the dangerous wanderers can kill one, they will definitely win this battle in a three-on-one situation. However, the plan is beautiful but the reality is cruel. Just when the dangerous wanderer had almost accumulated energy and was about to give the leatherback turtle a hard blow, suddenly, 
A burst of dazzling blue light emerged from the bottom of the water not far away. Afterwards, the blue light turned into ripples and began to spread rapidly. Almost at the moment when the blue light appeared, the radar of the Pacific Rim Command also detected something wrong. Not good. There is a third one. Level 4 Kaiyu Beast. Codenamed Thunder Beast. How is that possible? There's a level 4. Seeing the Thunder Beast suddenly appear in. At the moment of the radar, everyone was dumbfounded. Their equipment has been monitoring the wormhole all the time and any Kaiyu beast that emerges from the wormhole will be captured by them. Why did this fourth level thunder beast suddenly appear? 3. Couldn't there be a second wormhole? The Ultralisk seems to have the ability of electromagnetic shielding. He just launched an imp electromagnetic wave. Shield radar can also fire imp. This kind of ability was unheard of, but everyone felt something was wrong in an instant. Not good. Imp. Eureka radar is the third generation mecha pure electric. Both dangerous wanderer and Chino alpha are nuclear powered so they can at least move a bit when facing EMP. But the Eureka Raider is a purely electric machine. It uses iron batteries. As soon as everyone reacted, they found that the battle situation on the scene also changed huge amounts of at this moment. Although EMP did not completely paralyze Dangerous Wanderer 300 and Chino Alpha, it still destroyed a lot of electronic equipment inside them. The iron cannon that the Dangerous Wanderer had been accumulating for a long time turned off immediately. The Eureka Raider was in a terrible situation. He was still blocking the tail mouse, but the blue light swept over him and he was instantly paralyzed. The opponent didn't miss this opportunity, rushed forward, and removed Eureka's attacking head with two claws. Then, it was severely crushed into a ball of scrap iron. Eureka raids drive a death. Chino Alpha isn't much better. The leatherback turtle seized the opportunity and hit him with the spine hammer on the tail that was bigger than the head, directly punching a big hole in his waist. This kind of injury plus the previous imp's damage to the internal electronic equipment, Alpha also completely lost its ability to move. For a while, only one mecha of the Dangerous Wanderer was left fighting. And, it's still a one on three. Damn. The appearance of the Thunder Beast brought the battle to a desperate situation almost instantly. Dangerous Wanderers, even if they are awesome, how could they beat three fourth level chrysanthemums? However, at the moment, he could only bite the bullet and go on. Disable disabled iron cannon launchers. He drew his chains or blade again. At this moment, three fourth level chrysanthemum beasts had already stood in three directions surrounding the dangerous homeless. The dangerous wanderer kept spinning his body, but he didn't know who to aim the knife at for a while. How to play this? However, just when everyone thought that they were going to lose a complete defeat this time, suddenly, the three chrysanthemum beasts raised their heads almost at the same time, looking at the sky. You can even feel their emotions and even a little nervousness. They completely ignored the pos posed by the dangerous wanderer. He kept roaring towards the sky. What happened dot 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 what happened? Kaiyu beast looks like it is facing a big enemy. It must have discovered something. Look, there are people in the sky. As soon as they said that there were people in the sky, subconsciously, the picture of Kin Yun killing the sickle head in an instant before turning the tide appeared in their minds. Could it be that? He appeared again? No. It's a woman. On the screen, Wanda was wearing a black suit. The surrounding red unknown energy dances like quicker in the air. Not Kin Yun? The man in black, Agent W, as the creation of civilization. You entered the earth but did not report to the man in black. Now I will officially detain you until your master comes to claim you. Although Wanda looks very small in this battlefield. But what she said was not clearly transmitted to everyone's minds. Even Kaiyu Beast also received the message. For a moment, everyone was stunned. Detention? Claim? Who am I? Where am I? What happened? What is she talking about? Dot. Chapter 67 Aren't you just afraid of death? Give you a resurrection quota. The current situation makes everyone a little confused. Wanda was suspended in the air the whole time seeing a person who can fly out of thin air, for most people, is already a ruined thing. Not to mention, this woman just opened her mouth to detain Kaiyu Beast. This is outrageous okay. Her tone was as if someone's dog was not on a leash, and then she was going to take the dog away and ask the owner to claim it at a loss. This is the Kaiyu Beast. They fought their lives and sacrificed an unknown number of people to block the monster. However, while such a picture just makes people feel ridiculous, no one thinks that Wanda is joking. With the lessons learned from Kin Yun, they have learned how terrifying this kind of person in a black suit is. Not to mention she is still flying now. Even Kaiyu Beast seems to feel her strength. Didn't they even look at the dangerous wanderer after Wanda showed up? After Wanda released her origin magic power, her whole temperament changed. From a young girl to some kind of strong woman in the workplace. In addition to this suit, it makes people dare not talk more just by looking at it. Kaiyu Beasts are creatures after all and they are genetically adjusted creatures. Their perception is far more sensitive than that of humans. The red energy surrounding Wanda made them feel an unprecedented threat. Keep yelling at Wanda, which is Beast's first reaction after encountering a palpitating threat. Wanda, just keep one. There is no doubt that Wanda was sent by Kin Yun. Although his use of origin magic powers micromanagement is far more refined than Wanda's, his volume is still too small. Moreover, the T-1000 didn't have much power originally, 
and half of it was consumed in dealing with a sickle head before. It's not enough to deal with these three, although Kenyan still has an easier way to deal with a Kaiyu beast, such as using a small pistol. But that thing is too powerful, even with the smallest power, everything within a radius of hundreds of kilometers will be destroyed. Just send Wanda to test the waters. Although Wanda looked very domineering at the moment, she was still very nervous in her heart. In the face of three so huge, a physique of several thousand tons at will. She looks more like a little ant. Okay, I see. However, Kenyan almost gave her a lot of confidence. Just keep one, which means, obviously, that I can kill them at will. Kenyan has no doubts about Wanda's ability. Wanda can tear apart almost anything with her bare hands. In the original timeline, the double-edged knife made of Uru alloy in Thanos' hand chopped Captain America's so-called indestructible vibranium shield like a vegetable. When facing Wanda, Jane was still simply crushed by the power of origin magic power. Finally, the founding beast below couldn't sit still. Wanda feels so bad. The tailed mouse raised its wings almost instantly, and as the wings flapped, huge amounts of power even separated the sea water. The tailed mouse soared into the sky, and rushed towards Wanda in a daze. Seeing such a huge thing attack viciously beyond itself, Wanda subconsciously prepared to block it with origin magic power. However, at the same time, the methods of utilizing the power that Kenyan gave him during this period also appeared in her mind. Straightforward pinching, lifting and smashing are the lowest attack methods. Look for the opponent's weakness dot 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 to make use of your own strengths. Fighting is a matter of using your brain. How to use the simplest method and the least amount of strength to deal with the enemy is what you have to learn. At this moment, Wanda's heart seemed to calm down. She watched the squirrel. Such a huge body can still fly, relying on nothing but those wings. The wings of the tailed mouse are more like the wings of a bat, with a layer of meat membrane in the middle of the skeleton. Seeing this, Wanda's eyes lit up. I can fly, and so can the squirrel. If he can't fly, wouldn't he have the advantage of being a flight? Thinking of this, she quickly condensed the chaos power that originally wanted to crush the opponent into countless blades. Then with a wave of his hand, the invisible blade glowing with a faint red light quickly flew towards the standing mouse. The blades didn't have much power, and Wanda didn't use them all. It is almost impossible to cut through the fourth level Kaiyu beast with rough skin and thick flesh. However, it is enough to deal with those wings that allow the squirrel to fly. The tail standing mouse is getting closer and closer to Wanda and its wings are flapping harder and harder. As soon as he was about to rush to Wanda's eyes, he had already opened his mouth, prepared to give her a hard blow. However, suddenly, he felt his body sink. Then, visible to the naked eye, the meat membrane on the wings began to shatter, turning into strips of broken tilde cloth. Oh tilde exclamation mark tilde. The tailed mouse let out a strange cry, and then fell fiercely towards the sea. Looking at the tail standing mouse that is almost close at hand but getting farther and farther away, Wanda felt enlightened. This should be a high-end fighting style. It turns out that the way I control things and smash things around, this is simply too low. Wanda became interested. Above the sky, start a long-distance battle against three behemoths. It is said to be a battle, but it is actually a unilateral beating. Wanda's origin magic power, transformed into various forms, stealing stick electric dot 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 to hem. The extremely malleable chaos power has also begun to become more and more handy. Every time the opponent jumped up, Wanda pressed down with a new technique. After the squirrels lost their wings, it was nearly impossible for them to touch and attack Wanda in the air. Seeing Wanda unilaterally killing three level fours, everyone in the Pacificrim command center was stunned. Scott even slumped on the chair, his eyes blurred. He fell into self-doubt about his work. Can humans really be this strong? Is this super ability, or high tech? I don't know. All I know is that she alone can defeat all the mesh hunters in the world. The man in black. Plus the man who appeared before, Agent Q. This is Agent, how many people like this are there? It's so strong, I want to join the men in black, not to mention being like them, even standing behind them doing logistics and serving tea and water is an honor. For the strong, human beings will involuntarily show awe. The man in black appeared twice, two people, each of them was so unreasonable. Do you need help from a dangerous homeless person? At the moment. The dangerous wanderer stands by and watches as the woman in the sky who can't see clearly without a device is whack-a-mole. For a while, I didn't know what to do. Are you going up, or standing here? Why do you go up there? If you are accidentally injured, where can you go to reason? Wanda didn't look like she needed help either. If you go, you might even cause trouble for the other party. Therefore, the atmosphere at the scene became a little weird for a while. Dangerous wanderers stand and watch the show. Chen Law is urgently repairing the body with the help of logistics personnel, and I don't know if it can be repaired. At least it must be able to move. Wanda is whacking a mole in the sky. The tail standing mouse was the first to fall. As a fourth level Kaiyu beast that can fly. Flight ability also makes his defenses not as thick as those of the leatherback. After all, too many defenses can't fly. He was almost tortured to death. Thunder beast was also not feeling well. His main ability is related to electromagnetic force. This kind of ability has a miraculous effect against electronic equipment and armor hunters. But against Wanda, who is made of flesh and blood, 
It is almost useless. Not to mention Wanda also has the origin magic power amulet. Thunder Beast went with Talishu on its corpse. There are countless wounds due to its small file size. Blood stained the entire sea area. The strongest one is the Rib Turtle. His defensive power also made him the last lucky one. However, Wanda did not let him go. Kinyan said to keep one alive. Just be alive. Kaiyu Beast will not be beaten and obedient. Therefore, Wanda follows the opponent's body structure obtained through the scan, attacking its central nervous system frantically. It is similar to the position of the spine. The back of the leatherback turtle originally had the strongest defense, but it was almost impossible to see that it was a turtle after being beaten by Wanda. Soon, when his central nervous system was severed and his brain lost control of his body, he also fell to the ground. It's just that he twitches from time to time which means he's not dead yet. I got it. Wanda said to the communicator a little proudly. She didn't expect that she could be so powerful and defeat such three giant beasts. Well done. Kinyan didn't hold back on his praise either. Wanda's attack method just now has already begun to involve the high-level application of origin magic power. It is similar to the strength of using origin magic power strengthening T-1000. She is strengthening the air. Knead the air into various shapes and add chaos power to fix it, forming an attack method. Definitely. The strength is definitely not as high as that of metal but I can't stand the numbers. Kinyan was even a little envious. Although the suppression in this world is not as much as 70% in the Trisolaran world, it is still 50%. Wonder with only half power can use his power like infinite bullets. Only about 1% of Kinyan expressed envy for the real name system. When can I use it like this without money? This lady dot 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 Agent W. Thank you very much for your help. Seeing that the battle was over, everyone breathed a sigh of relief. I can't imagine what would have happened if the man in black hadn't made a move. Really let the rangers win all three? How is it possible? Therefore, as soon as the battle was over, the wanderer immediately turned on the radio under Scott's instruction, wanting to communicate with Wanda floating in the air. Soon, Wanda also lowered her height, and then showed off her wealth on the front of the wanderer's head. I need two sets of synesthesia equipment from the Pacific Rim Defense Force, one of which will be used as a probe, and the length of the probe must be at least 10 meters. What? Hearing Wanda's request, everyone was stunned. Dot 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 but, 30 minutes later, Wanda and Dr. Newton appeared on the top floor of the Hong Kong sub-base of the Pacific Rim Defense Force. Kinyan didn't come, and he thought that Wanda should take this opportunity and start to take charge of it alone, like Yu Yi, to become an agent who doesn't let himself worry about it. So, after he found out he needed the help of the defense forces, after providing custom synesthesia equipment, Kinyan handed over the matter to Wanda. Newton, are you back? Seeing Newton's appearance, people who were familiar with Newton were relieved. After he was forcibly taken away before, everyone thought he would encounter some danger. Now it seems that the men in black may be far more positive than they imagined. No, the person came back intact. Wait, the synesthesia device you want to customize is for to communicate with monsters? However, after chatting for a few words, when Wanda and Newton explained their purpose, they were a little dumbfounded. I kept a living, just for synesthesia. Wanda said, no no no, that's not what it means. They're monsters, synesthete with them you'll die, let alone a living monster. It's not like no one has tried this before, but basically either went crazy or died. Few can say a few complete words. Over time, they also gave up this idea. But according to what the two of them mean, is this for real? No, Newton has a special physique. He has already had a synesthesia, which shows that he can bear it. There will always be some special physique, and Dr. Newton is like this, one of the few humans who can withstand, Li Hao, synesthesia with monsters. But it's a living monster. It's different. Scott shook his head. The monster's brain is bigger than Newton's bedroom, and the human brain is so delicate and fragile. How could Newton possibly bear it? You don't need to care about this issue, you just need to be prepared. It was the first time she came out to do things on her own, and Wanda didn't want to mess it up, so her attitude became tough. Dot 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 I, I still can't agree, although I am very afraid of the organization of the men in black. But this is a human life after all, and... Anyway, it depends on the intention of the person involved. I dot 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 I think I should be fine. It can be seen that Newton seems to be a little scared, after all, who is not afraid of death. However, he has reasons for doing so. Pioneer. As a scientist, he is also a member of humanity. I hope that human beings can continue victoriously, and the sense of honor of defeating the enemy is still there. There is an old saying in China. If I don't go to hell, who will go to hell? Scott, let me go. Only by communicating with monsters can I get more information about those aliens. I can assure you that the men in black are really good people. Newton also began to take the initiative to advise Scott Colon. Dot 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 with good guy, it's been a few hours since you've seen each other. What kind of ecstasy soup did you drink at the man in black? Seeing the conversation began to be long-winded. Wanda was silent for a while and said, Isn't it just that I am worried that synesthesia will be dangerous, and Dr. Newton will die? Then how about this? I'll apply to the higher-ups and leave a place for Dr. Newton to be resurrected and reborn, and there will be no sequelae, how about it? Simple words, 
but they almost didn't scare them to death. Resurrection and rebirth? Exclamation mark. What are you talking about? Dot. Chapter 68 Wanda became an alien queen. I still need to ask my leader to apply for the resurrection. Wanda is also not sure whether Kenyan will agree. After all, resurrection is such a thing. However, people around them don't care what Wanda's leader thinks at all. Rather, the matter of resurrection originally. The so-called life and death have fate. From ancient times to the present, life and death have always been a major event. Everyone knows they are going to die. They just don't know when. Immortality, resurrection, etc have always been just fantasies in legends. But what is Wanda talking about now? Can they really resurrect dead men? It's like a fairy tale coming true. The most outrageous thing is that things like resurrection and rebirth... Dot 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 do you only need to apply to the leader? Why does it feel like an employee is on a business trip and takes a taxi for reimbursement of the fare? Q... Dot 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 they were worried that the synesthesia with the monster might cause harm to Dr. Newton... Dot 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 so I wonder if the application can give him a respawn backup. When Kenyan introduced the quantum life backup device to Wanda and the others before, he introduced the principle to them in detail. So Wanda thinks, as long as the current state of Dr. Newton is backed up, even if something bad happened in the later stage, just go back to the file. Application for a rebirth backup for Newton. Kinyan didn't expect that Wanda would dot 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 be enlightened. This way of handling, Kinyan very much agrees. He is not the kind of person who would hide anything good and be reluctant to use it. Things are only valuable if they are used and being able to use all the resources at hand to achieve a goal in the simplest way is exactly what a qualified agent of the man in black should do. There is no doubt that Wanda has started to look like the man in black. No problem, definitely can. Kinyan readily agreed to Wanda's application. After getting Kinyan's reply, Yuda also heaved a sigh of relief. It is also a happy thing to be able to complete the task without harming the lives and health of others. The above has agreed. With that said, Wanda stood up slowly, and raise the hand with the man in black's communication wristwatch to point at Dr. Newton. For a while, Tenton became nervous. What is this for? You know, the last time I saw Wand raised his hand, he directly killed two level 4 Kaiyu beasts and paralyzed one. I will now back up your current quantum life data. No matter what happened afterwards, even if your head exploded, we can restore you to your current state. While speaking, King Yun's authorization also arrived. High level 640 authorization detected. The current device has unlocked temporary permissions, and can scan other users. The scanning function of the watch is generally bound, one person, one machine. This is also to prevent some other accidents. Only with Kin Yun's authorization for remote unlocking can it be used by anyone other than the agent himself. Subsequently, Dao Beam skipped Dr. Newton. Quantum data backup completed, uploaded to Mastermind, backup time limit, 30 days. Note. Temporary users are not allowed to leave the range of 10 meters of the watch, and it will be invalid if it exceeds the range. Saw so Wanda withdraw her right hand. Newton was dumbfounded. Ah, is this the end? The others also looked like they didn't understand. Just take out your watch and scan and you're done. Things that can be resurrected and reborn. Dot 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 isn't it too simple? At least you have to collect something much like blood and hair, right? From now on, as long as you don't leave the range of 10 meters from me, it will be fine. There are two modes of resurrection and casual users can only use the second backup mode for resurrection. If it is too far away, the watch cannot detect the signs of life of the user, and cannot break up the original body into a quantum state, so it cannot take effect. Because, there is only one life, although it seems that after backing up the data, it seems that a new one can be printed directly. That's just a look. The soul has quantum properties. Once the original quantum state remains unchanged, a new self will appear. According to the principle of quantum superposition entanglement, the two must be connected. Then it collapsed. Therefore, the path of copying an infinite number of selves will not work. Okay, so when will the synesthesia device be done? While everyone was still in a daze, Wanda got down to business. Subconsciously, a technician replied, it will be enough to modify the existing synesthesia equipment and add a probe. It will not take more than 10 minutes. As soon as the technician finished speaking, Scott, the boss of the Pacific Rim Defense Force, gave him a helpless look. The matter of the resurrection has not yet been verified. Originally, he wanted to procrastinate for a while, to find out the details of the men in black organization. Now that he said it like this, he simply couldn't do it anymore. They have no reason to reject Wanda yet. You said you were afraid that people would be in danger, so I will give you a resurrection directly. Is it enough for you? Why don't you agree now? What do you mean? Look down on us men in black. Scott is no longer a three-year-old child, and he understands this kind of reasoning. Facing this sweet-looking woman with unimaginable strength, Akfi, in her body, Scott could only nod silently. Twenty minutes later, Wanda and his team came near the corpse of the leatherback turtle. After struggling for a period of time, the scars on the surface of the turtle's body have not deteriorated, and it even looks like it is about to heal. The limbs that twitch from time to time represent that the central nerve that was severed by Wanda in the leatherback's body may also be healing. Vitality is really tenacious. Scott stood close to the zero-hour platform, 
and said with some helpless emotion, there is no doubt that if it is given some time, it may resurrect itself with full blood. Let's start, Wanda urged, soon, with the help of the instrument, the staff inserted a probe of a portable synesthesia device along the monster's eyes and ruthlessly pierced it in. The 10 meter long probe can almost string a dozen people together like kebabs, but this size is almost negligible on a fourth level monster of several thousand tons, it's just that you can feel the other party's pupils start to shrink. Dr. Newton also took a deep breath, then he gritted his teeth and stomped his feet. Suddenly put the helmet on the head. Synesthesia begins. Link succeeded. Sync rate 20%. Generally speaking, even if it is synesthesia with humans, the synchronization rate will start to increase a little bit from 1%, and Newton deserves to have the physique that fits the monster best. Almost at the moment when the synesthesia started, the synchronization rate soared to 20%, and it is still increasing rapidly at a speed visible to the naked eye. 8%. 4850, E270, Z90, damn it, 100%. When the synesthesia synchronization rate reached 100%, everyone was shocked, because, they have never seen such a high rate of synesthesia synchronization. For an ordinary person to control a mecha hunter, the pressure on the brain nerves is very high, so synesthesia technology is used to link the thinking of multiple people together. In this way, multiple drivers can share the pressure together, and can have a very high tacit understanding. The synesthesia synchronization rate represents the proportion of two kinds of thinking and the brain waves of two people can fit. There are no two identical souls in the world, even if it is the two twins with the highest synesthesia synchronization rate among Mecha Hunter pilots, it is only 90%, 100%. Even the person who invented the synesthesia technology dare not think about it. Even two clones cannot think exactly the same way. So Dr. Newton can have such a high synchronization rate with Kyo Beast. There must be something strange about it. However, while everyone was still in shock, Dr. Newton suddenly began to tremble violently. The whole person seemed to go crazy and get an electric shock, rolling his eyes. What's the situation? Stop the program. There is no fluctuation in synesthesia synchronization. But Dr. Newton's brain activity has tripled. At this rate, he will be burned into an idiot. What? Or 100%? Scott almost didn't curse directly. Generally speaking, it is an accident of synesthesia that will be fed back to the body for a physiological reaction but Newton's synesthesia is stable like a straight line. The body almost exploded. Scott had never seen anything like it. It can't be broken. Dr. Newton's thinking is almost immersed in the world of synesthesia. Once he is disconnected under such a high rate of synesthesia, his consciousness will never come back. The so-called synesthesia world is actually a memory world constructed by the memory thinking of both parties during the synesthesia, like a bystander. The synesthete person will enter the other party's synesthesia world and observe the other party's memory and thoughts disconnect before the synesthesia synchronization rate decreases, because the consciousness has not returned to one's own body, and the consciousness that enters the memory world of the other party will change from a bystander to a participant. That is, assimilated. Then it really becomes a vegetable. Wait, let me do it. Wanda felt a very strong desire to survive from Dr. Newton. Something seemed to have happened to his consciousness. Was forcibly pulled. Coupled with the huge amounts of pressure of synesthesia with the leatherback turtle, this has led to the current situation. Saying that, Wanda put her hand on Dr. Newton's shoulder. Agent W, it's useless for you to do this, you need. Generally, when the consciousness is stuck in the memory time, they deal with it by using another set of synesthesia equipment to send individuals to participate in the synesthesia, and persuade them to come out. Wanda doesn't bring any equipment, what's the use of just putting hands on shoulders? Before the technician had time to complain, he saw Dr. Newton, who was trembling, settle down almost instantly after Wanda touched him. What the hell? Yes, what did she do? At this moment, Wanda used her chaos power to forcibly break into Dr. Newton's spiritual world. However, this world is different from what Wanda imagined. In the endless ocean, countless strange buildings stand on the bottom of a sea, looking a bit like a glass culture bottle in a laboratory. Inside each building, there is a monster with a strange shape. It's just that the size is bigger than expected. Anyone looks like it must weigh tens of thousands of tons, and the smallest one seems to be dozens of times larger than the most powerful fourth-level Kaiyu beast currently appearing on the Earth and buildings like this are densely packed here, and it is almost impossible to see the end. It is hard to imagine, once these monsters appear on the earth, what will humans do to resist them? And among these countless petri dishes, a platform above, Newton was trembling and surrounded by several strange creatures. They are about three to four meters tall, with carapace on the body surface, compound eyes, a pair of transparent wings, arms and legs, but their structure is somewhat similar to arthropods. At the moment, the surrounded Dr. Newton appears to be being questioned. There is no doubt that these guys who look like they evolved from insects are the reason why Kenyan came to this world. Pioneer. Wanda's consciousness appeared. It seemed that they were caught by the gap. Almost instantly everyone turned to look at her. Humanity. Woman. Is her. I saw it. She was the one who wiped out 4196. Thunder Beast. 
and 4,188 standing mouse. Why can't I perceive her memory? The communication of the pioneers is very efficient, and there is almost no nonsense. Moreover, almost as soon as the previous person said a word, the next person would immediately pick up. It feels both funny and scary. They can block Newton here, and immediately feel that they can't check Wanda's memory. This shows that the pioneers are very familiar with such things as synesthesia technology. There is no doubt that Newton has fallen into the tiger's mouth. Wanda didn't talk nonsense. As soon as he stretched out his hand, a burst of red energy spewed out from Wanda's consciousness, rushed into the middle of several pioneers almost instantly, wrapped Newton up, and then pulled 10. Speed. How is this possible? This power. What a powerful mental power. The head is so small, why is it so powerful? And it's red. Wanda originally just wanted to save Newton and take Newton away. Unexpectedly, the random power of chaos almost stunned the jaws of the pioneers. The power level of origin magic power is very high. In the eyes of the pioneers, the red energy just now is simply a substantive spirit. Wait. Don't go. Let's talk again. Queen. My queen. I beg you. However, when they watched Wanda take Newton with them, they were about to leave this conscious world. Several pioneers were in a hurry. Hastily shouted loudly in human language. Only to find that Wanda has no intention of turning back at all. No. Don't go. We'll meet again. It will. Queen. Hearing the voice getting weaker and weaker. The sky was a little confused. I don't know what the hell is wrong with these aliens. How did you start calling yourself a queen? Until the world of synesthesia memory disappeared. The consciousness of the two of them completely returned to the real world. Sync rate dot 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 zero percent. The moment the synchronization rate dropped, someone quickly stepped forward to help Newton and wiped his nosebleed. It apostrophe s dot 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 back. The crowd watched all this in bewilderment. No idea how Wanda did it. Thank you for saving me. If it wasn't for you, I might never come back. Newton said with lingering fear. I just felt that the synesthesia just now was the scariest thing I have ever experienced in my life. As soon as he entered the brain of this living Kaiyu beast. He realized that something was wrong. Alive monsters still seem to be online. In other words, it is also linked to the deepest honeycomb network. In the hive network of the chrysanthemum, there are still living pioneers. They were so weird and scary that they arrested him directly in the space of consciousness. He even said that he would transform his consciousness and cover it with a certain monster before putting him back. Simply outrageous. If Wanda hadn't appeared at a critical moment and brought him out, he might not be himself now. It is right to save you. Can you tell me where and what you saw? Did you get some key information? Wanda hurriedly asked. Exclamation mark. Speaking of this, Newton stood up strongly. I got a lot of information. Very important. Dot. Chapter 89. Level 8 Kaiyu Beast. Pioneers cry. This time, because it was linked to the Pioneers Hive network, although it was discovered, the consciousness almost didn't come back. But Newton still got a lot of very important information. This is also the reason why his brain was overclocked for a while before. All because he was receiving this information. The aliens behind Kaiyu Beast. Dot, 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 the pioneers, their home planet. The home planet of the pioneers is called Antiverse. It is a planet covered with dark clouds, barren land, no rivers, and only rock formations. The atmosphere is yellow. The planet's environment is extremely harsh, full of radiation and chemical pollution, and all the creatures on the planet have made great evolutions to suit the local environment. A pioneer is a colonizing creature that evolved from an insect and thrives by continually colonizing other planets. At the same time, they have extremely high poison making chemistry, biological science and hyperspace technology, and can bridge other planets with the local area by building wormholes to infiltrate and attack from within the enemy. The pioneer is about 3.6 meters tall, looks like an aquatic insect, walks upright, has four arms, translucent wings, just like the crustaceans on the earth, the skeleton grows outside the body and has a fusiform head crown like an alien. That is to say, those who surrounded you before, are the pioneers. Wanda has successfully checked in. Right. Newton nodded and continued, don't those guys have something like a crown on their heads? That's also an external expression they use to distinguish their ranks. There is a very strict hierarchy within the pioneer civilization. According to the file size of the crown on the head, from high to low, it is divided into, bishop, cardinal, ambassador. There is also the ordinary level which is no level. The three pioneers who surrounded me before are ordinary level. However, it is said that they still have a queen class, but it hasn't appeared in 200 million years. Queen? Hearing this address, Wanda subconsciously remembered what the three pioneers called her before leaving. As a biotechnology civilization, the social structure of the pioneers is actually somewhat similar to that of the Zerg civilization. The higher the level of the individual, the bigger the head and the stronger the mental power. It can also create more powerful war beasts. The head of the bishop class is several times larger than that of the ordinary class. However, in the world of pioneers, there has always been a rumor that it is the queen of pioneers. She possesses an unimaginably powerful mental power, but returns to the basics, and has a body smaller than ordinary. It's just that this kind of queen pioneer has not appeared for 200 million years. 200 million years is too long, 
right? Scott looked shocked. China's civilization has a history of 250 million years. And their theoretical lifespan is also 200 million years. 250 million civilizations, a theoretical lifespan of 200 million years. There is also spiritual power which seems to be a super ability power. This simply satisfies all human fantasies about aliens. Listening to Newton's explanation to this point, Wanda seems to finally understand why the three pioneers called her queen. Dude, this is using her origin magic power as spiritual power. Because the strength of origin magic power is too high, do you think you are the legendary queen? With Newton's slow narration, everything about the alien civilization behind Caillou Beast is slowly revealed. However, the more you listen, the more silent you become. Make no mistake. This is a ridiculously powerful civilization. They have colonized an unknown number of planets. It has a long history of civilization and powerful individuals, as well as biotechnology that is several levels above the Earth. For a long time, the people who controlled the Caillou beasts to enter the Earth were only the three most ordinary or even the lowest level pioneers. Moreover, even at the lowest level, the fourth level Caillou beast they have struggled to resist is not the most powerful beast in their hands. For a while, everyone was silent. How to fight such an enemy? The breath of despair began to spread. However, just when people don't know what to do. Suddenly, Wanda seemed to have received some information, and her face suddenly became weird. Well, I want to ask, where is the wormhole? In Agent W you don't know where the wormhole is? Scott was suddenly a little puzzled. The location of the wormhole is almost known to everyone. Even ordinary people can say 123 more familiar than their families. After all, the world has been fighting for so many years because of this wormhole. I'm crazy, can you take me there? Wanda's words left Scott speechless. Okay. What are you doing in a wormhole? Scott doesn't know why Wanda is going to the wormhole all of a sudden. Is it because he is going to kill him? That's not the case, although Wanda has such a powerful individual mysterious power, but the pioneers seem to be even more powerful. Is it really good to go to the opponent's base camp? Our high-level men in black just sent me a message that the pioneers have officially surrendered to the men in black, and asked me to preside over the surrender. To be honest, Wang Yin was dumbfounded when he received this news. She spent a lot of time here and finally found out the information of the pioneers, and she hadn't had time to report it. You tell me the pioneers surrendered? Exclamation mark. What the hell? Upon hearing Wanda's words, the others were also dumbfounded. Surrender? Exclamation mark. Pioneers? Exclamation mark. What kind of Arabian Nights joke are you talking about? Such a powerful civilization hardly knows how many Earths it can kill. It is still in despair. You told me that the other side surrendered. What kind of fairy organization are the men in black? What have they done in such a short period of time? For a moment. Everyone looked at Wanda with a ghost-like expression. Wanda was also very confused. She really didn't know what Kinyan was doing when she was not around. Meanwhile, above the wormhole, Kinyan's expression on the transport ship was also very dull. Everyone thinks what he did, but Kinyan just wanted to say dot 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 he really didn't do anything. Before, when Kinyan was still waiting for Wanda to report the situation, the system notification suddenly sounded. One of the three pioneer halls chose to join the banner of the man in black. The pioneers split and the daily tasks were settled in advance. Congratulations to the host, complete the daily task, pioneer crisis, declare war or establish diplomatic relations with the pioneer civilization. It is detected that the mission conditions have changed, some pioneers want to join the men in black, and the mission rewards have been issued. Congratulations to the host, get reward, zoom in and out flashlight x5. Daily missions are updated due to changes in conditions, three kings contest. Alpha Temple believes that Agent W is the reincarnation of the Queen of the Pioneers and is determined to let the queen ascend the throne and rule the pioneers. The stakes are high, and you gain the favor of the pioneer civilization, Temple of Alpha. You have acquired the hostility of Gamma Temple and Beta Temple. The current daily task is, establish a cooperative relationship with Alpha Temple, one of the three pioneer temples, or destroy it. Reward, Light Industrial Mecha Icarlos, Special Luck Reward. To be honest, Kinyan was almost fooled by this series of system prompts. This leaves Wanda to take Newton to investigate the situation of the pioneers. Why is it so inexplicable to be regarded as a queen by the pioneers? What are the three major temples? In other words, in fact, the pioneers are governed by the distribution of the three largest forces. And it's the kind of theocracy dot 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 that's outrageous. As an advanced civilization, does it still engage in such things as religion? Can one third of the pioneers surrender to the banner of the man in black just because of one human? Wand really? Gave myself a big surprise. Kinyan almost died laughing. On Earth, when everyone is immersed in inexplicable things, in the distant starry sky, a major event also happened inside the Pioneer. Achilles Ares, age, 800 hail, grade, bishop level. He was originally an ordinary officer in the garrison, and was later selected as a Pioneer Surface Expedition Team. Later, during the surface exploration work, all the expedition team except Ares and three soldiers were killed. The founder and commander of the Imperial Guard Division the commander of the monster army, and a fanatical follower of the Alpha Temple sect. 
He is also the current Pope of the Temple of Alpha. Today, he received a message from a herder on a remote planet under the Alpha Temple. The shepherds are also the people at the bottom of the pioneer civilization. The power in their hands can kill even a child at the ambassador level. Reasonably speaking, with Ares status, it is impossible to receive news from such a low-level person. But the news of being unable to hold back was too fierce, and it was passed on layer by layer, and almost no one dared to stop it. It didn't even take more than a minute from the time the message was sent to when he received it. The content of the news also made countless people in the Alpha Temple excited. We found the Queen reincarnated on a planet called Earth, said, also comes with a spiritual aspect. This is the memory they extracted directly from their own brains, and with some spiritual power it can almost perfectly restore the scene at that time. Zero dot 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 asking for flowers. This is also the most used method of transmitting messages in the pioneer civilization. In the picture, Wanda uses red energy to forcibly take another creature's consciousness from them. To be honest, this level is not difficult, but, the key is to get to the red energy. This is, substantive spiritual power. When he saw the red energy, Ares instantly stood up. There is no magic in this world and there is no such thing as super abilities. The so-called spiritual power is also the definition that emerged after their in-depth research on the power of thinking. This is because they started out relying on biotechnology and evolved with a deep understanding of biology. Origin magic power also comes from the soul. In their view, isn't it just a strong spiritual power? The teachings of the Alpha Temple are the oldest of the three pioneer temples. According to the legend of Alpha, the pioneer queen who sacrificed for the race back then possessed substantive spiritual power. Even if the body is destroyed and the spiritual power dissipates, it will not die forever. That huge spiritual power will one day be condensed, attached to a new body, and reborn. So, in fact, countless people are waiting for this day to come. The pioneer civilization was not once divided into three separate forces. It is a unified civilization controlled by the queen. The queen is not only the spiritual belief of their pioneer civilization, but also the most powerful existence. She is the only being who can manipulate matter with mental power, and the only herald who can control the fixed star behemoth. The pioneers possessed biotechnology capable of producing level fixed star monsters, but now the entire pioneer civilization does not have one. Because even if a powerful monster is created, no one has the ability to control it. Therefore, the importance of the queen to the pioneer civilization is self-evident. This substantive spiritual power, Ares, has been in the universe for so many years, and has never seen a second person with. At this moment, he only felt tears streaming down his face, as if his lifelong belief had been confirmed. That indescribable emotion filled every cell in his body. Where is the queen now? Remote sector? Earth? Human civilization? Why did the queen devote herself to a garbage civilization that didn't even finish the first level? I saw the relevant information about the earth sent by the shepherds, as well as the introduction of human beings. Ares just thinks this is an insult to the queen. However, soon, he slapped himself hard in the face again. No. The Queen, Ares, is wrong. Since the Queen chose to reincarnate here, she must have a reason. How can I question the Queen's thoughts? Exclamation mark. His eyes were full of fanaticism. From childhood to adulthood, he has witnessed and heard the legend of the Queen, and the teachings of the Alpha Temple are fluent. If he didn't have true faith and love, how could he achieve this position in the Alpha Temple? After all, there are quite a few bishops in the pioneer civilization. There are only three teachers. Come on man, prepare the ship. Let's go to the Milky Way. Solar System, Earth. Send a message to the shepherds. Let them apologize to the queen. Accept the queen's arrangement unconditionally. Annoy the queen. Put them in the battery. When I get there, Ares said viciously, putting a creature in a battery was one of the cruelest criminal laws in the world for the pioneer culture. As a biotechnology civilization, their use of living things has almost been developed to the extreme. Biopower generation is also the elementary level technology they first used back then. Living organisms that are very affordable producers. Later, after the technological level of the pioneers improved, the bio-battery technology was eliminated, but it became a punishment. The pioneers locked in the battery will lose all mobility, but they can maintain the most basic survival. They cannot perceive everything in the outside world, they cannot move, hear or speak, and, plus their lifespan is very high. This level is tens of thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years, millions of years. This is a very scary thing. Even some pioneers who have been imprisoned will cry in fright when they hear the word battery. Ares set off in a mighty way. At the same time, the earth has also ushered in the culprit of so many years of disasters. Three herdsmen, almost rolling and crawling, ran out on their beasts. Warning. Warning. Kayo beast detected dot 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 level. Level 8. Factory. Chapter 70 Devouring 3000 Stars. Kinyan becomes queen. Warning. Warning. Kayo beast detected dot 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 level. Level. Code name. Big Mac. When the 8th level Kayo beast appeared on the radar, everyone who saw the news was going crazy. 8th grade. What is the concept? The level of Kayo Beast rises in steps. The tonnage of each level is twice that of the previous level. The fifth level is 200 of the fourth level, 
and the sixth level is four times that of the fourth level. The eighth level Caillou Beast is equivalent to sixteen times the tailed mouse. Even when he came out of the wormhole, it gave people a strong sense of disobedience. It feels like a developing pimple has finally been squeezed out. There was also a sound of wave tilde in some people's minds. The huge amounts of body shape even make people feel that it will explode the space channel. The staff who named Caillou Beast saw it, and even subconsciously named it, Big Mac. The dangerous homeless standing next to him looks like a baby. Is this the most powerful power of the Harbinger? Scott looked at the behemoth, shocked and panicked in his heart. Even if all the mecha hunters from all over the world gather here, it is impossible to defeat this thing, right? Isn't this food delivery? No. This is by no means their strongest Caillou beast. Dr. Newton shook his head wildly. As he once entered the hive network, his vision is much higher than Scott. Across the wormhole, there is a bigger one. According to our classification, it should be level 10. Grade 10? The tenth level Caillou beast is sixty-four times heavier than the fourth level beast. Dangerous wanderers stand in front of this giant beast. It is impossible to hit the opponents in step by jumping up, right? It should be that the wormhole can accommodate the eighth level Caillou beast at most, or the tenth level beast will come. Newton was a little terrified. Two hundred and seven level ten Caillou beast is already an unimaginably terrifying monster, basically invincible on Earth, and this is only the power that ordinary level pioneers can control. What about an ambassador? What about the cardinal class? What about bishop? It is hard to imagine that the pioneer even has a legendary queen class. Just when everyone was still shocked, Kinyan has already been dispatched. The projection device of the transport ship projected Kinyan's body in the air. The man in black, Sector 6, Agent Q. Unknown outsiders, you have illegally invaded the territory of the human race, seriously violating the precepts of the universe. Now, Please immediately disarm and accept our cross-examination. Kinyan doesn't care what the opponent's purpose or attitude is, just give him a wave of pressure at the beginning. Seeing Kinyan's projection, one of the pioneers spoke, tiny human. Before he finished speaking, the companion next to him slapped his wings so hard that he almost flew away. After being beaten hard by himself, he looked a little dazed, staring blankly at his companion. I don't know why he did this, I haven't finished my harsh words yet. Are you crazy? The queen is reincarnated as a human. And, the pioneer looked at Kinyan's clothes. Although the dressing style of the pioneers is very different from that of humans. But he can still see that the clothes on Kinyan are the same style as Wang Dan. This one definitely has a close relationship with the queen. Dear dot 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 her, Agent Q. We are the herdsmen directly under the 3rd Division of the 19th Army under the Alpha Holy Place Ares of the Herald Empire. It's an honor to meet you Tilda. The pioneers looked very much like insects, and they seemed to speak not through their throats, but through the vibration of a vocal organ in their tails. Even if they are two completely different races, others can still see his flattery. Completely looking like a sycophant. As a herdsman, my dog's eyes look down on people, and I mistakenly regard the earth as a pasture. Dot 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 we are here this time to sincerely give you the most sincere intentions. The pioneer who spoke seemed to have a good understanding of human culture. Seeing Kinyan's oriental face, even speaking is mixed with some Chinese idioms. Kinyan didn't expect the other party's attitude to be so good. Disarm, come to my ship and chat. There are too many people around and the eyes of countless people are watching here. Kinyan didn't want to talk about things in front of so many people. After saying this, I saw a wave of air, and the transport ship released its stealth mode. Then, a streamlined spacecraft with a sci-fi feel appeared in front of everyone out of thin air. This stunned Scott and the others. Spaceship? Exclamation mark. The man in black still has a spaceship? And when did it appear? There was nothing there just now. As for the pioneers, they heard Kinyan's request. He doesn't even have a hesitation, with a wave. Something much like a tentacle under the foot broke off from the sides of the body. This is a way he uses to control the Caillou beast under his feet, and it can also maintain balance by the way. At critical moments, he can also be pulled into the body of Caillou beast, using the giant beast as an exoskeleton mesh. Then, he waved his wings and floated towards the spaceship in the air. The other two also learned to keep up. There is absolutely no awareness that such actions will put themselves in danger. The moment they entered the spaceship, they saw Wanda standing behind Kinyan. Afterwards, the leading pioneer even rushed to the front of the two of them. Prostrate and kneel. Ah! Great and noble God, Eternal Queen. To be able to crawl at your feet is the most glorious moment in our life. It's hard to imagine what kind of picture it would be like for a big insect with a height of about 3.6 meters to crawl on the ground. Even if he is crawling on the ground, his physique is very tall and he has raised wings. He is even taller than Kenyan who is standing. Despite his height, he still couldn't hide his enthusiasm. Wanda looked at the big dragonfly in front of her with a dazed expression, subconsciously glanced at Kenyan. Kenyan was also a little helpless. He roughly guessed why this kind of thing happened, but he still felt it was weird. Is Wanda's charm so blind? Just glanced at Wanda in the consciousness space, then knelt on the ground and called her queen. How could Wanda be their queen? Not even from this universe, but Kenyan is not stupid. How could he break this matter apart? Thinking of this, he suddenly looked viciously at the three big dragonflies in front of him. Glory? 
Do you know what you did? His tone was very severe. Wanda has joined the men in black as our agent. I will fight for a community with a shared future for mankind all my life. And you, Kinyan pointed to the Kaiyu beast outside the window and said, You actually use this garbage beast to invade the earth? Stand on the opposite side of human beings. Destroying the interests of the community with a shared future for mankind. You are simply a heinous crime, and you deserve death. Taking advantage of the hat to play this kind of thing, Kinyan never felt that he would be worse than others. Hearing Kinyan's words, the three pioneers lying on the ground immediately began to tremble. Then, one of them even stood up suddenly. Kinyan squinted his eyes, subconsciously started to activate the battle mode. In the palm of his hand, liquid metal slowly drilled out, condensing into a handful of flying darts. Originally, Kinyan already thought that the pioneers were in a hurry and wanted to do something. However, the next operation of this pioneer almost didn't surprise Kinyan. I saw his wings fluttering, and then, the transparent wings sliced towards his head like a sharp blade. During this process, he did not forget to shout loudly, Damn me, for doing such a thing. I have committed a heinous crime. Shame on her lady queen. Rush. The wings seemed to have turned into sharp blades, cutting off its head neatly. Boom. Then, he fell to the ground. Blue-green blood spurted out. He actually committed suicide just like that. Question mark Kinyan didn't expect that its fanaticism would be so crazy. Its movements seemed to resonate with the other two pioneers. In an instant, the other two also stood up, ready to commit suicide, etc. Kinyan quickly waved and called. But don't learn the tricks of the young people. How can you say that you will die when you die? Is this a fanatic? He just wanted to take the initiative in the conversation, but he didn't want to make the person talking disappear. With Kinyan's force, the red energy and the wings of the two people cancel each other out. Kinyan used origin magic power to stop the two from committing suicide. Substantial spiritual power. After feeling this force, both of them looked at Kinyan in disbelief. Kinyan actually has such a powerful mental power. Queen, you are the queen. Kinyan, a queen, almost made Kinyan stagger on the spot. What the hell is this called? Exclamation mark. According to the records, the queen's spiritual power is as vast as the sea. If a male mates with a queen, he will receive a gift from the queen and possess a part of the queen's power. You are the queen. The pioneer in the middle pointed at Kinyan and shouted. The conversation went to such a point that even Quicksilver, who had been listening silently, was stunned. Then he looked at his sister in surprise and disbelief. Wanda received this sight and blushed. No, it's not like that. We just slept together a few times. No. However, as soon as the words came out, Wanda found that this description seemed to be more misleading. How much sleep? Exclamation mark. Quicksilver is dumbfounded. This has happened many times? I do not know how. It's been a long time since they came to Men in Black. Why did my sister get together with Kin Yun? I'll tell you why you don't feel right these days. In contrast to the past two days, Wanda has been in a daze from time to time, and occasionally blushes in the middle of a daze. Good guy, it's true. He glanced at Kin Yun. It is said that an elder brother is like a father, and now he also feels that the cabbage has been beaten. Both Kin Yun and his sister have reached this point. Then how should he get along with Kin Yun in the future? Should we continue to call him the boss? or stop. This is embarrassing. Sure enough, the legend in the doctrine is true. Hearing Wanda say that the two were just asleep, they, who are familiar with human culture, immediately understood the meaning. Sleep, sleep, where is there? Just this way of saying, isn't it the meaning of handing in 12 matches after sleeping? Sure enough, as long as you have a relationship with the queen, you can also get a step up evolution. This is the spiritual power that can affect the materialization of reality. They really felt it just now. The queen is human. The queen is human. In other words, Humans are a race favored by the queen, and they are the queen's knights. As an old-fashioned interstellar civilization, the pioneers are still biased towards biotechnology. He is very specialized in genetic evolution and so on. They don't say that their own genes are everything, and they will choose to integrate the genes of other powerful races to evolve themselves. The lower the pioneers are, the purer their genes are, and the more they tend to be the original pioneers, but want to become ambassadors from ordinary pioneers and become high-level pioneers such as bishops. It must have integrated other genes. There are also many other races within the pioneers, but they are slowly assimilated over time. The race of the queen's family has integrated human genes. Doesn't this mean that the queen has decided to let humans become her knights as one of the future evolutionary directions? Knight is a name within the pioneer. Every pioneer above the rank of ambassador has its own race of knights. Different races of knights have different directions of gene evolution and the Kaiyu beasts produced are also different. The combat power is even more different. Since it is the Queen's Knight, then it is our God. From now on, the interests of mankind will be safeguarded by us. The only two remaining pioneers fell to their knees again. At this time, Kinyan also found out. Communicating with pioneers is not like communicating with Trisolarans. If the Trisolarans are an absolutely rational race, pioneers are absolute sensual fanatics. Perhaps it has something to do with the direction of their technological development. However, it is true that they cannot be viewed with normal logic. Thinking of this, 
Qin Yan felt that there was no need to drag, although your attitude is very good, the harm you have caused to the earth and the human beings cannot be offset. Hearing this, the two pioneers began to cry together, we are guilty, we didn't know that humans are the queen's knights, we are guilty, however, this time the two committed suicide without mentioning suicide. One of the pioneers stated, however, queen, please rest assured, although we are just lowly herdsmen, we certainly cannot erase the damage done to the queen's knights, however, Bishop Perry's is on his way. 15 Earth days to the nearest wormhole network. 20 Earth days to Earth 3.0. Another pioneer also quickly answered the call and said excitedly, Yes, yes, yes. Bishop Perry's will definitely make compensation and eliminate our crimes. Bishop of Aries? Bishop level pioneers. Kinyan narrows his eyes. This person may be the biggest trouble he should deal with. Tell me more about this. Aries. Kinyan wanted to learn more about this person from them and see how to deal with it. After all, People still have 15 days to arrive. Ares. Is the bishop of our temple of Alpha. 3000 star level. There are three knights. From their mouths, King Yun gradually got a clear picture of Ares. Ares, as the leader of the three temples. His age is the youngest, only 800 hail. Therefore, his strength is also the worst. The so-called 3000 stars means that the strongest war beast under his hand devours more than 3000 life planets similar to the Earth. This is also one of the signs to measure combat effectiveness. The other two temple bishops are veteran pioneers with more than 9,000 stars. The three knights represent the gene ability that Ares integrated through three different interstellar races. As a low-level bishop of 3,000 stars, the reason why Ares can sit in this position is that he has the same status as the other two veteran bishops, also because the ability of one of his knights is very BT. However, low-level pioneers like them cannot know what the specific ability is. I only know that the three knights of Ares have never been seen by anyone except Ares. After all, every knight is a force and everyone hides it very tightly. The purpose of these three grazes to graze the earth is actually to feed the war beasts of Ares. In other words, Ares is the culprit who invaded the earth. Chapter 71 They are gods descending. As the lowest level of herders, the earth, a high-quality life planet, certainly does not belong to them. What they have to do is to understand the native civilization of a life star, and then slowly transform the planet into the environment they need. Planting a special genetic plant. Until plants cover the entire planet, the geological structure and so on will be changed under the action of this plant. Turn the earth into something like a chocolate bin coated in icing. At this time, bishop level pioneers will be able to bring their war beasts to earth. Digest it slowly. No one knows how this model started in the first place, but basically all the war beasts of the bishop are bred in this way. Although inefficient, it is very stable. As long as time goes by, more and more life planets will be devoured. His strength will also become stronger. Moreover, there is a very critical point in this. After the war beast devoured the planet, it didn't mean it melted directly in the body. Instead, it still looks like a complete planet. In a part similar to the wormhole space, use that special plant to connect with the body to supply power to the beast. Therefore, each living planet is not only a material supplement for the war beast, but also an existence similar to a battery. The more batteries, the more power. Pioneers have powerful biological technology and wormhole space technology. The combination of the two, plus the bonus of the night gene. The fighting power of creatures like war beasts can almost be said to have touched the edge of advanced civilization. As for why it has not been promoted to a higher civilization after so many years, it is still a medium level civilization. According to them, it's because the queen never showed up. The queen is not only their spiritual belief, but also the key to their slow progress in the main technology tree of their cards. Only under the leadership of the queen, can we take one step closer. Queen, is all we have. The herdsman shouted for Queen Hale and looked at Wanda with a look that he wanted to die for her. Okay, I got it. Kinyan nodded. There should be no breakthroughs for these two low-level pioneers. However, Ares, the bishop-level pioneer, is coming to Earth soon. That's the most important thing about O2. Whether you want to make use of the topic, or have further exchanges with pioneers, we can only find a breakthrough from Ares. Go back, let's talk about the rest when Ares arrives. Oh, by the way, the chrysanthemum beast is here to stay. Although herders are only the lowest level pioneers, they are a part of a civilization system after all. The Kaiyu beast can also be regarded as a battle beast. There is an eighth level Kaiyu beast in hand to study and research. Maybe he can find something that can make Kinyan more confident in the face of Ares. Good queen dot 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 but. An eighth level chrysanthemum is just a consumable for the herdsman, but at this moment the herdsman has some hesitation. This chrysanthemum beast was originally prepared to be thrown in after cleaning up the earth. Its body organs have been specially modified, and every minute of its existence on the earth will cause parent star-like transformation, which is what humans call pollution. The specially modified Kaiyu beast, with its eighth level body, only needs a few days, and this sea area may suffer irreversible damage. It doesn't matter. Kinyan didn't care about this, isn't it big? With that said, Kinyan opened the hatch, slowly float up. He used the few chaos magic powers on this body to suspend himself. 
The two herdsmen watching this scene felt envious again. If they have this kind of substantive mental power, no matter how bad they are, they must be a genius, right? Worthy of being a queen. System, get a dot 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 zoom in and zoom out flashlight. This is the system reward that I just got before. It comes from a certain two-dimensional universe with a god-level civilization. Although the dimensional level is low, the civilization technology is still powerful. The universe does not distinguish forces at the dimensional level. The liquid metal in Kinyan's palm completely covered the flashlight. Only the lamp head of the flashlight was exposed. It's like a palm cannon. Zoom out mode. After turning on a zoom out mode and aiming at Kayu Beast, with a beam of light hitting Kayu Beast's body, visible to the naked eye, Kayu Beast begins to shrink at an extremely fast speed. FK, what happened? Exclamation mark. Scott and his party are still on the boat behind the dangerous homeless. When the Pioneer and Kinyan had a secret meeting, all their attention is on the 8th level Kayu Beast. Even at the base on the coast, Several nuclear warheads have been loaded, and they can be launched immediately if something is wrong. This is the 8th level chrysanthemum beast. Once run away, the consequences are unimaginable. The only thing that comforts them is that Southwest Zeng has always been very Kunqiao, standing still. However, in their eyes, Kinyan floated down from the sky, and when he stretched out his hand, the terrifying 8th level Kaiyu beast seemed to be sucked away by Kinyan. Began to change. This scene is extremely strange and shocking. In just a few seconds, the Kaiyu beast turned into a finger file size, and flew into Kinyan's hand under Kinyan's control. Kinyan squeezed it with his hand, then turned and left. FK. What happened? Exclamation mark. The chrysanthemum beast is gone. Where is it missing? It was obviously taken away by Agent Q. But how is it possible? Such a huge monster. What kind of magic is this? It's not magic. There is a record of this ability in Chinese legends. Dot dot dot. It seems to be called Gain Kun in the sleeve. What? Isn't that a fairy tale? Hiss. Is it possible that it's all true? The scene in front of him was really too shocking. The gigantic giant of nearly 100,000 tons was grasped by the tiny Kinyan as soon as he stretched out his hand. This is just like a fairy tale. The speed at which the Kaiyu beast shrank was so fast that even the seawater didn't react and a piece was suddenly vacant. It wasn't until the Kayu beast disappeared in Kinyan's hands that countless seawater began to pour in. A huge wave was set off, and even the people on the boat quickly supported the wall to stabilize their bodies. The man in black with the universe in his sleeves. Dot 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 mythical story. Scott thinks more. The strength of the man in black was vividly and exquisitely displayed in front of this method. But such a powerful organization, no one knew about it before. Even if they can erase their memories, they can't be perfect forever, right? But if dot 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 you associate the man in black with a fairy tale dot 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 perhaps it all makes sense. Is it possible that the organization of men in black has existed longer than imagined? Those ancient myths, legends of moving mountains and reclamation of seas. What Olympus, what eastern fairyland. In the past, would the men in black not be called by this name? But those names in the myth, they have been protecting the earth, and they have been in control of unimaginable power. Occasionally, some information is leaked, and witnesses are not dealt with cleanly. Has it slowly become a myth passed on by word of mouth? Scott gasped. That was the perfect explanation for the organization. If so, does everything make sense? Just when everyone at the scene was still in shock, an uninvited guest interrupted everyone's contemplation. Space Agency Miles, how did you come here? After the helicopter landed on the deck, there was a man Scott never expected to be there. As soon as Miles appeared on the stage, he drank a cigar very badly and looked at the transport ship that hadn't left yet. Why can't I come? Do you think all the things in the world can only be solved by you Pacific Rim Defense Force? Miles held his head high, looking very proud. In fact, he had already arrived, but seeing the size of the 8th level Kayu Beast, he was too frightened to approach it. When the 8th level Kayu Beast disappeared, he let the helicopter land. Scott frowned upon hearing this. I don't know what the space agency is here to join in the fun. There's a reason Miles isn't liked and his personality is just plain unlikable. What's the meaning? Scott asked anyway. Did you see that spaceship in the sky? Scott pointed to the transport in the sky. A face was almost contorted with excitement. A spaceship suddenly appeared. Are you surprised? Do you know whose ship that is? Whose boat? Scott froze at that, isn't it? The ship of the men in black organization? Who else could it be? It can't be the space agencies, right? However, seeing Scott's delay in responding to him, Miles became a little anxious. You really don't want to know? Please, I'll tell you. Scott still didn't speak. Miles couldn't hold back anymore, and said to himself, Well, for the sake of your sincerity... Dot dot dot, I'll tell you. Scott, actually. Miles elongated his tone, with an air of mystery. Finally took a deep breath and said slowly, They are aliens. And aliens who want to help us with good intentions. Our space agency observed the base they built on the moon. Saying this, Miles was very excited. As for me, as the head of the space agency, I am definitely responsible for this kind of contact with aliens. Originally, we planned to send the space shuttle to visit them on the moon. But now it seems unnecessary. They must have come to Earth for the convenience of communicating with me. So, now I need you to assist me, 
as a representative of the Earth, to officially contact these aliens for the first time. With Miles' narcissistic look, Scott felt his scalp tingle, and even wanted to curse. In this world, how can there be such a stupid ex? Seeing Scott's uninterested look, Miles is ready to drop a big bomb. Do you knows that they have a rapid construction technology that can build a large space base in a dozen seconds? If this kind of construction technology is applied to the manufacture of mecha hunters, I can help the sanitary guards build a mecha hunter in a few days. Build a mesh hunter? To be honest, before today, Scott would have jumped with excitement hearing such a thing. But after seeing Kenyan snatch an 8th level Kaiyu beast with one hand, Scott suddenly discovered that mecha hunter is simply a child's play. Too. Hey, Scott, did you hear me? Scott, someone. Tell him to fk off. Scott really didn't want to talk to this stupid shit anymore. Following his order, soldiers soon came to carry Miles and prepare to send him to the plane. Miles is in a hurry. Scott, are you crazy? Do you know the consequences of doing this? Exclamation mark. You really don't want to know who's on the ship. Facing Miles' noise, Scott turned his back and ignored it. Instead, he looked at the spaceship in the sky that had activated the stealth mode and slowly disappeared. He muttered to himself, they dot 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 are gods. If there is really a god in this world, there really is a miracle of the god descending. It must be now. Must it be them? Kinyan didn't pay attention to the fuss on the sea. On the spaceship, Kinyan held out his hand. A metal cage appeared in the palm of the hand, connecting the hands. The variability of liquid metal has allowed Kinyan to develop many uses. After losing the control of the pioneers, its size was reduced again, and the Kaiyu beast trapped in Kinyan's palm appeared extremely active, constantly attacking the cage. However, it has little effect, as the black technology equipment of the two-dimensional god-level civilization. Zooming in and out of the flashlight is very unreasonable. Items that are reduced in proportion will also be reduced in quality. The terrifying behemoth that could destroy half a city with a wave of its hand and easily kick an aircraft carrier like a ball has lost all the power brought by its size at this moment. Like a bug, because it can look wildly. However, its body structure is indeed very good, even if it becomes so small. In the collision with the metal cage, it did not say that it was inferior in terms of materials. Cage wall damage can be seen with every hit and bite. It's just that the speed of damage is not as fast as the speed of repair. The self-healing ability of liquid metal is unique. Things that were that big just now dot 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 can be that small. Wonder and Quicksilver also looked at this little guy with a code name, Big Mac in amazement. I can't understand how can Yun did it. This is the organization's special prop ability dot 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 you can apply for it with me if you need it in the future. Kinyan smiled. Props such as zoom in and zoom out lights are very useful props at certain times. It will definitely be used again in the future. Anyway, the system rewarded five, and he planned to keep one for himself, and put the others in the organization as props that an agent could apply for. In the future, the organization will have a lot of things. With the help of these, the actions of the agents will be easier, and they will be much more relaxed. Is it just an item that can be applied at any time? The two herdsmen on the side were dumbfounded. When they saw Kinyan making the Kaiyu beast smaller with a wave of his hand, they were already dumbfounded the whole time. Based on their knowledge, they are very clear about the terrifying technology that can change the file size of matter. Even the pioneer civilization has never heard of such a thing. Although war beasts can devour planets, it is a space technology that uses wormholes to create a space to accommodate more and larger items. Kinyan is completely different. None of them understand. Even if it is placed in the pioneer civilization, high-end things that can change the file size and quality of objects must only be accessible at the bishop level. Is it just a common item that can be applied for at the men in black? When did humans become so powerful? They have been in contact with humans for so long. Never heard of humans being so fierce. The men in black organization. That's why the queen chose humans as knights. As expected of her lady queen. You have a good eye. At this moment, the two herdsmen looked at Wanda with pilgrim eyes. As the pioneers, they have been in contact with human beings for the longest time, but they have never seen the power of human beings at all. Kinyan. Really Nima. Flatterer. Go away. Okay my lord queen. Dot. Chapter 72, Wandering Earth World. This time contact with the pioneers. It has been rewarding. However, although the attitude of the herdsman was good, even a little fanatical, Kinyan did not let down his vigilance. He doesn't think that an old medium level civilization that can last 250 million years in the starry sky is really so simple and easy to get along with. Medium level civilization, no matter in any universe, is a very powerful civilization. Grades 1-3 are elementary level and grades 4-6 a medium level. A civilization with a probability of level 6. No matter how outrageous its culture is, its leadership must not be a fool. Therefore, when Ares comes to Earth, if he doesn't handle it well, it may be the biggest crisis that the men in black will encounter. Still, Kinyan is back in the Marvel Universe, because, at such a critical juncture, the dimensional gate unexpectedly connected to the new world again, so Kinyan had to come back and deal with it first. And this connected world, how should I put it, like the Pacific Rim world, it is a link request from the automatic program of the dimensions. In other words, 
This world is also encountering some kind of enemy that powerful human beings cannot face. Kinyan always has a bad feeling. With the lessons learned from the Pacific Rim world, what he hopes more than the automatic connection of the Dimension Gate is which side of the world will take the initiative to establish contact with the man in black. So far, although there are not many connected worlds, Kinyan can still feel that the result of this kind of connection will definitely not be very good. No dot 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 this world is so weird. After sending out a small team to collect basic information about the world, the feedback they got was a bit confusing. It's still the old way, setting up communication equipment, linking network signals. Solar helium flash, wandering earth, digital life. 404 looked at these in bewilderment. The information in this world is very rich and sound. Even many things that look very outrageous are put on the internet openly for all ordinary people to see. Boss, the earth in this time and space is about to encounter a solar helium flash, and the sun will rapidly age and devour everything in the solar system in a short period of time. So, they are going to run with the Earth. 404 raised his eyebrows and gave Kinyan a brief description of the situation in this world. However, their technological level is not low. They can almost be regarded as half of a second level civilization. They even mastered heavy nuclear fusion and can burn all materials as fuel. This is not common in third and fourth level civilizations. Dot. The dimensional gate of this world is also on Mars. Dot, 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 it shouldn't be reasonable. With this level of technology, the dimensional gate on Mars should have been discovered long ago. 404 is a bit puzzled. With the technological level of human beings in this world, the dimensional gate of Mars should have been discovered long ago, right? After all, the Moon and Mars are almost the first step for humans in all worlds to enter the starry sky. Maybe it's because of the implementation of the plan to wander the Earth, so all the productivity energy is put on the Earth and there is no time to explore Mars, wandering Earth. Kinyan was also dumbfounded. What surprised him was another aspect. He has also seen the world of wandering Earth outside the fourth wall. This should be a parallel world in the same partition as the Trisolaran world. Solar helium flashes, install a planetary engine on the Earth, and propel the Earth to go through thousands of years of voyage to the next galaxy. There is no doubt that the human beings in this world are very courageous. It can even be said that among so many human civilizations in parallel worlds, there are few who can achieve this level. But what does this have to do with the men in black? It is true that Kinyan also feels that the civilization of this world is worth saving, but this is not the responsibility of the men in black. The reason why the men in black organization was established was not to be a savior, but to act as a reason behind the scenes for all human civilizations when contact of the third kind occurs in the multi-universe. Don't be helpless when you encounter the third category. The so-called community of shared future for mankind has a general direction. If the entire multi-universe human civilization is regarded as a whole, a huge amounts of society, and everyone is a civilian dot 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 then. The duty of the men in black is more like that of the police or the army. When you encounter bad people, they will call the shots for you. The world of wandering earth is different. The helium flash of the sun, theoretically, this belongs to the crisis of annihilation. It's still the same statement just now, there are too many worlds in the crisis of annihilation. Just like normal birth, old age, sickness and death, there are always some worlds where human beings will encounter some things and be destroyed. For this kind of thing, you should go to a doctor, not to the police. The Men in Black organization is not the Virgin Mary organization either. It can only be said that as the police of the universe, it can guarantee that you will not be persecuted by the bad guys, protect your interests, and other backaches. The Man in Black can't control the kind of accidental fall and death while walking. So, when Kinyan saw that the connected world turned out to be a wandering earth, he really didn't understand why. It's not the same as the sun. Dot 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 wait. Kinyunk suddenly thought of something and stopped for a moment. Solar nitrogen flash aging? Yes, the sun is fine. Why does helium flash? And still in such a short time? Although the sun is so huge, he is actually not an old man. For humans, the sun should be regarded as a middle aged man. Only when a fixed star is about to enter the final stage, will a supernova explosion occur. Reminiscent of the world of wandering earth and the world of three body problem. It seems to be a parallel world with a partition. Kinyan suddenly had a bold guess. 404, what is the link request from the dimensions? Let me see. 404 hastily called out the communication message from the dimension gate of the wandering earth world. It is detected that the current world meets the 13 external links of the men in black, and requests the support of the current sector headquarters. 13 chains? Kinyan flipped through the man in black manual given to him by the system. Article 13, when encountering an unknown attack threat. The current world has no ability to fight back, and the threat is unknown. You can contact the current sector headquarters for support. If it was just a guess before, the link request from the dimensions confirmed Kinyan's idea. The sun in the world of wandering earth has indeed been attacked by humans. That's why a helium flash happens to a middle-aged fixed star. This method dot 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 why does it feel so familiar? Without the knowledge of a civilization, 
tamper with the fixed star where this civilization is located. Is it so easy to destroy a civilization? The universe of this world should also be a dark forest. After all, it is the same partitioned world as Drisolar is, so it is normal to have similarities in some places. It's just that the wandering earth is worse. At least the humans in the Trisolaran world know who their enemies are, and they can take countermeasures. Wandering earth is different. Even now, they may still think that this is just bad luck for human beings, and they can only find ways to save themselves. This is why Kinyan admires the humans in the world of wandering earth. The attack methods of higher civilizations are destructive to lower civilizations and cannot be defended against. This method of destroying fixed star should be a routine weapon in the hands of the civilization behind it. Similar to the two-way foil, if something goes wrong, come here. A first level civilization, faced with such a situation, has only two options. The first is to stay put and wait for death. Second, do your best to build some spaceships, go wandering in the starry sky, and keep the fire. However, in the universe, there is a reason why the status of living planets is detached. After losing the livable planet, becoming a wandering civilization, the potential of a civilization will completely disappear. The planet can not only raise the population, but also provide the environment and resources for the advancement of civilization. Wandering civilization has no future, especially in low-level situations. It will take thousands of years for a fleet of a first-level civilization to sail to another fixed star, and the living resources on the way may not be enough, let alone develop a stronger civilization. Therefore, the civilization behind the sun is very smart, with the least cost. The future of a civilization can be completely destroyed. Even if it is lingering, it will be cold sooner or later. This is also the reason why Tresolarans are unwilling to drive their warships to become a wandering civilization even if they are willing to sign such a contract with Kinyan that has no rights and interests. However, the human beings who wandered in this world of the earth chose the second way of living. They don't give up on the earth. They have to run with their home planet. Such courage is simply amazing. Because of this kind of thing, even if it is a second level civilization or a third level civilization, it is difficult to do it. How dare a human civilization that has just touched the tail of a second level civilization really dare to do such a wild idea? Isn't this equivalent to a level planet battleship? You know, level planet warships can only be completed at least until medium level civilization. A low level 1.5 level civilization said that it wants to engage in other things on the level planet, can you believe it? It has to be said that human beings may really be a race that dares to create miracles. Boss, what should we do now? Do we need to establish diplomatic relations with local humans? 404 asked. Kinyan was silent for a long time, and after thinking about it, he made a decision. The third type of life in this world is likely to be similar to the sweepers of the Trisolaran world. This kind of enemy is endless. So dot 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 we're going to do something big this time. Although it is known that there is a behind the scenes driving force behind the wandering earth that caused the destruction of the sun. But Kinyan was too lazy to look for it. Since you're too lazy to look for it, let it come out by itself. So, Kinyan decided to create a big scene, a big scene that can make it stand out. So far, the men in black have faced many enemies. Kinyan also has a feeling that the debt is too heavy. Sweeper, Pioneer, Trisolaran. Among them, some have been recovered, and some have a good attitude towards humans. Among them, Kinyan has also controlled some power areas that can deal with these crises. As a policeman, after mastering some abilities that can ensure the safety of civilians, Kinyan felt that the man in black could no longer keep a low profile. First build a sub-base on Mars, and after it's done, formally submit foreign connotations to the Earth of this world. To do great things, it is inseparable from the cooperation of human beings in this world. After all, the safety of human life still needs to be protected. Okay boss. I'll arrange people now. 404 nodded. It is worth mentioning that Kinyan does not need to spend money to build the Mars sub-base this time. Because, there are three body people. Trisolaran's technology is not low in terms of safety and technology in building space bases. It is almost the same as the one purchased in the system, Delise. And because of the elementary level intelligent processing plant, everything in the base is modular, and it only needs to be transported by the dimensions. Just install it in situ. The process didn't even take a day. Although the base of the system is very cheap, why not do something that can save money? After giving the order, Kinyan continued to look at the information of the world of wandering earth. He discovered that there is a reason why human civilization in the world of wandering earth can do so many things. Because, one of the reasons to avoid becoming a starship wandering civilization is because the starship civilization has no resources to develop life. Therefore, in fact, the human beings who wandered in the world of the earth made another choice. That is digital life. They have a plan to upload human consciousness into a computer and live as a digital life form. And it has been somewhat successful. Have to say, it's a great idea. Because the energy and resources consumed by living organisms are simply massive compared to computer programs. Moreover, human beings are not a life form suitable for the starry sky. The virtual reality of digital life can be said to be an alternative to the Wandering Earth Project. Once the Wandering Earth Project failed, according to the normal method of starship wandering, 
human beings can still maintain a certain level of civilization potential. Even in computers, it only needs to consume energy, and technicians such as scientists can still constantly promote the advancement of scientific theories. Once a place where development can be supplemented is found, human beings can still move forward at high speed. Seeing this, Kinyan couldn't help admiring the human beings in this world. I'm starting to look forward to talking and meeting you. Chapter 73 The whole world gives up, only China sticks to it. The man in black, as a policeman, maintains a community with a shared future for mankind, and will also encounter countless enemies in the future. These enemies may also be something that a man in black cannot deal with head on. And all this should not be borne by the man in black himself. The so-called community of shared future for mankind, the men in black are originally part of this community. So, when helping others, the men in black may also get some help, as well as support from various worlds. Only when countless people can stand up at critical moments, raise their hands, and use their strength. This is the sound development of a community with a shared future for mankind. Undoubtedly, the human beings wandering in the earth world are what Kinyan values very much. They have enough courage and enough courage. Moreover, they have a very clear understanding of themselves, even when encountering a crisis such as a sun explosion. They will first consider the future of civilization, rather than a momentary gain or loss, the life and death of a few people. A civilization with this spirit is very terrifying. If things go smoothly, such a human civilization will definitely go to the end and become the top race in the universe. It can be seen from the technology they have and what they are doing. Earth Engine. Digital Life heavy nuclear fusion. These are technologies that far exceed their basic civilization level. There is a common saying to describe these things, that is black technology. Black technology is something that exists in many worlds, such as the synesthesia technology of the Pacific Rim, the flying blade technology of humans in the three-body world, and even the softened technology of the three-body people. The continuous emergence of black technology is one of the manifestations of a civilization's potential. Black technologies in the world of wandering earth emerge in endlessly. There is no doubt that their potential is very great. However, without outside help, Kinyan is not optimistic about the future of the wandering earth civilization, because there is too much movement. As a member of the three-body parallel world, the dark jungle law is unreasonable. Wandering with the earth is a great initiative, but the movement is too great. Even if it travels at the speed of light, it will be observed by other civilizations sooner or later, unless it can erase the light of the planet engine, eliminate traces of itself. But this is unrealistic. Even if it takes thousands of years to go to the new fixed star system, the earth will not be stable for long. Maybe tens of thousands of years, maybe thousands of years, new blows from higher civilizations are bound to come. And this time, it must be the servants who will be wiped out. There will be absolutely no room for human beings to survive. When Kin Yun was thinking in 707, he was wandering around the earth world. The basic building materials from the three-body world, after being processed by the elementary level intelligent processing plant, become building modules one by one, was sent to Mars. The Mars base is also under construction in an orderly manner. This time the Mars sub-base is very large. At least it is 50 times larger than the base that was placed on the moon for a few hundred yuan before. Kinyan expected that he might have to do a lot of things in the world of wandering earth this time, so the size of the base left a lot of redundancy. However, the building also encountered a problem. The location of the Mars dimension gate is very strange, in a mountainous area of Mars. The dimensional gate happened to be stuck under a certain natural stone bridge in the mountainous area. This may also be the reason why people on Earth have not discovered the existence of the dimension gate for a long time. Therefore, if you want to build the base, you have to level this mountain first. The equipment used is a multifunction engineering vehicle produced by Sant Sanxing, which is of high quality. After all, it is no problem to be able to work in a place with a harsh environment like Trisolaran. The engineering vehicle was rented voluntarily by the Trisolarans after they learned that the men in black were planning to build a base on another Mars. Although they are also moving, building Mars in the Trisolaran world as their residence after moving, but the people in black have spoken, can we refuse? The consequences of leveling the terrain and building the base are, such a big movement was still discovered by people wandering in the Earth world, although they did not colonize Mars, as a world with an extremely developed aerospace industry they still retain some attention for Mars. The United Nations and high-level officials representing various countries are all sitting together, watching images from distant Mars on the big screen. This is the scene captured by our artificial satellite on Mars. Someone is building a space base on Mars. There is no logo, no national flag, no spacecraft to transport supplies, and even construction vehicles are models that have never been seen before. W. The scene that suddenly appeared on Mars left everyone confused. You must know that the forces that can log into Mars are only a few countries present. It is impossible for other people or forces to have the ability to build a base in such a remote place. For a moment, the eyes Shendu looked at each other became different. I don't know who is here who chooses to establish a base on Mars at this time, but I say on behalf of Mauxa, if it is for self-help, please disclose it. We will not interfere, 
If you want to do it at this time we will never turn a blind eye to some vicious political plots. The tall and burly bear spokesman spoke first, gained the support of many people. On behalf of France, I agree with Mao Xiang's opinion. I would like to add that at this time, with such productivity, it is better to help China build the engine first. The French spokesperson was a little eccentric, making everyone present frown. Even China's spokesperson is no exception. This thing has to start from a few months ago. A few months ago. An unknown force attacked the space elevator that people had built with great difficulty, causing huge amounts of casualties and uncountable material losses. The role of the space elevator is to better build satellite engines on the moon to carry out the wandering Earth project. The ball is the first problem that must be dealt with at present. As the Earth's satellite, it is impossible for the Earth to take the moon with it when it runs away. The gravitational force of both sides will cause great burden and damage to the Earth. So, they need to build three engines on the moon to push the moon out of Earth's orbit. Moreover, these three engines are not only used as engines, they are also the key to the success of the Wandering Earth project. Because, until now, the plan has been literal. Even in the United States, more than 90% of people still don't believe in this plan, and don't believe that humans can take the Earth out of the solar system. This is true in most Western countries. Even a minority in China is skeptical of the plan. Therefore, the lunar engine is also a proof. A proof of the Wandering Earth project. Only when it is proved that the planet can really be promoted will the plan become popular. However, since the space elevator was destroyed, construction on the moon has been in a very uncomfortable situation. Although most of the building materials can be obtained in situ on the moon, there are still a lot of equipment that needs to be precisely processed on the Earth and then transported up. Without a space elevator, the cost of transportation would be horrific. This has made many countries. No, basically all countries except China have chosen to give up. They felt that their economy might collapse the moment the space elevator was destroyed, continuing to invest endlessly in an unproven program. Therefore, the lunar engine that was originally built by multinational cooperation, only China is still insisting on it. In addition, the moon does not have the protection of the atmosphere, and it will often encounter the baptism of solar storms. They must build the lunar engine within seven months, that is, before the next solar storm comes. Even for a large construction country like China, this is very huge amounts of pressure. Therefore, when I saw that someone actually built a base on Mars, and on such a large scale, I was so excited. The solar system is about to be destroyed. With such spare resources, productivity, and transportation capacity, they will go all the way to Mars to build a base. Heavier might as well help China continue to build engines on the moon. You know, because of the distance, the resources consumed to transport materials to Mars and to the moon are simply dozens of times more. With so many resources, it may be enough to build an engine. Representative of France, don't you blush when you say this? It's as if you have helped China build engines. Aren't everyone here the same? The representative of the United States was a little uncomfortable listening to the yin and yang of the representative of France, and said something strange. However, this sentence made the French representative go back directly. He he, what's the matter? Are you the only one in the world who disapproves of the construction of planet engines? If I remember correctly, your domestic support for the mountain removal project, formerly known as the Wandering Earth project, is only 8%. Ours in France are 19%. I see, the base on Mars was built by you. The United States. You are the only ones in the world who have this ability except China. You don't think that you can't do the same thing as before on the Earth, and you want to go to Mars to experience it? As a former hegemon, the United States is indeed the second country besides China that has such a strong economy and construction ability to establish a base on Mars. For a moment, everyone turned suspicious eyes to the American representative. Fart. Fku. The US representative was in a hurry, and immediately began to swear. Is it because we have the ability? What kind of logic is this? It can be said by a national spokesperson. Then why don't you say that it is made by China? Hearing that he pointed the finger at China and began to bite people. The Chinese representative also frowned. Delegate of the United States, please pay attention to your statement. All our productivity is spent on the lunar experiment engine. It is meaningless for us and human beings to go to Mars to build a base. Everything we do is for the future of human beings and we will not do this rich nonsense. As for the explanation of the Chinese representative, everyone present is well aware of it. This space can be built by everyone, except that it cannot be built by the Chinese, because the construction progress of the engine on the moon is visible to the naked eye, and there are still many technicians from various countries working on the moon. China's carrying capacity and distribution of materials are transparent. How is it possible to still have the energy to go all the way to Mars to build a base? Everyone, I think that maybe everyone present is right. Suddenly, a secretary of the United Nations headquarters spoke. We conducted the most launch vehicle record, and found that there are not so many resources to travel to Mars to build a base. Question mark what's the meaning? These words made the people who were noisy and attacking each other stop swearing. Materials can't be created out of thin air, and so are rockets. Dot 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 based on our calculations, it's like a base of that size. As he spoke, 
the secretary pointed to the picture on the screen. Counting the transportation cost, it will cost at least the capacity resource of an entire lunar engine. For so many years, all of our capacity resources have been traceable, and there is no redundant base that can build such a level. And whether it is our satellites, telescopes, and various screen records, there are no records there are rockets going to Mars. Hearing this, someone was in a hurry. What do you mean? You mean, the base on Mars was not built by us? It can't be an alien, right? Ha 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 Tilda. Speaking of this, he laughed out loud. Even, the laughter affected other people, and many people laughed along with him. Ha 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 Tilda. However, the laughter didn't last long. They found that laughing and laughing, everyone else began to become serious. Ha 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 dot 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 huh? No, are you serious? However, it is. There are no resources shipped from Earth to Mars. It is impossible for such a large base to appear out of thin air. Alien! Exclamation mark. For a moment, everyone held their breath. A little overwhelmed. Even if you are well informed, one day you will be told that aliens have come and built a base on Mars. It takes a while for everyone to digest. However, it has not waited for everyone to react from the shock. Suddenly, a clear voice emerged from the air. It reached everyone's ears. We're not aliens. The one who speaks, speaks Chinese. Fortunately, most of the people present brought simultaneous interpretation equipment. I heard the meaning of this sentence clearly. Subconsciously, everyone looked at the Chinese representative. R? I didn't say that. The Chinese representative is also very confused. This sentence is really not what he said. Look. FK? Exclamation mark. FK. In the center of the round table in the meeting room, the air suddenly twisted. Then, a silver-white human face appeared. The face looks like an oriental person, but this person is Kin Yun. Who are you? This is. A 3D projection? Doesn't the meeting room have this equipment? The sudden appearance of a human face startled everyone. Kin Yun didn't care about everyone's reaction, but said with a smile, Everyone, let me introduce myself. I am the Men in Black organization, the head of the 6th Sector Division, and Agent Q. As he spoke, he turned his head to the side of the Chinese representative. It's a pleasure to be here and meet you, especially the Chinese side. Everything you do, we all see it. After everyone in the world chooses to give up, they can still insist on doing what they think is right and try their best to save this dying civilization. Your spirit is not easy, rare and precious. A civilization needs such people who can stand up at critical moments, take responsibility and turn the tide. Kinyan originally thought that this world is one where everyone works together as one. But when he really came here in person, and distributed softens to the earth, after learning more, he found that this was not the case. There are still politics, struggles, and selfishness in this world. However, this is a common problem of human beings, understandable. Kin Yun once said that the reason why the men in black choose to be a behind-the-scenes organization is that they don't want to be known by ordinary people. It is also to be the person who made the right choice at that critical moment and turned the tide. This coincides with China in this world. Compared with the unity of the whole world, in fact, China's insistence on independence is more difficult and more commendable. Dot. Chapter 74 Arrival, World War! Exclamation mark. In this tight meeting, a human face suddenly appeared in the air. When he appeared, he praised his own country fiercely, and even the Chinese representative was a little unresponsive. However, his good professionalism allowed him to quickly sort out his emotions, and ask tentatively, the men in black organization, are you? The base being built on Mars is yours? According to Kin Yun's few speeches, he also quickly connected the two. Kin Yun didn't deny it either, and nodded, that's right, Mars is indeed the base we are building. Hearing Kin Yun's confession, Everyone was excited for a while. They didn't worry about why Kin Yun appeared in their secret meeting. After all, this meeting was held for the base that appeared on Mars. The American spokesperson said even more forcefully, the men in black are organized. What kind of anti-human organization is this? What are you doing? Why do you want to build a base on Mars without the consent of the United Nations? Also, we have never heard of this organization. Is your organization legal? Facing the American's barrage of questions, Kin Yun smiled. It's interesting, even in this life and death situation, some people still think about whether their rights are stable. I have to say that the thinking of people in your country is really unflattering. The Wandering Earth Project. Oh no, it's called the Mountain Removal Project now. What a grand salvation plan. It's almost the greatest salvation plan that a low-level civilization can think of. But it can still maintain 91% opposition rate. Kin Yun shook his head in amazement. Every sentence is a mockery of the United States. Let the US representative blush. We've put a lot of money into this project. And... Now it's all about you. What the hell are you doing? The US representative forcibly interrupted Kin Yun's topic. Because what he said is true. We dot 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 we are the men in black. The responsibility of the man in black is to be responsible for all contact with the third type of life, and to protect and maintain the community of shared future for mankind. 
contact of the third kind, a community with a shared future for mankind. This sounds dot 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 why is something wrong? The third kind of contact, isn't it aliens? I said that I am so tall, why haven't I heard of your existence before? It's a community with a shared future for mankind. You said that our support for the project to move mountains is low, and your organization how about it? It took so many resources and I didn't see how much you helped the construction of the ball engine, going to Mars to build a base. It's really a doctor. The US representative began to mock the men in black, hearing Kenyon's introduction. He is quite tall, and he is still such a positive organization, but I haven't seen what you guys are doing. Generally speaking, when there is no third type of life, we will not show up. The survival of all human societies is within the human body, and you can solve it yourself. This is also your job. And the job of our men in black is to prevent the human race from being defenseless when the third type of life appears. Facing the ridicule of the American representative, Kin Yun didn't say anything, and even explained. It's just that it's not explained to him, but to everyone. In Kin Yun's heart, the United States has been silently thrown into the cold palace. This country does not deserve to be saved. If there is a real crisis, Kin Yun even thinks he just needs to take China away. Just this one country can represent the majority of the great human spirit in this world. Some people, Kin Yun is not willing to argue with them, regardless of age and education, just simply quarreling with some idiots. He will try to pull you on the same level as him. Defeating with idiot thinking you. The so-called donkey's lips are wrong with the horse's mouth. This is the situation. Human thinking is the most difficult thing to change. Wait dot 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 what do you mean? People in black will only appear when they come into contact with the third type of life dot 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 you mean dot 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 there are aliens? The Chinese representative suddenly said that he had discovered the key points in Kin Yun's words. Dot 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 have you never thought of a question? Son, why does it suddenly start aging and have a helium flash in just a hundred years? A still young fixed star. What caused him to have such huge amounts of change? Kin Yun's words seemed to be a slap in the face, shocking everyone present. Yes, the sun, why does it suddenly age? It is necessary to know that the formation of a planet, especially the fixed star, has experienced at least an unknown number of billions of years. With such a huge volume, the material structure and the planet should have entered a stable state, and the probability of such a drastic change is very low. However, no one had ever thought about this before. Ever since humans discovered the great changes in the sun, they have been thinking about how to solve the problem and continue the survival of mankind. Now that Kin Yun brought it up like this, it can't help but make people think carefully. You mean? Someone did this? The Chinese representative looked at Kin Yun in shock. That's right. The change of the sun is a means of the sweeper. The law of this universe is the dark forest. Don't you think that this universe is so big? but it's too quiet. Why is there no second civilization other than human civilization in such a huge world? Is it because life is too difficult to form? Humans are the only ones in this universe? Kin Yun laughed. Human civilization is ready to step into the starry sky. You should still maintain the idea that the earth is the center of the universe and human beings are the only intelligent life. Kin Yun's words caused everyone's silence. It is because the amount of information in these languages is too large. They are so big that with their status and rights, they will also feel afraid. In the universe of the dark jungle, Every civilization is hiding itself, and once discovered, it will be destroyed. However, the earth has been born for so many billions of years, why now? The US representative didn't quite believe Kin Yun's words. The earth has been standing here for so long, what kind of Cambrian and Jurassic, that can be regarded as ecology? Since it is going to be destroyed, why wait until now? Hearing this, Kin Yun rolled his eyes. Isn't it related to you idiots? How many broadcasts does the United States send out to out of planets each year? broadcasting Earth's unknown, and that Voyager 1. There are always some stupid people who like to make their existence known to the world. U.S. Representative. Since there is this country in the world, how little shit have they done? As far as Kin Yun's memory outside the fourth wall is concerned, there are countless worlds that have attracted aliens just because of Voyager 1 and those deep space broadcasts. Some people like to have a sense of presence, but they pull everyone's back together. F.K. It turns out that the helium flash of the sun was caused by you bastards. Group pulling human beings to be buried with me, I am. When Representative Mao Xun heard this, he flew into a rage, staring at the nose of the US representative and scolding him. Fku. How dare you say that you bears have never done deep space broadcasting? How can you blame us? Besides, there is no guarantee that what this person said is true. I'm the American representative was not to be outdone, and started to fight back frantically. For a while, the meeting room was like a noisy vegetable market, messy and endless. Although it was noisy, in fact, most people had a lot of trust in Kin Yun's words. Because, no matter how much you say, it is not as strong as the reality given by the Mars base. The base on Mars is actually built there. Without any moisture. This is not something ordinary people can do. Since the men in black can do it, 
It means that they do have secrets and abilities that no country in the world can discover or know. One day later, I will send agents to Earth and formally submit a diplomatic complaint to the United Nations. And formally participated in the project to move mountains, in line with our plan to deal with a third type of life. This is the first time Kinyan has to actively participate in the internal affairs of the world. There is no way, because Kinyan may make a big scene this time, and if there is no cooperation from the Earth, it may cause some serious impacts. After all, the men in black are here to help not to destroy the world. Hearing that Kinyan was going to send someone for a formal meeting, even Mao Xun and the representatives of the United States stopped arguing for a while. Compared with this way of communicating with the air, speaking face to face is more authentic and convincing, and they can also use this to find some loopholes to prove whether what Kinyan said is true or not. You want people to come, on earth? In which area, I can send people to pick them up. The Chinese representative said very proactively and enthusiastically. Hearing Kinyan say that he would come one day, he thought that the men in black organization had someone on Earth. No need, our spaceship will leave tomorrow. Question mark how is this possible? The spaceship leaves tomorrow? Will it arrive tomorrow? These words almost didn't scare everyone stupid. You know, it will take about a month or two for the fastest spacecraft on Earth to reach Mars, from Mars to Earth in less than a day. How is this possible? Kinyan smiled slightly at everyone's shock, but did not explain. He just said, see you tomorrow. After finishing speaking. Sofan's projection was turned off. Seeing Kinyan's profile picture disappear, everyone stood up. For a while, everyone stared wide-eyed, and then said almost at the same time, Come here, come a technician. Dismantle the meeting room. The sudden projection of the secret meeting made them wonder what equipment might be placed here by the men in black organization. However, when an hour later, even the grounds were removed except for the weighing section, they found nothing. Zero dot ask for flowers. This is unscientific. There is not a single suspicious third party device in the conference room. How did he show up? Exclamation mark. Damn it. Everyone present has some basic scientific literacy. In this era, there is no technical theory reserve and it is impossible to achieve such a status. They all know that projection requires at least a projection device. What's the matter with just popping out of nowhere? The men in black. This organization is more powerful than we imagined, at least with this level of technology and the speed of construction of the Mars base shows that they have many technologies that we don't know. Mars satellites have been synchronously sending back images of Mars, in such a short period of time. The Mars base has expanded a lot, and it seems that the construction is almost complete, even faster than the speed of the planet engine. It's outrageous. Now the question. The key is not this dot 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 they will come tomorrow. How should we deal with it? Speaking of this, everyone fell silent for a while, and began to think about their own calculations. Dot 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 definitely yes. Such private organizations cannot be allowed to run rampant anymore. The representative of the United States said definitely, no matter what technology they have, they are all human beings, and we are the United Nations. The future of human beings should be determined by us, instead of some mysterious organization that popped up out of nowhere. Oh? That's right. What makes people different is that the representative of Mao Xun actually expressed his agreement. Private organizations are not advisable. Human beings are currently facing such a serious crisis. We must unite. Dot 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 zero. That's right. That's right. For a while, the conference room was filled with condemnation of the man in black. Looking at this posture, it seems that tomorrow everyone will ask the parties to question the feeling of the trial. The Chinese representative shook his head silently. Did not speak just walked out of the conference room. Now that the matter has come to this point, there is no need for this meeting to continue. Everything is waiting for tomorrow. Time flies. Tonight, no one sleeps. Wait until early in the morning. On the top of the United Nations building, a group of people gathered early. It was the representatives of various countries who broke up unhappy yesterday. However, everyone looked at the Chinese delegation with weird eyes. I saw that besides the speaker, the Chinese delegation also had a few more attendants, holding a red banner in their hands. It read impressively, warmly welcome the man in black to guide you tilde. That's called enthusiasm, that's called beaming. Seeing such a banner, the representative of the United States turned black. Chinese, what do you mean? Didn't we agree that we can't indulge such a private organization? What do you mean now? Do you think that such an organization not legally recognized by the United Nations is enough to win our warm reception? Can we have the same status as our countries? You are an insult to the United Nations. A trampling on the laws of the United Nations, faced with the questioning of the US representative. The Chinese representative appeared very calm. Yesterday, the Chinese side didn't seem to express their views at the end. Besides, we welcome that is our business. Although the men in black are just an organization, they have the ability to build such a huge space base on Mars on behalf of them. Qualify to communicate with us positively. The trial ignition of the lunar engine is only a few months away. The people in black have made it clear that they will join the mountain removal project and support it. You, the United States, have status, 
and the law recognizes it. Dot dot dot. But at this critical time, what use are you for? Aren't they all involved? The words of the Chinese representative mercilessly tore open the scars of the American representative. It is also a fact that he quit the project of moving mountains halfway. There is no way, with an approval rate of 8% in the country, before the mountain removal project is confirmed, it is impossible for them to continue to spend such a huge amount of resources to continue investing in it. In other words, China is now almost maintaining this huge salvation plan on its own. However, before he found a point to refute China, he discovered that delegations from other countries warmly welcomed the men in black to communicate. Welcome back to Earth, our fellow man. Except for the US delegation, almost every country has its own banners. Although the content is different, it probably means that people in black are welcome. Even the bear delegation hung its own banner. This scene completely dumbfounded the American representative. No. The content of the meeting yesterday was not like this. Isn't everyone boycotting the men in black? Why did it suddenly become like this? Cawther, now in the whole world, we are the only ones resisting? This is playing snakeskin. You. You are an insult to the United States. Are you going to start a world war? Chapter 75 Revising the Wandering Earth Project However, the words of the representative of the United States did not even cause any waves. Everyone goes in the left ear and out the right ear, so there is no fear at all. Mao Xiang's man even said directly, Oh, a big fight fight as soon as you fight, who is afraid of whom? If there is no crisis of the sun, maybe this kind of threat is still useful. But, now it's almost the end of the world. Whether there is a war or not, no one is afraid of it at all, and no one even cares. Even if there is a real fight, win or lose dot 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 does it matter? In times like these, no one can win. It is true only if you try your best to survive. So, no matter which country it is, they believe that no one will fight at this time. Seeing that no one paid attention to him, Representative Mi held his breath and blushed, only feeling an urge to kill. Just when everyone was still watching the performance of the only fool on the scene, in the sky, the air suddenly began to twist. Coming? Everyone quickly looked in one direction. I saw a small spaceship suddenly appear above the building. Optical cloaking technology? Smart people quickly analyzed the reason why this ship could suddenly appear. Optical invisibility. A thing that has always remained on paper and has never been researched by anyone. You must know that even the so-called stealth fighters developed by various countries before. The principle is to prevent radar from being detected through coating and shape. There are still thousands of miles away from real invisibility, and it is not even a thing at all. This ship seems to have completely brought fantasy into reality. Although the man in black hadn't shown up yet, everyone became serious just seeing the ship. 707 was a few years ago, and there was no such thing as the sun. The stealth technology of this fighter alone is priceless. You must know that the spaceships drove over their heads and stopped, and they didn't even know it. The security system of the United Nations building is not bad almost having the most advanced surveillance and radar detection in the world. After all, almost all the top leaders in various countries work here in this era. But there is still no reminder that the ship can be found. If it does not seem to have lifted the stealth mode by itself, they may not know that there is a ship so close to them. If there is such a ship in the era when countries are independent, it can hit almost any country and person in the world, even now. Maybe, Kin Yun didn't know that just a simple stealth mode could make all kinds of speculations spring up in the minds of the people below. The reason why he let the transport ship come to the earth in stealth mode is just for fear of trouble. Let's go. Kin Yun opened the cockpit door and waved his hand. Let the fellow agent go down with him. This time when he came to earth, Kin Yun brought only one agent dot 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 that is, Jiang Bihai. That's right, Kin Yun didn't even bring Wanda and Quicksilver this time. The reason is simple. Kin Yun did not come to Earth this time to fight. A C-shaped spaceship plus a T-1000 with some origin magic power remaining is enough to protect itself. He's here to talk peace. And what they are facing is the high-level officials of various countries on the Earth. Now in the Men in Black organization, after much deliberation, only Jiang Bihai is the most suitable for this kind of scene. After all, the fifth wall is not kidding with you. When I met Jiang Bihai for the first time, if Kin Yun didn't know too much, I would almost have been entangled by him. When I got off the spaceship, I saw a lot of people around the landing pad on the roof of the building. Someone even pulled up a banner. Those who didn't know thought it was some leader who came to investigate. But standing here is almost the biggest leader on Earth. When Kin Yun got off the spaceship, he used origin magic power to slightly drag himself and Jiang Bi high up. The two floated down slowly. This move once again shocked everyone. Looking left and right. I didn't see how Kin Yun did it. There is no trace of propellers or other equipment at all. Just flew down like that? It seems that the mysterious veil on Kin Yun's body has become more serious. Welcome. Just when everyone is still in the thinking stage. Mao Xiang's representative, however, actively and enthusiastically pushed away the honest man from the United States beside him, and shook hands with Kin Yun as if he had missed him for a long time. We've been looking forward to meeting you since yesterday. Sure enough, you are as handsome in real life as in the video. Surprisingly, as a bear man. 
His mouth feels a little sweet today, Qin Yun smiled without saying a word, while Jiang Bihai at the side stepped forward and said, We are also very honored. I am Agent Z of the Men in Black. This time, Agent Q and Agent Q will fully represent the Men in Black organization to discuss with you about the third type of life form and the era of the sun. Okay let's talk inside, it's cold outside. A group of people walked down from the rooftop in a mighty manner, surrounded by Qin Yun and walked towards the meeting room. Along the way, it is inevitable to meet some ordinary workers. I saw representatives from so many countries gathered together. For a moment, I thought something big had happened. Is this because all the representatives are here? It's almost the dot 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 what's going on here in this building. There is no small thing. W. Hey, wait, who are those two in the middle? Why haven't I seen it on TV? Have no idea. This building handles countless major events from all over the world every day. Many people are used to it. When they see the representatives get together, they just glance at it and get ready to do their own business. But there are still some curious people who took a second look, but it was easy to pay attention to Qin Yun and Zhang Bihai. There is no way, in this team. The two of them take the C position. Just who can occupy the C position among the representatives of various countries? Qin Yun ignored the gazes of the people around him, and just calmly followed the flow of people into the conference room. After everyone was seated, Qin Yun also sat next to the Chinese representative. Afterwards, Jiang Bihai took the initiative to take out a square box and put it on the table. The square box quickly projected a light curtain. The content of the light potato is a PPT. Jiang Bihai didn't talk nonsense, and he never had stage fright in the eyes of many big shots. He took the initiative to say, This time our men in black organization is here. There are only three things. First, opinions on the mountain removal project. Everyone did not expect that the people of the men in black organization spoke so directly. Is it just an opinion on the Yishan project? Hearing this, Representative Zong frowned directly. You know, the Yishan plan is almost only maintained by the central government. What does the men in black organization mean? Targeting China? Representative Mi gloated when he heard it. Yesterday, their conversation between Mi Fang and the man in black almost ended badly and they didn't have any good feelings at all. On the contrary, they seemed to appreciate it very much. They thought they were the same breed. But now it seems that maybe the men in black organization are actually their own. With all due respect dot 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 do you have a different view on the mountain removal project? Don't you also think that the mountain removal project cannot save the planet? Representative Zong frowned, turned slightly sideways, and quietly asked Qin Yan next to him. At first, I thought it was because there were more supporters and companions. After all, there is no second person on the whole earth who is willing to continue to move mountains. Did not expect. No, our opinion is dot 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 mountain removal is too small. Needs to be expanded. Qin Yun smiled slightly, pointing to Jiang Bihai who was explaining on stage. The Chinese representative shrank his pupils, and then turned his head to stare at the PPT in Jiang Bihai's hand. At this moment, Jiang Bihai was repeating the original plan to move the mountain. Push the moon away dot 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 then build 10,000 planetary engines, accelerate around the sun, and then accelerate around Jupiter. Half the population lives in dungeons. The mountain removal project is undoubtedly a huge project. Just 10,000 planetary engines are already an unimaginable gigantic structure, pushing the Earth, throwing away the Moon. And a series of things just sound enough to shock people. But, that's not enough. Jiang Bihai paused suddenly. He said loudly, It's not enough. The dungeon can only accommodate half of the population, and at such a high price, more than 3 billion people will die. The Earth is so big. But for thousands of years in the future, people will live in underground cities without seeing the light of day. Jiang Bihai shook his head. Even though this kind of plan is the only plan that can save the most people and leave the earth behind, there are still many cruel places. That's right. I just said that Project Yishan can't be used at all. The representative of Mi Fang laughed out loud. He he dot 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 it's better than your arc project, right? On the side, Mao Xiang's representative pinched his nose and said with disdain. Question mark. It's as good as your monthly plan can be. At the very beginning of discovering the crisis, human beings have actually done a lot of research on this and listed a lot of solutions. In the end, four proposals were put to the final decision moment zero. The first is the digital life program. This solution is to turn all human beings into code programs, install them in computers and take them away. However, it involved a lot of moral and legal issues vertical bar I was finally PS. The second one is the arc plan proposed by Mi Fang, which is to build a huge amount of space station and use it as an arc for long distance voyages dot 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 that is, to flee by boat. This is also the solution that most civilizations will choose when encountering such crises. However, the arc project is a relatively selfish plan, because no matter how big a space station is, with the current technology, the population and resources it can accommodate are very small. It is almost equivalent to abandoning the vast majority of people on the earth, leaving only a few elites on board. This is impossible to be accepted by the public. Moreover, the space station is sailing in space without supplies, and if it encounters any crisis, 
it will have to gg. In contrast, Mao Xun is much bolder. They proposed a month by month plan, which is actually similar to the Wandering Earth. They also put the moon on an engine and took it away. It can be regarded as a small Wandering Earth plan. It's just that the problem of the moon is similar to the Ark project. The moon is devoid of water, and most of the essentials commonly found on Earth. After all, it is just a satellite, although it can hold many people. The development of human beings cannot be separated from the water source of the earth. Even if it takes so many years to transport, it will not be able to transport many people. Water is known for its high volume and low density. In the end, it was the mountain moving plan proposed by the Chinese side, which took the earth away in a package. As long as the plan can be completed, human beings can save half of the people, and in the future, there will still be resources that can be developed when traveling in the starry sky. This bold plan finally convinced many people. However, it is precisely because this plan is bold that it is easier to give up. When the space elevator was destroyed by an attack, almost all countries, even Mao Xi, were not very optimistic about this plan. No, no, I'm not saying that the Yishan project cannot be used, but dot 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 the Yishan project is not bold enough. It should be bigger. Such a small mountain is not enough at all. However, while everyone was still arguing, Jiang Bihai directly interrupted their argument. What? Exclamation mark. For a while, both the rice side and the Mao side and even the Chinese side were a little stunned. The mountain moving project is not bold enough, big brother. Do you know what you're talking about? The project to move mountains is to talk about the earth as a ship, pack it up and take it away. This has exceeded the limit of many people's imagination. You tell me it's not bold enough? You must know that 91% of the people in the United States do not believe that this plan can be successful. Facing everyone's shocked A's, Jiang Bihai just opened the PPT silently, revised opinions on the plan to move mountains. First, Dungeons can be used as backup production bases, rather than as living quarters. The living area can still be placed on the ground, using the deflector shield technology to build a small 4.2 circle of ground protection ecology, artificial heating and power supply. 11. In the PPT picture, countless translucent semicircular covers are shrouded in the snow-covered ground. The inside and outside of the shield are clearly distinguished into two worlds. On the one hand, the four seasons are like spring, with bright lights, on the other hand, the night is like day and the sky is full of ice and snow. Deflect a shield, ecosphere. Seeing this picture, the representatives were dumbfounded. Someone even asked excitedly, you mean, a unified force field? A shield is a force field, which can control force to produce protection and affect matter. Isn't this just an application of the grand unification theory? It can be said that, but it is not entirely a unified theory, but don't worry about this, the deflect a shield technology. The men in black organization will provide it. Although the deflector shield technology is strictly an application of force, it is not considered unified. It can only be regarded as a theoretical application of weak interaction force and electromagnetic force. This is the technology obtained by the technicians of the man in black from the C-shaped spaceship after combining the technology of the Trisolaran. Kinyun didn't mean to be mean either, because although they have only mastered this thing, it will be eliminated soon, because we are about to face some medium-level civilizations at that time. Space shields or curvature phase shields may be needed to stop medium-level civilizations or even high-level civilizations. The deflector shield can only be used to deal with low-level civilizations. Jiang Bihai continued. So, after solving the problem of living quarters, there is no need for billions of people to squeeze into a small underground city, and everyone can survive. And this dot 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 is just the beginning. The next thing is the most important thing. Second section. If you like this audiobook, Subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.